Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in business. Hope you're all doing well. So Age of Wonders uh, PvP stream tonight. It's going to be myself and Hadris, and then we're going to have a third AI ruler. And uh, yeah, it should be quite a bit of fun. I believe he is playing. Uh, we'll, of course, see it once we get into the game. But I think he is going to be playing the Slanesh Halflings, if I'm not mistaken. So he's making a Halfling civilization that is kind of based on Slanesh. So good to be using the Book of Revelry and all these different things like that. So it should be quite a bit of fun. We have a bit of a chaos duel of fates. How you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Game just came out today, so uh, looking forward to doing some battles and all that sort of good stuff. And we'll show you our civilization in just a second. So we're going to be playing Sirtha Ek of the Varg tribe. Uh, unfortunately, there are no chariots in this game, but you know we're going to do the best we can with a lot of barbarians and Norskins and things like that. Um, we'll be back on Thursday streaming this game as well. Thursday is going to be a match with Professor Pone where he's going to be playing uh, the Vampire Counts of Sorts and I'll be playing a Carl Franz inspired um, culture. So... Should be great, man. Sigmar bless this Ravager game all day, man. All day. It's probably going to go about four hours tonight. Usually that's how long it takes. We're also adding in a third ruler. So we're going to have three rulers plus a bunch of free cities. So there's going to be quite a bit going on. And uh, I don't know what he has as it pertains to his uh, Slanesh halflings. Slanesh would make sense with these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mind Baker vassals. Uh, hey, Outer Region. How you doing, man? You play this game? Uh, did you uh, Did you get it? Yeah. Very cool. So we're going to have a little bit of a Royal Rumble here. Loving this game. Me too. It's it's a great time. It's really fun to play PvP too. It, it's quite a bit of fun. Yeah, I had never played the previous ones. This is my first jump into it. I never played Age of Wonders um, 1, 2, or 3. This is literally my first time getting into it. And I'm having an absolute blast. It's really cool how you can kind of like make the character fit whatever fantasy niche you really want to play. And there's a lot of customization, but there's also a really good depth of like tactics and synergies and strategies and things like that. Obviously there's stuff that's way stronger there. You know, if you really wanted to get down and dirty, there's going to be builds that will typically be just super strong, but you know, it's, it's, it's fun. You're trying versus the easy AI. Yeah. You'll, you'll do great. You'll do great. All right. So let's go ahead and give Hadri's a ring. You ready for a call? I, I know he's remaking his Slanesh Halflings. Um, in the meantime, we can show you guys our um, our leader. Here. So here we have Carl Franz. He's going to be getting played on Thursday. We have Crocus Pocus, who you saw battling Professor Pone uh, on the previous stream. And here's Sirtha Ek. So Sirtha Ek is, is pretty cool. And his traits are he is... Um, He's Barbarian Culture as his baseline. We have Ruthless Raiders, so every time we win a fight, it sends gold and draft to our nearest city. It's pretty good. And you also start with two random items on your hero, so your hero can be pretty jacked in the beginning, which is really, really nice. We do also have the Fabled Hunters, which is very fitting for Norska because, you know, Norska is all about hunting monsters, but it's also very synergistic. It's like for aggression. Uh, the way that Fabled Hunters works is that you get 100% extra resources from Clearing Infestations, Ancient Wonders, Resource Nodes. Uh, which is super nice. So basically, in the early game, when you're clearing all those camps, you're going to be getting like double the reward of all those guys. It is pretty damn sweet. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, we got Fabled Hunters and Ruthless Raiders, and we're going to be starting with the Great Axe. So this is um, a pretty good one, if I'm not mistaken, although I, pr I could have sworn it was like a different axe. Yeah, he's got like a special one. Maybe it doesn't work in multiplayer. I'm not sure. But the Tomb of the Horde is what we're going to start with. Now, the Tomb of the Horde, or Tome of the Horde, is... Um, it's the one that has spawnkin, the one that shrinks your race, but we're not going to use that. But we're going to use uh, a lot of tier one units. So we're going to be spamming the haggard Norskin barbarians and uh, using Blaze of the Horde and summoning them on the map with summon irregulars, doing all that kind of stuff. I, it's really going to be like a tier one Norskin swarming strategy, which should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's going to be neat. We have some range, not too much. I mean, th there will be a couple range support units, but really Fabled Hunters isn't about like the range units being better. It's more so about the... Um, about the bonus we get from killing things nearby. Yeah, Crocus Pocus was pretty mean. He was very strong. Um, but now we're going to see what Surthak can do. And let me see if Hadrius is ready. All right, going to give him a ring and we will get this party started. All right, here he is. You want to see Ungram? Hey, man, how you doing, Hadrius? Hey, how's it going? Good. Let me know how his audio is, by the way, guys. Currently, it sounds pretty good to me, but you can let me know. Um, Your journey. Yeah, Ungram is our dwarf character. We're not playing him tonight, but he's a barbarian also, but he has like building tech. So it's like a barbarian with like a like a dwarf culture sort of. So kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, I guess if we're on stream, do I sound OK? Yeah, you sound good, man. You sound good. Are you playing uh, Great. your Slanesh Halflings? Yeah, although do we both want to be barbarians? It doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. Play yeah. play whatever you want. Yeah, play whatever you want. So far, it's all I made. Yeah. I got in a, a dark uh, 
Clan Eshin, but... <laughs> you hate a Clan, Clan Eshin, yeah. That, I'm trying to think who would be the best for, like, Clan Eshin. So you had... It has to be, it has to be dark to... It's, if, it would be just a pure roleplay thing with, uh, yeah, trying to be sneaky. Yeah, because they have the flanking thing, right? Well, you can get that. So yeah. you can get the sneaky trait so that when you flank things, you do like 25% more damage. Okay, I turned his volume up. Let me know how that goes. Should be good from here. And right. uh, yeah, man, we'll see your, We'll see Hadri's ruler once we get into the game. We can't see right now. So are you all set? You good to go? Oh, you're going to love my ruler. Yeah, is he a Slanesh halfling just all, all disgusting and foul or what? No. No? Slanesh, I made a Slanesh demon as well. Oh, as okay. Oh, this is good. Proper, this is like a... I think I made a proper demonette. All right, perfect. So this is going to be like a... Like a Norskin, Norskin's battling demons, which is actually pretty common. So it's uh, Surthak. I guess Surthak would probably be more of like a corn type guy. But all right. Yeah. And I guess we have a random AI that'll kick both our asses. Yeah, yeah the AIs in this game are good. I mean, I've I, I don't think I've like straight up lost like a game to them, but they like really can make you work for it. They swarm like they make yeah, they so swarm. many units. Yeah, they don't make like the best like unit combinations and builds, but they have the like the economy skills to like just flood the map if they want yes to. yes that is 100 percent correct they're very annoying and they build like a thousand cities too mm. okay so the battle yeah. battle is on the sirtha ek the varg tribe okay so first oh, things first sorry i didn't realize it's picking up my breathing it usually doesn't yeah a little bit i'm hearing i'm hearing some some excited breathing sounds for sure <laughs> maybe, maybe move the mic a little bit away somebody suggests no. yeah is this better yeah, so far it's better. So far. Okay, let's do this. And the city. Okay. So we can build the ritual battle site. This is something unique to the barbarian culture. It gives you knowledge and draft, which is good. But typically, I, I definitely think you want to go with like workshop in the beginning and then like a storehouse for food. Those are like your two primary things, right? All right, so let's get another barbarian, another warrior. Start clearing. And so we'll mostly do auto combats, but if you lose a unit to the auto combat, then we could just fight it, you know? Okay. Oh, yes. We have slain the ogres. So you see how I just got 78 draft guys? That is from my Fabled Hunters. Normally, that would have been 39 draft, but it doubles from Fabled Hunters. So it immediately recruited this other barbarian for me um, with that draft. It's a really nice trait. All right. Sort of the X smash. Nice stuff out of the gates there. We can make more barbarians. Research. Summon regulars. So we're not doing spawn kin. Summon regulars is nice. It gives you um, a, not, a tier one unit that just kind of summons. But the hound masters are all, all also pretty cool. Let's go for the hound master. Okay, we're all done, brother. Here's the map. Looking around, we're still getting a little bit of breathing from your mic, just a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, looking around here. Hadri's could be anywhere. His dreaded Slanesh demon is somewhere on the map. We'll figure it out. And our scout actually has a little bit more movement, so we should certainly utilize that. The first thing you want to do is typically try and find infestations as fast as possible. Um, so what we should do actually is get a Pathfinder and uh, send that out on the map. While Sirtha echoes and clears. All right, so what this is over here is this is um, a wonder. But typically, you're not going to be able to do them super early. So we started with two bonus items with Sirtha Ek. So let's see what we actually started with. Because that was one of our cultural traits. Unfortunately, disabled because... Oh, so it gave us a shield, which kind of sucks. But we also started with the Ring of Resistance. So a little bit of extra magic resist certainly doesn't hurt. All right, all done, boss. Yeah, he does look like Sirtha Ek. The customization is pretty good in this game. You can definitely do a lot. Okay, so let's go down this way. Move. Oh, we found uh, the knight for it. Some evil cat person. Okay, is he evil though? Hmm. See, the thing with the barbarians is like, you. yes, I can vassalize them, but also part of me wants to karate chop them. <laughs> Did you just blow up a brigand camp? Uh, no. That was probably the other ruler. And I might be very close to that. <laughs> yeah. This guy's kind of in a bit of yeah. a... We'll give him the Whispering Stone for now until we find something better. Okay, Sir the Ek, I think the uh, infestation is probably over here based on what I'm seeing. Cool, so we'll get that next turn. We got our scout coming out and 
Usually, like Imperium, you could just use it early on to expand your territories quickly. And I usually go for the quarries first. Um, like, you know, this is a good one, a farm and a quarry, right? Um, pastures and quarry. So let's go ahead and just go hard on the building. And then we'll get a pasture next turn. Um, so that's going to get, like, mass. You see how our building just went down by, like, three turns. It was, uh, it's pretty substantial. Hey, thank you for the donation. Hey, man, thank you for the large amount of stuff. Your videos and streams are great. Hey, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Tomorrow we're going to have a tournament. Total War, by the way. You've been playing some Total War, man? You've been training in the shadows? Yeah, well, not like training seriously, but I'm playing in a meme tournament with uh, an XMT. Oh, okay. Uh, an internal clan war that Dov plays will be casting soon. Yeah, land battle? Yeah. Uh, everything, actually. We got land battle, domination, even sieges. That's great. Oh my god, siege battles. Dreaded haggard siege. <laughs> oh yeah. god, siege battles. <laughs> It's our favorite. Okay, Evoker's Robes. That yeah, kind of sucks. Magic attacks. Yeah, just like the worst items for Sir Thek. All right, so we found the infestation, guys. Um, we get a big bonus for clearing this because of our uh, cultural trait. So here we're going to go ahead and take the food. So we got the pasture node. We got this. And uh, we probably still want to keep making units. Let's make a Houndmaster. Yes, the Houndmaster. So Visions of Victory is okay. Friendly units get fortune. We're going to shuffle this and try and get... Yeah, here we go. We want Blaze of the Horde. This one's really good. It does damage based on the amount of Tier 1 units in your army. So you basically swarm with these like Haggard Pit Lord units and... Yeah, you get the job done. Hmm. Okay, so the Ek is leveled up. Oh, so, couldn't Pwn have joined us? No, he goes to bed pretty early. He has to get up for work at like 4 a.m. Nice. I know. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's working. The dreaded bedtime strikes. I know. So this is pretty good. Battle Seeker, 20% um, damage to all our Tier 1 units. We're going to get that. So Sir Thak is going to be the leader of the Haggard, the Haggard Hordes. Okay, our scout's still going. Looking around for goodies. Oh, what? I think we might be discovering Hadri's and his, uh, his Slanesh action soon. I see a border. I don't know if it's you down there. Don't think it's me. I'm actually cornered by a Free City and the other AI. So mm, Okay. I've got some natural defenses that I need <laughs> yeah. to kill before I get to you. Yeah, that'll be fun. We got we got plenty of time, man. Okay, so let's go for the infestation. Oh, okay, so another enjoy your independence for now. Let's see where they are. Okay, so that is an evil civilization, which uh, is the same civilization as mine. So I'm going to withdraw the Whispering Stone from them and give it to these guys. Because they share my culture and uh, would be a little bit better. All right. Let's do this. Squash that. Wand of Provocation. Oh, that's I'm getting just terrible items. I don't know about you, man. Mm, take reward. Let's do that. There's an underground passage, which we certainly want to send a scout to if we can. So let's send the scout down here. We have another camp. So Sirtha Ek is just going to continue his rampage. Did he level up again? No, he didn't. Okay. Ah, oh, I should have gotten the Call of Chaos. So this makes it so you get a free unit when you defeat an infestation. It's to be fair, it's it's not the best ability in the world, but it's it's still not terrible. Um, so let's get the battle site ritual, um, granary. We'll probably be fine first, so we can expand a little bit quicker. All right, perfect. Hadri's in a in a battle over there. Go my hounds! Is this another free city, man. There's a lot of free cities on this map. I think I might have just found... Oh, there's Hadri's! Oh, look at his demonette! Oh, that's pretty cool! I am Chaos Princess. Oh, the Rebel Queen. Wow, alright. So Hadri's has got his Slanesh cult down on the bottom side. We get to see them fight a little bit here. Oh, my bad. Actually didn't plan on doing that. Oh, well, missed click. Oh, you're fine, dude. You, you can even just put it on maximum speed. Um, up in the top right, there's like a double arrow, and your army's gonna just move fat. The taunt... Uh, you should be able to use it on mind control units to prevent them from controlling your army. Okay, that's kind of interesting, Jeff. That's a good point. Yeah, you could just like turbo through this. Huh? So he's got barbarian culture too, but obviously he's 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 a wizard character. Here's his Slanesh demonette leading the army here. I was hoping to get like a big cool battle axe though, Jeff. You know, a holy undead game. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. I think sometime we're gonna be streaming this game a lot, like a couple times a week, so I'll be um The next one is Carl Franz though. It's actually really good when you beat a high tier infestation. That makes sense. Yeah, because you get like a tier three unit or, or something like that. Yeah. 
So Asha the Rebel Queen. So she's got Magic Blast. Oh, you went with a corpse eating civilization? Oh man, so Hatrius has got corpse eating and uh, restore. So he's gonna have a ton of healing on his guys. His Slanesh Barbarian Cult. Uh, it's grid based combat. So it's it's pretty very similar to like Heroes of Might Magic 3, if you've ever played that, which is one of my all time favorite games. Yeah, the Dark Culture is the one I've been struggling to make work. Like against other players. Like against AI, I've had success with it, but. Yeah, there's. I think there's like a hidden gem with Dark Cultures having like really good ranged. Like doing ranged focus strategy. All right, well, we see Hadri's here. He is, he is, uh, the battle is won by the Rebel Queen. You just gonna declare war on me right now or what? <laughs> just go full, full barbarian. NPC armor, army. Okay, so we got. What are these things? These are tier two carrion birds. Okay, I might actually have to fight that. Could lose some uh, units on that auto resolve. We'll see. No, Professor Pwn's going to play Nagash von Karstein on Thursday. Yeah. I think he's playing Undead. I'm playing Karl Franz, which is going to be uh, a feudal human culture, which is based on like uniting all the free cities. So that's that's what that's going to be, which is basically like summoning the Elector Counts, right? It's. Uh, I haven't dealt with too many crashes. Yeah, it's been pretty pretty good so far, I would say. Okay, um, Shrine, we don't really need mana, so we're going to get the Granary, get the Seer Hall um, to get the knowledge going so we can finish our research a little bit faster. And yeah, call it a day from there. Yeah, the Dark Culture is interesting. I, I, I think there's a build I want to try with the Dark Culture, which is all ranged. So it's like using all their like Archer units and, and uh, taking advantage of the, like weakening them from a distance. Yeah, I think there might be something to that. Who knows? We see Hadri's here with his uh, his Slanesh Queen. Pretty cool character. Yeah. Hindering Blizzard. Oh, you're going a little ice to slow down the Barbarians, huh? Uh, you, did you pass turn, by the way? Uh, still... No, no rush, by the way. I just wanted to make sure you didn't forget. Because I do that all the time. I sit there just like, oh, man, why isn't, why isn't he passed yet? Yeah. Sounds good, dog. Sounds good. Ah, so here's the other ruler, which appears to be a paladin, a human paladin-based civilization. Certainly going to be looking to raid their lands. All right, Sertha, let's go. Let's go exploring. See what we can find in the great beyond in the corners here. Hey, another uh, barbarian. Man, there are so many free cities on this map. With how small it is, it's insane. All right, we're going to try and auto this. If we lose a unit, we're going to have to fight it. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to lose that unit. So I'm just going to play this on fast forward. It gives Hadri's a fair shake to see what Sertha Ek can do in action. Uh, I bet he's just a huge beat stick. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's got his big axe. He's got a great axe. It's pretty cool. All right, so just look at the range of these guys. It's just like classic COM3 stuff. You just assess the maximum movement distance of the units, right? And then you stay just out of the range until you can get the first punch on him. We do have healing too. The barbarian culture has some nice healing, which is pretty rad. All right. Yep. Let's just go auto defense dance, and we can use fury of the horde. All tier one units get plus one strength, which is really nice. So you just do it. So they just get just all juice to the gills here, which is which is awesome. So let's send our boy Sertha Ek in there because he cancels retaliation. Yeah, he just bonks them on the head, and then they can't swing back, which is pretty nice. All right, let's get our Sunder. Can we throw the Javelin? Get a little bit closer we can. We can throw it at the birds downtown. And the AI is obviously gonna target my weakened unit, so we're just gonna drop a little heal on that. Yes. Let's get you in the trees and just wait to ambush. And I think we did everyone. Yep, so they're gonna go. Oh, look at that, big pushback. Oh, it like pushed my guys, made them face the wrong way. That's kind of interesting. So a little flank here. And uh, do we have any sort of magic to help? We do. How can you hope to defeat birds? Yeah, the birds are pretty menacing. They are. Okay, so let's go here, get the flank on them. Sertha Ek coming in with the big charge. He also applies bleeds, which is pretty rad. It's hard to escape him. 
Uh, so we shield bash here. It'll stun them so they won't be able to do anything next turn. And then we just finish them off and make sure we don't lose our unit. Because the auto resolve actually had us losing a unit here. Bonk. And there you go. All right. Yes. Hopefully that wasn't too tough. So this actually is a unique resource here. When annexed, it gives us... Ooh, it makes us take cities quicker. That's really quite good. Hmm. So we can obviously expand towards it, which is probably a good idea. Um, let's go ahead and take the mine here and the quarry and the iron deposit. Is there any Imperium we want to get? Nothing that's worth it at this point. So probably just worth the power expand here. There's a mana node, so we'll clear that. This is like a... Unfortunately, that's in the Barbarian land. So what we could do here is build an outpost, and that'll just give us that resource. <laughs> you want you want cat? What? Oh my god. Okay, don't don't lose a unit. Come on. Okay. Great success. Surf Eck is leveled up. How's it going for you down there, man? You you hanging in there? You winning? Just clearing out what I can for now. Yeah, clearing out the uh, the easy mobs. Oh, we got a Houndmaster, guys. Release the Hounds. So let's get a uh, another Houndmaster. Everything looks fine there. We can expand again. So this is a nice node, but it'll, it'll piss off this free city here. Although we're already befriending this free city. So we could just go Karate Chop this one. Uh, probably isn't a terrible idea, because this is a really good node right here. Has mana for us and a research post, which we don't have too much of. Uh, okay, so free cities will really okay. Let's let's do that. Let's just let's just take that from him. Then we can go heal there too, which is nice. The, the release the hounds. Oh, gun hounds in chat. So these guys are cool. Hound masters. They have a weak point shot. So when you shoot a unit, it marks them. It makes the rest of your units do well. And at the start of the battle, they summon a war hound. That um yeah. See you. They're really cool. These units are rad. Norska would have such units, so I think it's fitting. Okay, see the bottom of the world here. Hadri's is like down here in the corner somewhere, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm corner camping. You can, corner camping is actually very good in this game. If you're magical or ranged div, just like sit in the corner. And be, it's, it's quite good, yeah, it's quite good. The AI is hunting down brigand camps that like I want them, but it's getting to them first. Oh, the AI is, yeah. I just turned Hadri's up a little bit, by the way. No problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep exploring. I this low and my breathing feedback. <laughs> Don't stress it's like it. The opposite. Oh, this is the free city. Okay, so let's see. Declares war on them. Um, okay, so I'm not ready to quite like just karate chop them yet. Hmm, so what other areas are there? We have this free city here. I mean, I could probably just end these guys with a couple more units, but that's like really early aggression, like really, really early aggressive. Uh, I'm losing a unit, I gotta... Yeah, go for it. Yeah, autos, autos can be pretty tyrannical. They could be pretty tyrannical as well. Okay, they're saying you're pretty quiet. Um, I, I assume you probably turned yourself down, right? Just to... I don't know why his mic... It doesn't fix the uh, breathing. I guess you can just... You could also do push to talk, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We'll see if we can figure that out. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So here's Hadri's once again, his dreaded Slanesh princess. Asha the Revel Queen. Yeah, so he's going to switch it to push to talk, so then, then it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah, we can keep his volume high and everything. Yes, yes. So war shamans are cool. They're one of the base barbarian characters. They they can heal and they can also buff. And Hadrius went with the corpse eating culture, so all of his guys can heal by eating a, a dead unit, which is pretty strong. So he's fighting some halfling uh, halfling horsemen right now. I would love to see the auto resolve replay feature in Total War. It's really nice. This 
it's weird having like a game launch and have it like have like all these func like functional features like reconnecting and <laughs> you know oh man look at that foul magic Hadrius did there that was um that was some sort of a frost hindering blizzard wow <laughs> oh no they I they I claims its prize Oh, this is like a hero that he. That's how that works. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's a hero character. Who are you fighting right now? A free city? No, it's just a random hero character that spawned. Oh, interesting. Are you sure it's not didn't yeah. bl belong to a free city? Oh well, if he died, he wasn't that strong to begin with. Yeah, he he didn't deserve to be in the grace of the chaos gods with such a shameful display. Okay. Yeah, the auto resolves in this game are, are pretty decent for the most part. Um, I, I found that many of the battles I try and retry, I end up losing the unit that died in the auto. <laughs> but um, like auto resolve, the one thing it doesn't do super well is take into account like magic and stuff. Like for example, um, Professor Pwned and I had our big fight with uh, the witch, the the wee king of Angmar versus um, Galadriel, and my army value was like six hundred higher than his, but he was way stronger than me because of his magic and utility that he had. But it, the game didn't capture that in like the auto resolve, right? So, yeah, it's like his army just crushed mine. It just crushed it. <laughs> Wait, are are your is your is your race halflings? So I, I think Hadris has halflings as his people, and then his ruler is like this giant Slanesh demon lady. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. It's like a Slaneshi demon came to the Shire and uh, yeah. changed some things. I love it, dude. That's so good. A great victory has been won this day. And I am I am tempted to just... I might just go to war this turn and try and kill the Free City here. I'm not... Like, they're kind of just like the next obstacle. I can go this way. I'm sure there's some mobs, but I feel like going for this Free City is, is going to be smart. Let's get the Houndmaster here. We have another one coming out. Um, can't power finish that. Okay, so what other traits do I have? Founding and absorbing cities is cheaper. And unit, this is, we really need this one. 30% um, cost reduction on a tier one unit. Yeah, it's true, Lich. You know, that was one of my first times playing, playing the game, really. But yeah, I've definitely gotten a little bit better at the magic usage. To be fair, my magic did kind of suck, though. All right, where's where's Hadrius? Is he is he down? Not that we're in like any sort of a rush, but okay. I found the, I found the Paladin lady. She's she's there. So this is the the Paladin ruler. I believe she's right here. Yeah, she's the the human Paladins, um, devotees of good and imperialists, which means they're gonna want to have like a really tall city. That borders. Yeah, and they're gonna be. A, they're probably planning on attacking me anytime now. It's okay, I'm about to just force a fight with a free city, so it'll it'll even things out. It'd be great. It depends though. I mean, what are your relations with them? They declared rivalry. So they so you have a little bit of a like they you have some justification for war with them because if you don't like give them a reason, the AI usually won't declare war until like it's really justified. Yeah. You can play with up to nine people in this game. Yeah. You can play with up to nine people. So we see the army here. Yeah, and there's also ocean to be explored and there's like stuff out there. So we probably want to get seafaring. You know, the Norskins like to go seafaring as well. So that would be done with the uh, basic seafaring. But first we're going to get the upkeep production, which is going to save us a ton of money on all these tier one units we have. Yeah, that'd be rad. Oh, it actually started us with a tier two unit too. All right. So a group of farmers uh, are contacting me. So I lose mana, and then I gain allegiance with them. And that is our barbarian friend city we're trying to be cool with. So yeah, they can have mana. We don't really need it that much. Hmm. Although, you know what? I'm going to keep the mana. We don't need it. We're just going to be raiding and destroying anyways. So we just got the haste berries too from this outpost right here, which is nice. So that claimed this um, haste berries, which is a unique resource. It gives you uh, makes it so cities get taken over like way faster. So... Hmm, so we could wait for the Houndmaster to come out. Let's go ahead and get this. So our income will go from uh, 63 to 73, which is nice, so plus 10, and that's only gonna scale as we build more units. 
Yeah, it's like Civ with Heroes of Might and Magic 3 combat. It's um, it's pretty fun. Let's go to the Underdark here, see what's down here. Oh, just some Forbidden Wonder, a Corrupt Soul. Oh, that's cool. Man, that's a that's a hard one. That's a tier two. I don't think we're quite ready for that. We probably need to like level up Sertha a little bit in our units. Even though we're going to be maintaining tier one units mostly, they can still um, upgrade. And when they upgrade, let me show you. Um, when they get elite, they get a defensive trait, they get plus four HP, and then they get exalted defense. So they get like additional stats as you level up as well, which is radical, dude. All right, I think Sertha Ek needs to just kick some butt here. You know. He's had enough enough games. The Barbarian Warlord is is uh is here. So Sirthak loses, so I can pay them to leave, but that's that's not how it's gonna go down. Alright. <laughs> Barbarians, you wanna be aggressive. Yeah, like I just got 166 mana from that. Now we go siege the city and just cackle, right? Okay, let's get the Houndmaster up. All right, Sirtha Ek, so let's apply Siege to the city. Oh, we could auto-combat this. They Oh, they don't have defenses yet, okay. So if I lose something, I'll fight this, but otherwise we just we just roll with it. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to fight a Hadris. <laughs> as, Co as Conan once said, enough talk. Oh man, you remember the old Conan the Barbarian movies? Oh, those are like the one with Arnold? That's yeah. the only Conan the Barbarian movie. Yeah. There's, a, there's several of them with Arnold, yeah. I know, but it's like, yeah, the ones with Arnold. Yeah, there's Conan. Dude, the Houndmasters are so cool. They come with a Warhound unit. Oh, that's so rad. Okay. So we're going to put him in the bush to give him obscuring. Um, we need to like stay just out of range to force them to move. Because when units move and shoot, they um, shoot less shots. So we want to like take advantage of the terrain here. This is obscuring foliage as well. It's not quite as good of an obscure, but it's still decent. Let's throw some javelins here. Nice. We can play the battle on regular speed so you guys can kind of see what that looks like too. Let's move you into this. Shoot some laser beams. Yes. <laughs> Are you a god? Yeah, no, we're, we're totally going full in on the Sirtha, Sirtha Ecking here. All right. Are they going to move up or are they just going to sit there and cast spells? Okay. Looks like they're just buffing the hell out of their units. All right, so we, we're going to have to rush them, actually, which is fine. So we will do um, Fury of the Horde to buff all our Tier 1 units. It's a choke point, which kind of sucks. Um, let's go ahead and heal the Javelin Lady. Or we could just run it back. So you're going to have to flank, I think. Come up here, shoot some laser beams. Let's run you into the trees, and we can throw a javelin from outside. Oh, we actually hit. Damn. Yeah, so Sirtha Ek is going to go in and just go ham here. It's a little bit risky, but I think it'll work out. Oh, yeah, dude. Get sirtha Okay, so let's go here. Start blasting, and we need to get the Houndmaster up. Unfortunately, line of sight's a little bit tricky here, but... Ooh, man. That thing, that thing, the Houndmasters are awesome units. Oh, we could actually fit in there. I didn't see that. Oh, well. Go, Hounds! Okay, send turns. Chain Lightning's me. My yeah, end the nice thing is, for the purpose of your buffs, the Houndmasters, they come with a tier 1 unit, so you don't have to feel bad about taking them. Yeah, exactly. Well, the whole the whole Tome of the Horde is like designed for tier 1 action. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, Karate Chop here. Firstly, let's throw a Javelin and see if we can hit them. Nope. Um, we do have the damage spell, which is Blaze of the Horde. Yeah, let's, let's do that. That'll help us finish. Yeah, there you go. Attaboy, boy, Sirtha Ek. Let's get the hounds around the back. Furies are gonna. The Houndmaster will flank with the hounds. Oh, those are my new favorite units. Archers can pop you. See if we can get the kill. If we can, then we can charge something else. Uh, that's unfortunately gonna have to be here. Oh, the big bonk. All right, so War Shaman, let's shoot. So the chance of a shield bash succeeding against this character isn't that high, so we'll just get in a melee and just fight him. All right, end turn. 
Oh, Sirtha act time, dude. <laughs> yes. Damn, he crumped him. He cramps. That was an easy fight, but it had me losing units in the auto, so I was like, no thank you. Um, all right, so raising this city seems very Sirtha Ek. Um, we could also vassalize it, which just makes them our minion, which is kind of cool. It's That's actually very Norskin, like to vassalize the other tribes. Yeah, so we're going to vassalize them. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. So they'll start paying us tribute, and they'll still hate us for a while, but eventually they'll, they'll see the light of Norska. All right, Vision of Victory is a nice one. Hmm. So we leveled up. Sirtha Ek could get Bloodlust. Kaiser, thank you. I did a Skaven Horde Tier 1 unit play. Could not beat a level 2 Wonder with only Tier 1 units for all Legendary rank. Probably need a stronger army. So, yeah, if, if that the one weakness of that playstyle is it's not good at clearing out Wonders. But what you can do is you can put multiple heroes in an army. So if you have, like, two or three heroes, you can slap them in an army together, and they can usually take it down. So uh, Healing on Sirtha Ek could be good, but that's also very out of character. Um... So we'll get Fighting 1, which is going to give him... Um, Bloodlust is really nice, actually. Yeah, let's get Bloodlust. So when he kills something, he heals. And then we will get um, Fighting 1. Although Keen Edge, I think, is the crit chance. 20% crit chance is pretty nice. Yeah, Sirthak just, just bonking things. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So he's got Berserker's Rage, too. Um, he, he has Steadfast. So when he gets really low, he get, he becomes invulnerable for a turn, which is really nice. Okay, so we have the remains of this champion. Let's see if she had any good gear. Um, nothing really, sadly. So we will just sell the remains, use that to speed build this. And then we can go ahead and get the Ancestral Seer Hall. And uh, then we can get a Stone Mason. We don't need to tech up, really, because we can already make the, the Hound units. And now these guys are our vassals, so they're providing me with. Um, it's only four right now, but once the relations improve, it's gonna it's gonna be nice. And we'll have another vassal down here, and you know, all the barbarian tribes will be united under Sirtha Ek. Uh, nothing we really want to do here, so let's head uh, yeah, down here. Just head down this direction, and head this direction. We have another hound master, which is awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, don't worry. There'll be Total War streams tomorrow. We're going to have um we're going to have a tournament tomorrow. Don't you worry. All right. I was insulted. Oh, I thought it was you, Hadris. <laughs> no, I bet the Paladin girl is going to be insulting both of us yeah. like all the time. <laughs> we're just going to come in with our big barbarian beat sticks and uh yeah, and uh, they can pay the troll toll for that. Man, this one is taking forever to become our uh, our vassal. Okay. We're definitely going to raise some cities. You know, I think we go to this city on the far side, and Sirthak will raise that one. All right, get some money. Yeah, so interesting how this works. So as they become happier with me, they're going to start giving me more and more money. Okay, so we just need to kind of work that up. That 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 like building seems like really scary actually. Oh. All right, so let's go down here, see what we can find. And we can do a little bit of this. Let's grab some food here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There's actually a wonder on the other side. I might try and take it. I'm not sure. Are you, are you trying to negotiate with me? Oh, you started negotiating. Oh, all right. Hadri's negotiating down here, guys. <laughs> As an immortal. Yeah, the Sirthak memes are great. We love it. We're pretty close to getting Battlefield looting. This is a really good one. It gives you um, gold per unit kill. And per the tier of that unit also. All right, so we got the haste berries there. Oh, Hadri's, you're, you're torching down one of the free cities over there, huh? I need to break out of my box, my corner. Yeah, yeah. It's either this or I <laughs> dig a hole. <laughs> yeah. Hadrian's just trapped in the corner there, huh? Decaying Spire. I could probably do that. Does Sirthak have any better gear? No. Nothing, nothing that's really worth it right now, sadly. Nothing there. Hey, I appreciate that, Spartan. Thank you for the kind words, man. 
All right, let's go scout over here and see what's going on. So this is a tier three um, site, which I don't know if we're gonna be able to do anytime soon. We're still very much in the early game. Uh, we could speed this along. I don't think it's worth speeding along at this point. And we'll save up the Imperium to get the Barbarian upgrades. What we can do, on the other hand, though, is go back down here. And then we can go and get the uh, Digging Tech. Which will allow us to go trundling in the Earth, basically. So we can do this. And start excavating. And it looks like there is a Paladin City underground. All right. A rivalry was declared on me, huh? All right. Yeah, that paladin lady is very unfriendly. Yeah, she's she's asking for it, man. Yeah, she's she's pretty villainous. Okay. So we're going to summon irregulars about the trespass. Oh, I didn't didn't quite want to do that. Can we sneak around there? Hmm. Let's go see what's in there. Okay, so we don't have a scout. All right, so I'm honored to join you in the hunt. So there's a hunting quest, which where is it? Where are the pigs at? Probably going to be like far. Oh, it's all the way down there. Ugh. It is a good quest, though. It definitely gives us some goodies. So let's just go do that first. Those quests are usually pretty good. All right, so battlefield looting. Let's take that. Go to the Underdark, and it looks like, uh, oh, a Bazaar of Wonders. Is this a... Uh, where else can we go over here? Okay, so we can go excavate this. Quest giver compromised? Oh, did you just kill my my quest giver? Did something I mean, I just... just oh, I no. might have just killed someone, yeah. Oh, no, you, you killed the pigs? That, that was for my quest. <laughs> well, hey, you know. The tactics, man, I like it. It's good. Just happens sometimes. Hadri's with the, with the snipe on the pigs after I wasted my movement going down there. All right, let's see. Completely let's... intentional. I know. This is smart. All right, so we got an underground cavern here. We can excavate here, which we can find treasure with. The golden gate. Oh, you have a you have a, a wander underground here. And let's get you over here. Keep excavating. Okay, so this is a hostile um, a hostile city. So they just started war with you. So where was this one? That's all the way back there. So hmm, that, that might actually be the direction we want to go. Just go battle them. You know, it's experience, right? Yeah, there's experience. Uh, so armies can have only six units, but you can have armies move together and they reinforce each other in battle with a, a maximum total of up to 18 units. So the battles can become 18 on 18. And then if you have more than that nearby, after the battle finishes, those other units then fight, like in a separate battle. So honestly, for me, it feels big enough. Like 18 feels like it's it's quite a bit. Um, let's actually just hurry production on this. And then um, we can get this. The academy gives us quite a bit of knowledge, but we probably need to level up. All done, brother. Let's see what Let's see what you got. Is there any tier two wonders around here that I could maybe do? I know we have the one down here. Yeah, the Reaper's Hollow is maybe doable. I think that's the one that summons like waves of undead. Sirtha Ek, if he takes his like hounds with him, maybe he could do it. Making some Nurgle toads and fighting some elves. That sounds like fun. All right, so let's go this way. You need to go handle that insolent free city there. Okay, so nothing here. Do you want to speed well, anything? Now we both have vassals. Did you you ended up vassalizing them? Yeah, that was the that was yeah. The, that was it the was the simplest thing. Yeah, yeah. Raising can be pretty darn good too if you want to go a little bit like taller in your main base. Um, is there anything we can excavate down here? Doesn't look like it. Just keep looking and okay, we have more we can excavate here. Okay, we did. Attract an angry mob, which um, we don't want. It'll kill our characters. We need to pop out of there. Not have anything to do with that until uh, our armies get there. And ending turn. <clears throat> yeah, so if you're um, attacking into an enemy army, the, the banners above your nearby armies will like be bouncing up and down and like will be highlighted so you can see that they'll be reinforcing you. That's how you can usually tell that. So, yes, yes. 
Yes, yes. So it sounds to me like the party's underground. Uh, not so much. I mean, I have scouts under there who are looking. It's a there's a couple couple free cities down there and a couple wonder sites. Like you have the Golden Gate, which is basically like a lizardman monolith. Um, in that one, if you want to try and take that down. Taking down Wonder Sites is really nice because the Rally of Lieges is just so good with that. You get like a bunch of units. Okay, so these guys are starting to like me more. So they're starting to pay me more vassalage. Slowly but surely. And uh, cool. So now we can go into the Underdark. But firstly, let's shuffle units around. Okay, so we get you. And we can keep the War Shaman in the main army. Get the hounds in the main army, the hound masters, because they're going to be a little bit better for our strategy overall. All right, so we should have enough here. Great. Not quite enough movement. We'll be there soon. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, the guardian tree. Look at that one. Dr. V, what is the value of having un an underworld trait? Um, it lets you build like farms underground, because most, most cultures can't really build underground very effectively, but obviously if you have that, you can, so... Yeah, I, it's, it's 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 decent, I suppose. And like the thing about being underground is it's very easy to defend yourself against the surface because they can only come in through one underground passage. So you can just have an outpost there and it'll force them to trespass um, or, you know, you'll see you'll just see it right away. So. All right. So still excavating here. Hadrius has got his uh, his vassal. Very Slaaneshi. Have your vassals gathering. Ending turn. Divine, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard. Sir Thaek continues his reign of tyranny. We get some. We have some mount that we don't have access to. So he gives his tier one units a buff, which is the warriors. Um, he's got bloodlust, fighting, a couple other things. Okay, let's enter. Okay, Sir Thaek, let's go here. Need to bring in the reinforcements. You see how when I mouse over it, it shows my, my flags bouncing up and down? That's because they're going to be reinforcing, so. Okay, so we have a new tome. Pyromancy is cool because you can get Searing Blades, which is pretty pretty nice. It gives your army um, a little bit of damage, which is always good. Rock is also really badass for Barbarians because you can give them defense with the Earthkin. There's a lot of, a lot of choices. Tome of Enchantment. This one's also quite neat because you can do the Sundering Blades. And we get the Rune Carver's Camp. We'll decide on this at the end of the turn. Let's auto combat that. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Nope. All right. Man, Hadris, there is a scary undead, uh, undead site here. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, that's actually not bad. So I can sacrifice one of my people at my, my capital city to just take this. Um, man, I feel... Oh, that's actually a really good one. Yeah. I, it gives me evil, but like it's also pretty scary. Because I, I could just like lose my whole army to that. I kind of want to fight it. I'm like genuinely curious, but... I think this would... Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Do you remember what the army looks like that you fight in there? I just can't remember. I don't because I also took the easy... Uh... Yeah, the easy way out. Yeah. I think it's fitting. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Okay, so Staff of Decay, which we don't want. Um, knowledge is probably okay. I remember this one's bugged. We can't recruit her. It's like bugged right now. So we'll take the Knowledge. Okay, so we want to set up an outpost like right here next turn. It's perfect. Yeah, we just sacrifice some of the Norskin villagers to some some dark god. It's very flavorful. All right, so that's a fun one. This is certainly not a bad one to do either. Basin, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's definitely not bad. It's like the trait we get for our character. This gives us sundering strikes. So you can see all the different bonuses that you get. Tomb of Zeal is kind of an interesting idea. 
Yeah. I think we're going to go probably with that. That seems pretty pretty awesome. There are no chariots in this game. It's, it's been one of our biggest laments that we've had. So let's go with that. Obsidian weaponry very much fits our characteristics. And materium is always nice. Yeah, that's exactly the plan, Jeff. So we're going to go with the earthkin there. Hmm. Okay, a little bit of scouting here. Let's go see what's going on down in the realm. I see a big infestation on the bottom of the map, which is fun. Let's put you on auto explore and uh, and I think our other character is down here trundling about. Yeah, not much to do here. Oh, Golden Gate's a triple difficulty one. All right, let's see what we got here, man. Oh, the Slanesh Cult's taking over this one, huh? Oh man, look at that. Okay, I see. I see you boosting the vassalage. There's a franchise. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I see you're up to no good there. Slanesh does all the good. I know. Everybody it's... feels amazing. Yeah, it's true. Everyone's everyone's pretty happy in their Slanesh lifestyles. I would wager. Oh, it's gonna be an easy squash here. All right, we'll definitely take them out. Awesome. So then we can do Stone Skin, and we can prepare a spell. Yes, good. Any barbarian traits? Nope, we are good. <laughs> the Norska DLC is coming, yes. <laughs> Norska's just so outdated, I love it. Okay, so that's per adjacent forester, which we don't really have any. Mob camp gives us food and draft, and tier one units are cheaper, which is pretty good. Um, counts as a forester. All right, so let's go ahead and attract population. Oh, we don't have enough because we sacrificed population before. That's right. Okay, so none of those like buildings are super urgent. So we can go ahead and do... Yeah, our leadership probably is going to need a little bit. So let's get the tavern going. Norskins need their beer. We can get the vendor building. And, um, and then we can go for the estate hall. Which is going to be a handful of turns before those are ready. But start recruiting some warriors. This infestation is pretty gnarly down here. All right, my minions, go forth. I'm excited to like try making a chaos dwarf in this game too. Like an industrious evil dwarf culture, that'd be really fun. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of stuff coming there, guys. So vassals, is there anything we want to trade? No, nothing worth trading with them. Slanesh is certainly going to be uh, taking them over. So we can give the Whispering Stone to our own city, if I'm not mistaken. Do I want to do that? So what does that do? Giving Whispering Stone does a passively improve your stability by two per turn up to a 20. That's kind of a cool idea. Yeah, it's kind of a neat idea. Let's take a look at our unique buildings too. So Slanesh, have they reached their tendrils up here? Yeah, it looks like they've got their tendrils all over the place. Old Slanesh causing problems. Hadri's in the corner up to no good with... Uh, mm. his Any idea what the Paladin's uh, armies looks like? No, so. I haven't run into her yet. She hates me. I know that. <laughs> I think yeah, it's because we're yeah, evil. You know? the underground too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's, she's, she's definitely not our biggest fan. Uh, what... What would you do to make a Tomb King? Um, you'd probably go with Great Builders, which is like the Empire Building trait. And um, some sort of, I don't know, it's a lot of directions depending on which dynasty and which characters, but you um, you would you would play, you would would play have to play the Tomb of Necromancy because there's like something that I believe turns your race into undead. Like you can literally do the whole Nagash thing. Um, okay, so this guy is like, yeah, he's, he's betraying me for you anyway, so I, I have to... Withdraw the Whispering Stone. Give it to my own city. Which will help with leadership and whatnot. Yeah, you take that ASMR stone back. I did, you can't you can't have it. You're just gonna get it anyway, so. Alright, start siege. Um let's go ahead and harass defenders, and that should be pretty much all we need here. Though one more siege characteristic. Headlong assault, yeah. We take damage when we charge. So we have too many buildings queued up. So we need to go and uh, get rid of some of those. It's kind of pointless to have that many queued up. I believe 
This will lower it, undermining the walls. Yeah, so that gives us, what, four turns? And then can we get another one to break the battlements? There we go. All right, that's going to be better. In terms of the time, we don't want to sit there for too long. Okay, so tavern's coming. Paladin ladies nearby, rally of lieges, nothing that's really good for us. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of fun options you can go for. There's certainly a whole lot. So barbarian culture increases the city cap. No, thank you. Founding and absorbing cities takes two less turns. Farms grant food, so it's actually a pretty good trait. Let's just do that. Alrighty, all done. All done. Adri's pretty close to vassalizing uh, old old uh, cities down there. Yeah. Maybe I should start trying to befriend the paladin lady. Be like, we're not so different, you and I. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, we're evil, though. She definitely isn't going to like that. Um, what is she interested in? We can see here. All right. What is that actually... Trade value 100, trade value 100. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think we're all right. I don't think we need to befriend her. It's very out of character. <laughs> all right, city will be breached in two turns. We got some warriors coming up for our second army that we're going to be building soon. Pretty low-key turn for me, dude. I don't have a whole lot going on here. I decided to go sailing and pick off some uh, loot there because it's the only way I could go that or I attack the paladin uh, capital which her army's away from there actually maybe I could just quickly raise it you could they, the AI it tends to find a way to <laughs> just appear with fat armies out of the blue you're like oh how'd that happen yeah mm, yeah that's true can you make a super aggressive melee only faction totally yeah totally there's tons of ways to do that I really love the amount of like build customization this game offers. It's oh, really yeah. good. Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch. Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. Do you want to move you over this way? Sure, why not? Yeah, because in this game, unlike Total War, you can actually recruit while your city's being attacked. So, like, so you can muster defenders while they're sieging you. So it um, certainly is a little bit trickier, if I'm not mistaken. For Tube Kings, I saw someone run a desert adaption, Mystic Culture, started out with the Faith Zone, but went Necromancy for their second. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty rad. That is very neat indeed. All right, so let's go into the depths with you. Have you reinforce. We'll get that next turn. You guys ready for this? Oh hell yeah! This is a this is a cool one. Yeah, rock hard. There we go. So we finished that. What are the traits that we want to get? Um, Gargoyles, kind of an interesting one. A flying shock unit that can harden itself to soften enemy attacks. Rock blast isn't useless either. Okay, let's move you into the to the second army here. Ah, so this is, you and the Paladin Lady are really just sharing a border, huh? Oh yeah, we're real close and personal. Yeah, you guys are like already Mortal Kombat there. Yeah, it's like... That's why I was thinking, like, maybe one of my only moves is to just stab her now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It might be, I don't know, yeah, I don't know where she's going or expanding. She's probably has another base. She's under, no, she has a base underground. If I try to go in the underground uh, node next to my capital, it says I'm going to trespass right on top of her city. So Yeah, that's the classic, dude. Oh. The AI is pretty clever. Yeah, it is. Be in this one. Yeah, AI is not bad in this game. They're definitely uh, more competent. So let's rush that. Get the Masonic call. Um, Central Quarry is really quite good, actually. So we can build that per adjacent quarry. So we'll build it on this farmstead and then get another um, quarry up here and that'll give us like a ton of production. A ton. So we got the tavern. Yep, people are stoked now. They got the beer. And Sirtha Ek prepares to take down the city. Oh, it's a rat. It's like a Skaven. All right. I'm actually really surprised you didn't play Skaven tonight. I thought that might have been 
the back pocket. I was pocket. thinking about it, but I didn't have them. Like, I feel like I have a good idea of how to play this. Yes. The Dark Skaven I had planned for Clan Eshin, like, I don't think they're going to be very good at all. You could, you would probably go with, like, a lot of ranged, so the Pursuers, and, like, get the Ice Arrows upgrade, so they, like, slow you when they shoot you, and, like, kind of play that, that kind like of a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, there's definitely a lot of schemes you could do. Yeah, I got to experiment a bit more by myself. <laughs> Sir Thak would never use rocks. That's how chariot wheels get broken in every movie. Yeah, That's true. You know, you certainly have a point there. You certainly have a point. We're going to get a ton of production here and hopefully be able to build up. All right, it's siege in time. The walls are breached. Uh, wow, how does he have 500 power with this shithouse army here? Okay, so we're going to auto combat. If I lose anything, I'm going to have to fight this. Sounds good, man. No, I didn't lose anything. I was going to say, I was like, that was a big difference. Wow, 600 gold, man. 600 Gs. If we migrate, take two of the population and um, to the Varg tribe, yeah. Migrates the population of the city to the Varg tribe. Um, that's probably not a bad idea. Their culture, I don't think, was mine. So you would want them to be in the, in the family there. Do we just absorb it? Bring it into your control. That kills two of the city's population. We don't really care too much about them being our culture, I suppose. So let's just absorb them. Oh, and they actually have um, they have what appears to be a special wonder here. That's cool. All right, so we can just peace out for now. So that city will be ours in a couple turns. Excellent, excellent. And you can just chill here, buddy. Let's go back to the capital city. Just make sure nothing funky happens. Okay, ruler is leveled up. So Sir Thaek currently has battle training for tier one, Berserker's Rage, Bloodlust, and Keen Edge, which is crit chance. So, hmm, Vigor is nice, but he's got the Berserker thing, so we don't care about his HP too much. Obsidian Weaponry is the bleed. Let's get fighting just for more raw damage. I get like some better armor. Oh, you can actually sell the gear for a decent amount. And let's see the character that we just imprisoned. They might have some stuff. Okay, so those were barbarians. Yeah. Um, oh, he actually had some good armor. Hell yeah. Oh, and a dwarven hammer. Oh, that's cool. Although our axe is probably better. So if you sell his remains, um, you get his gear. So now we go to Sirtha Ek. And Sirtha is going to have access to his chest plate of vitality, which gives us HP. Yeah, that's money. That's money right there, guys. All right. Um, anything we want in the development skill? Nope. I think we're good. And uh, yeah, we can't really do too much exploration here. The underground is where the paladin... Oh yeah, look at that. They, they really are right up against that underground, aren't they? You are not joking, brother. You are not joking. Yes. We will take the city. It's certainly not a bad city. Seems to have, uh, yeah, has this whole territory, and plus I can annex this, which will give me the um, Councils of Research, Imperium, Knowledge, Corrupt Souls to our Rally of Lieges. They're a pretty good unit. Wait, Sirtha Ek? Yeah, we made Sirtha Ek. Here he is. He's pretty rad. Some f fat barbarian. Oh, man, you already have Corrupt Souls? I don't, ha I don't have them yet, no. I'm working towards them. Okay, they, yeah, they're nasty. Yeah, they're good units. They're definitely good units. <sighs> Hadri's already vassalizing everyone. He's really playing Slanesh super lore friendly. <laughs> He's just taking over. The Jedi are taking over. Ax Ax Tusk. Yes, yeah, that's the name of my vassal city. Who's slowly starting to like me a little bit more. Speaking of, I should probably take my Whispering Stone from here. I don't really need it there anymore. Since we got the tavern. And we can give that to um, Axe Tusk here. It'll make them like us more, basically. All right. So turn is there. Yeah, the level five upgrades. I always forget about that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, so the, you can go and do that at any point. So, okay. Reckless Rage, Summon Elemental, Virulent Outbreak. Oh, he has a Nurgle ability. Holy Retribution and Summon Undead. 
So Sirtha is just going to be summoning an elemental, probably. He'll just like summon some some chaos monster. Thirty percent melee damage. There really is no reason not to take summon elemental. It's well, like, it kind of stands head and shoulders above everyone. It's else. really good, but also some of the abilities, like the teleport one, like Demon Step, being able to get like a super powerful melee character on top of somebody's arm, like leader, is really good. Um, Thirty percent melee damage for three turns. You know what? We got to stay in character. I know the elemental's better, but we're going to go with Reckless Rage because that's just so cool. Yeah. Come on, man. We got to we gotta, gotta have some fun here. Um, I haven't figured out a way to make uh, Hell Striders in this game, but I did <laughs> find a way to make Chaos Knights of Slanesh. Oh. You take the Subjugation Tome. Hell yeah. Down the line and then it gives you Heavy Tyrant Knights. Heavy Tyrant Knights? <laughs> it's basically just Chaos Knights, yeah. I love it. That's perfect. Um, let's do Stone Spirit here. Okay, Sir the X chilling. You're hanging out here. I think like doing a, a four player small map would be super fun. Like a Thunderdome with just like you know. Oh yeah, for sure. We should. Although would that have would that have uh, free cities? Yes, or... it would be. F so four players on a map this size plus free cities. It would just be like a like absolute bloodbath right out of the gates, which I think would be super fun. We should do that one of these days. Um, yeah. You can bring out your um, your Skaven for that one, maybe. Your, your... Oh, then the first the first thing I do is <laughs> go hide. Yeah, go hide. hide in the corner or build in the undercity and just like wall the entrances. Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty fun. Okay, so we have the um. Yeah, we don't have the uh, fancy central quarry. We'll probably speed build that. But our building speed is going to massively increase with all this. You want chariots? Yeah, we don't have chariots. Maybe they'll get added someday. But, you know. It's not the perfect Sirtha Ek. The decaying spire. Yeah, we have... We, you, like, vassalize them through, like, the proper means. And I just club them over the head until they, they join me. I clubbed one and <laughs> yeah. that properly vassalized the other and yeah yeah we're 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 doing the barbarian thing i'm just a little more persuasive well there's um there's a really cool thing in the tome of faith called uh sacred whispers which um increases the speed at which you vassalize um uh by 30 percent. so it's like really good if you're trying to like speed that along i see your scout up here hmm yeah, demon, demon Step's pretty good. Okay, so I have a quest. Yes. Let's melt some ice. Sounds good. Yeah, perfect timing for a quest. I don't know where they're going to appear, though, is the question. Um, what is that? So six units slain through the fate. Uh, change. Will you stop these ice creatures before they freeze everything in their grasp? Oh, okay. Well, that's, uh, kinda... that's an easy one. Yeah, those, those ones are always pretty easy in general. Especially with your main army, you just roll up on it and you're just like, oh, hey, how's it going? Yep, we can uh, we can do this. So move you down here. Auto combat that should be fine. We did lose a Sunder, but that's not a huge deal. I wanted to replace it with the Warrior anyways, although it was kind of elite. Oh, man, do we retry that? I mean, I definitely shouldn't lose anything here. They do a Brewer Ogres. Let's, yeah. It was an elite leveled up unit, so I don't want to lose that. And you get to get a sneak peek of uh, the dreaded Sirtha Ek here. Yeah, that's scary. He's pretty sure. jacked. Oh, the AI is doing its turn. Okay, so they, they have the... Have you seen the ogres in this game yet? Yeah, yeah, they look, uh, they they're, look pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. I, I really like the ogres. Okay, Sirtha Ek is going to plan his ambush around the corner. Get the javelin thrower hiding. You are probably going to hide a little bit deep set. Pull you over here. <laughs> Release the hounds. All right. And uh, now we just pass. Come on, ice elementals. There you go. All right. So perfect. Now they're in range. Um, so these guys are moving up on the side. David Vasselhoff. Oh, that's great, Gunhound. Yeah, I'll totally do that for you, man. Remind me after this battle. Um... There's like a little bit of a choke point, which is weird. Hmm. Like I can only fit two guys in here with my melee army. Same with them though. Same with them. So let's actually like force them up a little bit more. Do these guys have ranged attacks? They do. 
have freezing blast, so I'd probably want to jump them quickly here. So let's go ahead and do Visions of Victory would hit a couple units, but we're not too bunched up right now. So let's do, can we get Sirtha around the side of that unit? Yeah. All right, let's get a little bit crazy, guys. So we'll move you up. We're going to go ahead and move you archers up, and you shaman can go right here. Sirtha is going to use the rage ability. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go chop these guys down. And even if he takes damage, he's got the barbarian trait um, where he becomes unkillable for like a turn. So it's pretty nice. Because he's going to get jumped here like hardcore. Let's go ahead and just preemptively do Blaze of the Horde. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Throw the javelin, maybe get the kill. Nope, not quite. We can send the doggos up here. Warriors can uh, just stand by here. Hound masters and yeah, you know, we'll just fight the blob fight here. Ouch. Ouch. No wonder I lost shit in auto resolve, man. All right, so shaman man, we need you to invigorate. Pretty nice having healing. Oh, this, this ogre is going to get bonked super, super hard. Nice. Oh, how did he retaliate? That's weird. Hmm. Could have sworn that they didn't have that, but it's fine. Release the hounds! Those ogres are so cool. I'm surprised how well the uh, replay is syncing up. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. It's it's pretty solid. Um, we could do the um, Visions of Victory, which... Probably should have done earlier. Or we could just save our mana, although we have so much mana. Well, let's do Rock Blast. Dropping a boulder on somebody's head always works. Can we get these hounds in? Yes. Those little Houndmaster hounds, man, are super useful. See if we can pop them from downtown. Nope, we missed. I think we hit them once, though, so maybe we can get the unit to wipe them. Nice. The morale is high. Pop them. Maybe you come around the side. Next unit. Furies have already shot, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Oh, we had reinforcements from our other army that we forgot about. Okay, that's, that's unfortunate. Tactical reserves. Yeah, no, it's, it's classic Total War Total War tactics from us high-level players. So when Surthak kills something, he heals, which is really nice. So he'll bonk this guy, and then he gets a regeneration trigger. Fury of the Horde. Um, we only have a little bit of battle casting points left, so let's try and take this guy out. Let's flank. Javelin Lady can go and throw the Javelin to the Beast. The Doggo, let's see if we can get the kill here. Man, those Houndmasters are really good units. I think they might be one of my new go-tos. Just having those like cheap summons are so good. So shield bash the spider for sure. That'll keep it from doing anything important. Let's shoot from here. Do that. All right, and uh, pass turn. I think it's fine. Yeah, we're not going to need these guys, so we'll just, we'll just chill on them. I know I have units down at the bottom. Okay, so it said we're out of sync, which happens sometimes in multiplayer. You just click reload and it just fires you back in. Will do. Yeah. Yep, should be fine. And it starts you at the beginning of the battle. You won't... Okay, but you won't have to replay no, it. No, no, because okay. it memorizes the replay and um, it just catches nice. up to where you were. It's super nice. It... Wow, a game making like concessions for multiplayer and like <laughs> thinking about the quality of life there? Whoa. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I know, I was just I was just talking to uh, Professor Pone about that. I was like, <laughs> like it's just, it seems like it's oh, just these little things would be so nice. I feel like Total War invested so much in like the PvP campaign and just nobody does it because of lag, you know? Like Total War PvP campaigns are super fun, just with lag and connection issues and peer-to-peer, -peer, it's just like, it's so bad. I've managed to make it work a couple times, yeah, like in a XMT, uh, we get together sometimes for those. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, when you get like 3v3, like large armies, it's... Uh, just doom. You can't avoid, nobody can avoid lag there. Okay, I'm back in. Sounds good. 
All right, so grab the corruption orb. What does that do? Okay, a tier three orb. That's a really good item. I got that in. Uh, it's a good magic cast. Yeah, I don't have a wizard though. Uh, it's like the thing. Yeah, but you know what? We'll take the corruption orb in case I get a wizard hero for my next one. So. Okay. So now we can get our second hero. So beast trainer. Enables the recruitment of some animal units when governing a city. Oh, that's cool. Release the beasts. Chaos Affinity when governing, governing a city. So that's really nice too, though, because it'll speed us through our tech tree a little bit better. Trying to find some more Varg tribe. So Seductive. Oh, that's really, really good, actually. Oh, that's super good. Oh, wow. This character is really strong. So she has a mind control ability and she also has um has yeah extra casting points at the beginning of combat wow okay so let's give her the um corruption orb that's money that's money all right guys we got a strong new character you know empire development skills we don't really care for anything there and uh let's get our troops heading back to the surface worlds annex that hell yeah so we got that now Fun choices, man. Fun choices. The city. What can we build here? We don't have much room to expand here is the only downside, but um, we can still just get like economic stuff, right? So like the mint, just money buildings and like knowledge buildings and all that. Should just put that character on auto explore at this point. Um, auto explorer. Yes. <laughs> seductive that's a slanesh trap that's what i was thinking i was like oh adri's is uh probably gonna like that one okay so this character she's definitely gonna be strong especially with this tier three orb let's check our prisons to see if we have anything i don't think we have anybody in our prisons at the moment nope hmm adri's has got all those vassal cities yeah we do have our second city so we need to assign her as a governor before I forget, which is going to give the city food and draft. Uh, we have to do that, yeah. Okay, let's just redo that. Should work. It's, it's probably because uh, the turn is in the middle of being passed. Oh, man. Yeah, this lady is, like, expanding super hard underground. The AI, dude, the AI just loves doing that in, like, every match I found. They just, have, they just get so excited to do these dreaded undercities. Well, okay. if you spot her main army in the Undercity, let me know. I couldn't tell. I think it was uh, one of the side armies. You waiting for the backstab? I'm I'm gathering my three armies <laughs> so I can get the full, uh, drop the full might of my forces on there. Yeah. yeah. Relantium. I'm just going to secretly befriend her behind your back and just feed her units like, yes. She hates both of us so yeah. much. I'd have to pay money to... Insulting me. I'd have to pay money. <laughs> David Vasselhoff. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I can rename my vassals. Um, let's can see. You? I don't think I can. I think they have their they have their name, yeah. That is really good, though. David, David Vasselhoff. I like that. Declare war on your vassal and take the city to rename it. Yeah, that, I mean, it, it's an option. It's certainly an option. Wow. So these buildings underground will be pretty good. It's going to give us a lot of income. Bizarre of Wonders. Okay, so we lose... A little bit of that. Okay, and let's exit and then pull this reinforcing army, which is going to be taken over by our other hero. We can't exit because the top is blocked right now. We've got the quarry coming up. Let's go ahead and get Hound Masters because we know how awesome they are. Let's go see what's going on in this neighborhood here. The Night Fort. There's some, some Catman up here. The Decaying Tome. So if we were to take this one over, we could get Bone Dragons in our Rally of Lieges, which would be crazy. Yeah, we're playing Norska. The main city is on the surface. Yeah, her capital city is right here. Um, her capital city is right next to me. Like, just... Oh my god, I'm so sandwiched in with her. Nice. Got some draft there. Clearly somebody's quest right there. We could interrupt, but it's, it's a ways off. Um... I think we just come and conquer the city. We could just raise it to the ground, which I think would be very Sirtha Ek. 
or vassalize it. And the vassal armies will help you in wars against players. So when Hadrius and I inevitably have to fight, it helps. A, they kind of help. You know? I was going to ask. I haven't actually experienced too much help from the vassals yet, but I haven't played much. Yeah. Do they? Do, what do they do? Can you command them, or do they just do their own thing and they're like they they, ch they chill in their base. They give you better resources over time. You can trade with them also, and um, when you're at war with a player, they eventually start sending ar like an army at a time. So they'll send like a full six stack, which is pretty decent quality to attack that player and like raise their territories and stuff. Um, but it's not like they're not like super super aggressive. Like sending like three or four armies at once, at least as far as what I've seen. So, yeah, it's at least as far as what I have seen. We could try the decaying spire, guys. That that's a pretty pretty sweet one. Um, getting a big chungus bone dragon in the army would be awesome. But yeah, man, I don't know. It's the problem is if I go in there and fight it. And with my, like, I would probably send both my heroes to have the best chance, but if I lose it, then they're just both dead. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how strong this one is. Yeah, I wish I, I wish there was some way to, I guess you can scout it. So we'll do that. Oh, literally sacrifice a scout in there? No, you, you have to have a hero to explore it, but you could send oh, a scout. Right, and yeah. Then you, can... you could, like, see if there's, like, a conundrum or something like that. Oh, this game has a lot of replayability so far. I mean, I've been playing a lot. Um, I really honestly enjoy the PvP aspect, though, like playing with friends, and that's that's been my favorite for sure. All the schemes. The Slanesh Hordes are down here somewhere. Doing so far, my only way to properly expand has been with uh, Vassalizing. Yeah. Which is like, hey, this system is pretty nice. Yeah. It's not too uh, fiddly. Yeah, it's... To go crazy with it. It's fun, man. It's a lot of fun. Um... So we have the bandit army. The lure of the horde is cool. Probably go for that one. Okay, so Sirtha, is there anything we want to do over here? Guardian tree is a tier three one, which would just probably beat us down. So we're gonna head up here and prepare for the dreaded war. Okay, let's have you enter. Hadri's in combat. Looks like it was an easy one for him. Yeah, you can retreat once you uh, if you if you don't like what you see, you definitely can. Okay, so Sirtha and company are moving over. We're gonna have the Wizard's Tower next turn, which is good because it gives you some uh, some nice little buffs. Hmm, that'll give us draft and food, which can replace a farm. Let's do that. Do it right there. And um, other buildings, the bathhouse will give us stability, which we don't really care about. Mana is not an issue for our haggard barbarian culture. Let's just do a little bit of eco. Oh yeah, time for the next tier tomb. Have you gotten your tomb of revelry yet? No, I'm being a little slow on that. Well, no, I've got decent research. The only one thing my uh, city is lacking is quarries. I've got tons of farms, but yeah. almost no quarry space. Yeah, so you're building a little slower on it. Oh, the the tomb of revelry is what this is the slanesh one. It, it gives you some cool. Yeah, buildings. the tomb of revelry is it's really fun. I got to play around with it. It's nice. It is, brother. The uh, support uh, the support caster that it comes is just with is just a straight upgrade to the war caster you yeah like the war shaman you got. <sighs> Curse of misfortune, so confusion makes base attacks of enchanted units inflict misfortune, which. Creates a fumble chance. Infect Infectious Insanity is a pretty cool spell too. It makes their units like lose control and attack each other. And it has a yeah, chance. We'll both get that. It has a chance of spreading. Um, I think this is maybe the direction we want to go. This one's really nice because it gives you this building, which is just so good. Um, the Golem Mine. Winds doesn't really feel in flavor. The Doom Herald is a fun one. Amplification, obviously. Yeah, Mayhem is probably what we'll do next. I think the immediate one will be Tomb of Artificing, so we can start getting some of these guys because they're just rad. Um, so I think we give that a try. And also, this is really nice for Siege. But yeah, this upgrade, it gives you 30% um, crit chance. It's insanely good. So we will take that probably. Yes. I'm going to get this game just to create all your Warhammer fan. That's exactly what I'm doing. It's what everyone's using it for, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, 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 been, it's been great. Okay, we, we're not really going for elementals this time around. 
go see what the decaying spire looks like. Okay. Um, looks like there's some units up here checking you out. Night fort will be ours. Vassal sell units. Uh, trumpet button upper left. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know about this. This is the Rally of Lieges. There's just nothing there that I um, that I really need. Yeah, these are you know these are not great units, but that's where your um, units from your wonders will appear and everything. All right, so let's just put you on auto explore, and uh, we can go back to the top and turn, brother. And we're moving and a grooving. All right, so now we head over here. I think we need to go say hello to our friends. Yes. Yes, my minions, go forth. Spells ready to cast. Nothing really super sweet here. Um, so the bandit army is a really good one in a pinch. It just, it summons an army to your capital, which is very bad, but it's like good if you're just like desperately need to defend or we're going to do lure of the horde. So um, we have a chance of getting a unit when we basically kill things. It's, it's quite fun. It's very flavorful. The barbarian hordes grow in power. Uh, we could attract some population here. Sure, why not? Let's get some farms. Down here, there's definitely no no expanding the city. The city's like just, yeah, just traps. Although we could maybe clear that way, but I think we're okay. Okay. Let's keep exploring back here. Uh, not going to like the trespass, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Let's go around there. You're on auto explore. And all done. Pretty fast turn for him, for me here, brother. Just, uh, just... I got to level up my... Uh... Oh, you're a hero. You're probably hero. about the same level. As... Don't forget your level 5 ability. I always forget that. Yeah, I just reached that. Five. Yeah. The dreaded summon elemental. Yeah, artisan enchantments is pretty good. God, the decaying spire. We'll, we'll go see what's in there. Because I could, I could cut... I could cut like, uh, oh, you need the war shaman. I would probably cut one warrior and send my um, other hero in. And we might be able to take it down. Although tier three is like, the triple skull is usually means it's like intended for like really like late game units. I don't know though. Because there's no do overs here. If I, if I get owned, it's just, it's just my hero's dead. I'm like super behind. Hmm. Well, if there's ever a time, it's not like I'm bearing down on you right this second. I know. Well, you never know. That could change. What do our relations look like? I haven't looked. Yeah, we don't have any. We don't really have anything. Pronouncements. I could declare a We're declaration of bros. a declaration of rivalry. Oh, fabricate grievances. <laughs> just you, lie. <laughs> yeah, Sir, Th Sir Thak would certainly look for a reason to fight. Although he would just probably declare an unjustified war, but. Um, if, if you declare an unjustified war in this game, it, it has a bunch of penalties. You lose your Imperium, uh, all the free cities hate you and potentially attack you. It's like, it gets it gets pretty crazy pretty quick. Yeah, it gets pretty crazy. Fortunately, I have a minor justification on the... Yeah, she, well, she insulted us both, so it's like... She's been bad-mouthing us the entire she's game. Been talking, she's been talking some, talking some shit, man. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her. So ju just like in Total War Campaign, Sir Thaak has united much of the North. He's confederating all the haggard Norskin tribes to rise up against the Slanesh Inquisition here. All right. I think I got everything. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. It'll be, uh, we'll be doing some four player games soon too, like Thunderdomes. And we could do four player, like long form stuff as well, which I think could be very cool. Yeah, there's the Barbarian Tree has so much fun stuff. I like all the. It would be interesting to get a game going where we see the tier five uh, units, yeah, crazy stuff, yeah. Yeah, because that hasn't happened too much. Um, Pone and I are going to be doing a, a slightly longer form one too, but yeah, we'll have to do one as well. Army of Asha here. All right, so let's go see what the Decaying Spire looks like. Yeah, we don't care. Ooh, that is a hard battle. Um, in the upcoming battle, enemy every three turns, all attacking units are displaced to hexes. Um, no way I can take that. I mean, maybe it'd be. There's a chance I could maybe cheese the AI, but that's like uh, that's that's not likely. 
All right, so those guys are on their way. We got the market coming in, so let's go ahead and uh, do we want to hurry production of that? Workers Guild gives us production 10 per quarry times four. Ooh, golem mine, that's right. So per adjacent quarry. So we do that and we do it right here. It's a really nice building, the, go the golem mines. And we can set that up here too. Do we have any quarries underground? Not really. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. So the chums of research you get also dictate what, um, like what type of special buildings you get. So mana is fine. We could do mints, blacksmith, bathhouse. We don't really need a state hall. Gives us a lot of food. Would let us expand a little bit, but we're kind of at the brink of our expansion anyway. So. I think we're all right. Just hopped in not too long ago. Does combat uh, force all players to spectate or take over the... I don't think... I don't know if there's an option to take over the AI, actually, in fighting. That could be kind of fun, actually. That would be really cool. I, I bet you there's something like that. But um, you can you can choose whether or not you want to, like, watch your enemies, like your fellow players fight. So you have the option of not watching. Um, if you want to, like, keep your army secret and play, like, really sweaty and, you know, all that kind of stuff. You're, you became the race keeper of the Ratty Barbarians? Oh, they elected me their new keeper. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm the keeper of some Rat Barbarians? What, what does that even mean? You're the keeper of Rat Barbarians. <laughs> Sounds self-explanatory to me. Yeah, I don't know. Some weird, some weird shit going on. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. So let me go ahead and pass the turn here. Got to refresh the YouTube chat. For some reason, it says it's uh, shut down for now. Alright, so yeah, we'll take that. It's fine. Build three conduits. Oh, that's actually not even possible. Because I don't have any conduit nodes nearby. Hmm. Okay, so we're back up to the north. Let's go ahead and take that. Oh, wow, there's a hell of a lot going on in this corner. Oh my god, okay. Uh-huh. So, man, they got some like magical resources. Some ice nodes. They're dark evil cats. Okay, so we're going to have some shock units, which are decent for sure. Yeah, she's got some she's got an interesting army actually. She's got what? Dust hunters and sun priests. So yeah, it looks like it's playing she's playing a high culture which has the um the awakened ability, which certainly isn't bad. Okay, yeah, can't speed that along. Um do I go clear out the trash first? I think I go in for the kill first. Um, this counts as an evil act. Evil, yes, evil. I think I got to declare. Yeah, I'm going to declare on the uh, paladin. Are you? Is it here? Is it time? Just to, yeah, it's time. Oh. Well, I'm declaring a war against a pretty powerful uh, free city up here, so we'll both have our little scraps. Sirtha Ek! Start the siege. Let's go ahead and cr construct onagers, which are quite useful, and um, we can do a tower bombardment as well. Um, all right, let's close that and get a better siege trait. So we can cancel this mint for now, and then we can use that to buy a better siege trait. Break battlements, tower bombardment. I don't, do they have towers? They do, they actually have ballista towers. Ooh, that's actually a little bit scary. So it'll destroy half the towers at the beginning. That's actually probably smart. They'll most likely muster out and fight me though, the cat people. I think they'll just they'll just come for blood. Okay, prison cells. Um Yeah, it's not a bad idea. You can get those. We're gonna be getting some prisoners here soon, get the academy for some knowledge. And uh we can go grab this. Keep looking over this way. Nice. Now we can get the uh enchantments on our weapons. Siege magic. Oh, what does that do? Okay, grant enchanted units 10% damage. And they can take down fortifications. Oh, that's rad. But it's only for mages. Okay, so it's not that useful, actually. So let's shuffle that, see what we can get. Yeah, iron golems all day. All right, let's get that. And uh, we got the market coming. <laughs> Lair of Sirtha. We need to give it a proper name. I don't know why it's called that. There you go. All right. Other rulers are at war. Oh, the big drama going on. Yeah, Hadris and I are doing a PvP game right now. He's he's battling the other ruler in the game. He's trying to snipe its capital city. It's gonna the AI is gonna furiously muster all of its armies <laughs> and come after you now. Yeah. 
Well, let's see if they can get to me in five turns before I sack their capital. It should be quicker with siege equipment. If you build siege, it like reduces it by the. the yeah, I did. They they built good fortifications. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The AI does that a lot. They like players. I, I've noticed don't really do that as much, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely smart. Mm -hmm. Any other siege tech we want? Yeah, this is looking like my only move. Ah, yeah, it's definitely definitely not. I mean. Getting experience and karate chopping things is, is smart if you're playing barbarian culture, especially, you know? Yeah. Oh, Surthak, dude. He's ready. What does this guy look like? Lion O here. Okay, so we have this uh, this cat overlord guy. He's got some tier two units, a warlock, a pursuer. 460 plus 305. So my combined armies are stronger, but he has the defender's advantage. So that'll be that'll be a bit of a tricksy hobbits is there. Lion O. Yeah, on, uh, online PvP match, correct. Correct. What are you guys all playing so far, by the way, in chat? Let me know what you guys are playing. What have what have been the weird schemes you've come up with and what have you found to be very strong or weak or I'd be I'd be quite curious about that. Okay, I think we're all set here. Yeah, the next rally of Legis oh look at Adri's scout is sailing in the seven seas here. How are my vassals doing? Do they like me yet? Oh, they actually came out to fight. They didn't want to wait. Um, let's fight this because it'll give. I think it'll be an entertaining fight. Yeah, and I'm definitely going to lose some stuff in the auto, so we'll just fight this. Oh yeah. All right, Adrius, you get to they see. Decided it. to give you a fair fight. Well, like I don't know. They the thing is, I was going to get catapults in the siege and things like that, so maybe they didn't want to deal with that. I'm not sure. Okay, so they're playing a dark culture, which means shock damage, which hard hitting, hard hitting action. Send the hounds around the side where they can't quite reach. You can send one hound master up to support. Battle mage man, go here. Sirtha Ek can support on the bottom. Go forth, my minions. This sorcerer lady is really good. Mind control is strong. Okay, let's move up. Let's move up. Got to watch out for AOE witchcraft and all that. Um, definitely want to keep her here so she can mind control unit. Yeah, he can reach super far, so we got to be careful that he can't reach us on that first turn. Houndmaster's in the bushes. Doggo's on the sides. Doggo's up here to support. And Skirmisher can join the Vanguard in the front. And I think that's pretty much it. Alright. The evil, the evil house cats are coming for us. Wow, this AI is really quick with their turns, huh? Okay, so let's pull back a little bit. Force these units to like extend up. Draw kite him. Draw we're kite we're him. gonna draw kite him, dude. It's happening. Um Fury of the Horde will strengthen all our tier one units. Let's do that. He's kind of draw kiting me a little bit, to be fair. So, 60% chance to mind control the spear unit, which would be really nice, actually. Hell yeah, dude. That's so... Oh, that, that mind control thing is so OP. It's so annoying to play against. Okay, so how far can they move up? It's especially strong against the AI, because, well, it's going to react poorly to it. Well, that's how Pwn owned me the other day, like with all the all the mind control stuff. Oh yeah, he got your cool Yeah, he, he like I had this like big dragon and he was just cackling like oh, 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 oh I didn't mean to do that. I thought they were throwing the spear. Oh well. Um okay, so they can't move that far, so let's move you guys up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir Thak will prepare his his reckless charge here. Yeah, the the, the tactical element of uh, so the terrain is nice. Okay, so I just got like all these evil, evil debuffs on me. Oh, look at that! The cat lord came in with the backstab. You see that? Oh my god! Look at this guy, dude. What is he? How does he think this is gonna work out? I think he's confident. You think he's he's feeling it? Okay. Yeah, he's, okay. he's feeling good about himself for some reason. We could nuke you guys with that, which isn't terrible, but I think just dropping a fat boulder on this guy's head is going to be good. Drop the rocks. 
How come Sirth Ek has only a 60% chance to hit him? That's wild. Okay, well, at least he hit. Um, Houndmaster, 50-50 kill shot here. You missed that. So he seems to have some, like, weird aura that makes him, like, hard to hit. We he definitely... We have, like, some kind of evasion, yeah. Yeah. Or the... There's a trait like that makes them thirty percent harder to hit yeah. with any range attack. Makes sense, brother. Makes sense. Let's get up on the front here. Could taunt him with the leader. I think that worked out just fine. Yeah, just the the beat down. Sertha came in and gave him the big business. We still have their spears mind controlled, so we'll use those. The barbarian hordes descend upon their foes. Okay, doggos, let's go surround here. Because these dogs, uh, they come back no matter what, so it's pretty nice. Let's take down some of these night guard here. Should be able to p just finish them off here with the primal strike. Uh, the barbarian trade is the first time they hit something in combat, they get a uh, they get a nice little buff. Well, whatever item he had, I I know I'm gonna get. It's gonna he's gonna because he's gonna go to my prison or my uh, my tomb or whatever. Yeah, Sorry. you might do this with no losses. Yeah, I was losing. I definitely would have lost like two units in the um in the auto. Plus, it it gives you time to spy how my army plays. So you're you're scheming, big scheming here. So Fury, Our let's move. Are probably gonna be a little similar. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. A barbarian uh, battle. I mean, you're, we're, we, we, have, we have our differences. Yeah, we have different tomes and you know all that kind of stuff too. So, so fiery convocation. What does this do? This is um, channel power. So let's go here. And uh, yeah, we can just shoot some laser beams. All right, and turn. Yeah, I might lose that that fury unit. It depends. Well, no, it looks like they're just targeting the warhounds. Classic. Oh, my hounds. All right, so it should just be over. Your summoned hounds that don't count towards anything. Yeah. I love it. I love it when the AI focuses them. I know, it's great. The AI is usually pretty good, but in some situations, they uh, they definitely miss the mark. All right, so can we go around here and get some better percentage shots? Doesn't look like it. I still have control of their night guard unit, which is so troll. Yes, precious, get them. Kill them. Oh yeah, I had a game where I finished with a mind control unit and then it, it ended the battle and I had to attack again and it was just that mind control unit. At <laughs> Seriously? No yeah. Okay, that's pretty funny. I've never seen that. Go, my hound. Uh-huh. And that's weird. Oh, I thought that was a melee attack. I was like confused as to why. All right, we'll just put auto combat on now. The auto combat's nice for when you're just like late and you're just like, all right, just... Yeah, they're, they're all retreating anyways. So, should just take that thing out. Look, see, my AI is doing the plays. It's using the Haggard units first. And that Chaos Lady that I got is, is really good. Oh, man, I actually caught that character. Wow. And I think they're stunned, too. Yeah, it looks like Sirtha Ek got the snare there. Do you get to keep the Spearman? No, you don't. That'd be pretty cool, but you don't. Oh, yeah, karate chop. All right, perfect. That dude, I took like no damage. Jeez. The siege continues though, because they 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 rallied out, so I'm still besieging the city. Unfortunately, it's not like total war where if you sally out, you uh, you get that. All right, so let's enchant the weapons of my guys. That's gonna affect all my units. They get like enchanted uh, goodies. Um, nothing else here. Okay. He didn't even have any good items. Why was he so hard to hit? He's got arrogant, okay, and he does have an arc fire orb. We'll keep him there for now. He does give us an income of, of knowledge by having him in our crypt because you're like, you know, doing some barbarian stuff there. Um, anything up here? So did we grab the watchtower? I think we did. Yeah, so there's a hard camp up in the top right. How's your war with the paladin lady going? I'm still sieging. Yeah, you're still still making the push. Okay. Golem well, our on. army hasn't showed up. If it's underground, I don't know where it's going to come out of. But, uh, I mean, I'll take the capital. And if she shows up, then I kill her. So yeah. 
Yeah, it's. I mean, her. She's just gonna have like a crappy low tier city, basically. So, did you insult me? She no. that lady. She just insulted me. She's like, I am. Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be hilarious if she attacked you while I was attacking her. She's just she's to the one going full barbarian mode, yeah. <laughs> Transit barbarian loin cloths, yes. Gold barbarian, our barbarians, and looking at this paladin, going, man, she's so rude. She is. She's pretty ferocious. She certainly is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're gonna have to go take this astral rift here. This is a gold infestation spawner, which means it's a pretty high tier one. Um... So yeah, we're definitely going to be interested in taking that out. Okay, my old computer is struggling. It's like, help me, I'm too weak. Okay, there we go. Hey, I just hit in turn. And oh, you're fine. It's good. Oh my god, there's like a Keeper of Secrets here. Oh, look at that thing. A Lost Wizard. Dude. That is. Oh, I was hoping that lost the Lost Wizards were like recruitable because he looks so slaneshy. You can recruit them. Um, there are certain wonders oh. that give you them. Yeah. Ah, you probably need to like take them over and get them from the I, rally. You know, I think right? there's I think there's also a tier five tome that unlocks them. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um, I, I think there is. <laughs> you think we're gonna really? Okay, well, let's auto resolve that. So I get to continue the siege while killing this unit. Ah, victory is ours. Oh, and it gave us a uh, it gave us a uh, a war shaman. That's cool. Uh huh. All right. So in the city, looks like we're fine. Um, we could do the third town hall for now, but we have time on that. Martial expertise gives us ten percent more damage. Resistance, we don't care about. We're going full haggard barbarian mode. So yeah, it gives physical ranged attacks. Melee sentinel gives us. 20% damage via retaliation and opportunity and first strike. That's actually pretty good. So if somebody attacks him, he'll hit them first before they get to swing back. Surthak is preparing for a uh, battle against the heretics of Slanesh. All right, speed that along. Get an obelisk down here. And uh, is there anything else we want to do? Golem mine? Yeah, I think we're okay. All right. I think we are all good. We're gonna have a we're gonna fight that lost wizard though. You're gonna get to see us uh doing glorious battle with it soon. Oh, it caught our scout. No no. The wolf has fallen. Okay, one turn until that's breached. Um pillaging a province takes one less turn. This is really good for sure, but um So we wanna get that infestation trait, because when we go to take out um this camp, it's gonna give us a high tier unit. Which is exactly what we want. I don't remember. Did you take the decaying spire or did you back out of it? Uh, the one in the dungeon? The decaying spire. No, no. I, it was too hard. It was like a 1200 army value. And, you know, I, I, I'm i playing like a kind of a lower tier unit strategy and it would have been pretty bad. I don't have like a lot of elite yet, elite units yet. Okay. I think we're good. Just continuing the siege. Everything's going good, yeah. Everything's great. Hadrius and I doing a 1v1. Sirtha Act versus a Slanesh, uh, a Slanesh demonette. He's playing a Slanesh demonette who has halfling minions. So he's just got all these like goblins running about, causing havoc. You guys know how it is. Hmm. Soon we'll have the city, and there's no defenders left. So as soon as the breach happens, we just get to do our thing. Um, we have anything that, yeah, this makes us founding and absorbing cities faster. Newly absorbed cities gain one population. So let's actually get that trait so that when we absorb the city, it's faster. And uh, she's just exploring and turn. Okay, go back to the surface. So Hadrian's just finishing up here. Have they mustered a defense in their city down there yet? It looks like uh, some, yeah, some of our armies came down from the uh, cave but mm. I don't see the main force yet. And next turn, the siege is going to be over. So migrate to the Varg tribe. The city will become a, a city of Varg tribe or migrate to ratty barbarians, which is so weird. Uh, we're going to migrate them to our city, which will turn them into a barbarian city as well. Evil. It'll only take one turn. All right, let's move over here, move over here. He can just chill in the city for now. 
Uh, she leveled up. She's got some. She's got some good abilities for sure. Um, Magecraft is nice. That'll just make her do more damage. Outstanding. Iron golems, hell yeah, dude. Oh, the iron golems are so cool. Don't really care for any of that. Granted, Wayfinder enchantment will... So Grant's enchanted units, yeah, it's only the... We're just going to do that because it's quick. <laughs> yeah, only... There's a... You can you can turn your um, necromancers... There's a spell to turn your entire race into undead. It's a, it's a, a race transformation, so you totally can. I'm just speeding some of these along. Um, tavern, we don't really need that down here. Probably set up a golem mine. Quarry, that does give money. And has the benefits of a quarry. Remains. Okay, so we took out a cat. Let's see what he had on him. A lightning sword, a leather torso, a shield. So currently, they're giving me a little bit. But honestly, we'll probably end up selling them in time. And this city will be ours next turn. And we can start to expand that one out. How long have we going for a while? Yeah, we're still pretty early on in the stream, honestly. We've been going just under two hours, so probably another two hours or so. Usually, like, the four-hour mark is when these, like, 1v1s will finish on the smaller maps, like four or five hours, so. Yeah, unless, I mean, you know, we could just blitz each other, but usually the person on the offense early on would be at a big disadvantage for sure. Um, okay, so trade negotiations. This is with one of my vassals. Um, can the hero item face? Oh, yeah, we want that. Oh yeah, dude. This item is super good. Um, God, but it's a it's a chess piece. Damn. This one's really good too, but face cloak's better for sure. It it like, gives you blink, so you could like teleport. Okay, so we need to be like full health before we go too crazy here. Let's attract some population. Oh shit! She showed up from the underground passage and is probably gonna try to base trade me. That's really, really? she's just trying to base knife you. Well, she hasn't started her siege yet, and I just took her city, so she's going to have to do it quick. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> well, you can, like, panic muster some defenders, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, you're, you're in good shape. Oh, this... Guys, this tech is so cool. The bolt repeaters. When you siege a city, you can build them, and they just, like, destroy everything inside. They're, it's like this, uh, this siege piece. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You guys are going to love it. All right, so yeah, we, we're going to heal up. Where's the brink of our territory? So we can move up like to the edge of the farmsteads here. And Sertha Eck and company will heal. We'll bring our little rat with us too. And we just got we just got Fireforge Stone. We have two of them. So units cost 20% less draft. So that's going to stack up to 40%. We have Haste Berries. We have Rainbow Clover, so diplomatic relations with three cities. Mm, that's nice. See the Iron Golems, he's gonna come out in three turns. Hmm. No, the Phase Cloak I think is slightly better on the Barbarian character. Cause he's gonna be able to, um, like he has an invulnerability thing. So when he gets low, he becomes invulnerable for a turn anyways. Uh, he's gonna die in big battles, 100%. But I can then like teleport on top of a of a character and, and just karate chop them. Like if I can't quite reach them, like movement is just so important. It's so important here. So we don't have enough for another hero quite yet. Not quite yet, my friend. Uh, Eddie, I'm really enjoying the game, but you know, the question like that, it all depends on your budget, right? Like it's, it's uh, it, I think it's really worth it. I've put countless hours in this game already. Granted, I'm still still learning a lot. I've never played these before, so. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to just tag me in chat and just I'll do my best to answer them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's Trixie Hobbits's. All right, so now it's time to farm these armies here, if we can. That infestation is going to be hard, but we need to clear out the um, the marauding armies first. So Sertha is going to come and get that army. We'll auto-resolve that. Didn't take much damage. And now we'll continue working towards that other marauding army and clear all this out. Hmm. Do we want to recruit another hero is the question. A Grand Wharf. 20 production income requires two fisheries. Oh, that's cool. Let's get a Grand Wharf and a market. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Other cities are all still building. No problem. We can annex another province here. So let's go ahead and just uh, kind of start connecting our empires. 
Uh, pillaging a province, we don't need that, but your city is gaining draft and w raising cities grants one population. Oh, that's pretty good. Force March, raising cities gets 20% 20, 20 gold permanently. All right, got some fun choices, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I can get a third hero, I'm, I'm going too soon. Probably start mustering some more golems in the capital. Ah, Hadri's in combat. Or are you just having a duel of fates with that? Uh, no, she ran away. She retreated into the underground when she saw <laughs> problems that were going to happen to her. So yeah, yeah. I I guess I'm going to follow in after her. Yeah, I see. I saw you took the city there, so that's that's pretty good. We're both growing and expanding. Taking taking our little empires here. Yeah, these people aren't happy, but once we finish the tavern, they'll be they'll be in much better shape. This is going to give us like some fat goodness here. Like all this stuff, um, the Call of Chaos defeating an infestation gets you a unit based on its its level, and this is like a max level infestation, I think. Yeah, because it has a mythic unit, which um, the army values a thousand versus ours, which is like thirteen hundred. So on paper we should win, but yeah, it's I don't even know what this thing does. Okay, so yeah, we passed. So let's read what this thing does. Okay. It has a laser beam. It can teleport. Unit gains a forgotten spell, which can then be used as a single action. Um, it can phase. So yeah, it can it can basically just summon this 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 witchcraft of sorts. All right. It's just gonna like kill my whole army. So I'm too weak. Okay. Anything at the main city? I mean, going tier three is nice. Um, it gives us Berserker units, but we're kind of fine with our other units, to be to be fair. So I think maxing out the eco stuff is just better. Um, yeah, Bathhouse, the province isn't, like, super happy. You want to keep them happy for sure. Let's, let's do that. And uh, let's get the Wizard Tower to get more Imperium. All right, man. We got a big fight here. Oh, boy. All right. Um... You guys probably want to see this. Let's put it up. I mean, if you just want me to, yeah, I think we should fight it so we can see what this like giant tier five monster does. Oh yeah, I definitely want to see the unit. Okay, we're, we're fighting it then. I was just I was just considering you because I didn't want to force you to watch it if you were in the middle of something. But no, that's one of the. I really want to recruit that. Uh, <laughs> Look, at, it's a keeper of secrets. Literally, it's, Look. A, it's a keeper of secrets. I want him for my Slanesh army, but I don't know what tome I need to get him. It's probably like some just super. Sauce tier five tome. Um, definitely a little bit nervous about this. I'm like, they got some good watch, units. Yeah, watch you get him by finishing this. It, it could, dude, it could happen. It could happen. It could happen. All right, so let's get you. I'm gonna try and seduce the watcher if I can. Okay. You want to try and seduce the big guy? It would be like a one percent chance or something. Be amazing. Yeah, yeah, it would. It would be really funny. Sirtha Eck is going to call it, call it out to an honorable duel. He's like Wolfric the Wanderer. Challenge me! <laughs> yeah, to an Eldritch Abomination just walks up to it. And I mean, that's very that's a very flavorful thing for Norska, though. Like, yeah. like the monster hunting, you know? It's like, it's their whole it's their whole character, you know? I love doing monster hunting campaigns as Wolfric. Like, I just ignored everyone and just hunted monsters. It yeah, dude. It's, it's super rad. Wolfric is uh, a really cool character in lore. Like, the whole concept of him is just, he's just like so, it's like what every like 13 year old would be like, dude, that's so cool. <laughs> just some badass armored Viking monster hunter guy, you know, it's like. But I love how he got his start though. It's like, yeah. he was just bragging how he could beat anyone and the chaos gods heard him and go, okay, let's, we'll, let's see, we'll let's, take you up on that offer. Yeah, let's see how it goes for you, little guy. And he usually does pretty well, though ironically in Total War Warhammer, he, um, uh, I started with the Goblin Horde army. Yeah, that's what our army has a lot of low tier units in it. Um, Both of us, yeah. But I also have like a lot of tier two units. I'm not going to be pure tier one. Uh, it's like we're we're mixing it up a little bit. All right, you ready for the big monster? We'll put it on regular speed so you can see what it does. Okay, Forbidden Tome. So it gets a it gets a free spell of some like really rare type. Mass plague. Oh God, okay. what? I saw the word mass plague. Oh, look at that. <laughs> No. Oh no! Oh no! It's going bananas. Okay, so that whole section of my army is just straight up poisoned and dying now. 
those fish are so annoying. Yeah. Oh, they're the worst, the worst thing in the game. So when you hit these things, uh -huh. they become unhittable. Yeah. So, so you can only hit oh, them once. It's the worst. It's the worst. Okay. So I'm, I'm losing units. My poor dog is there. So now what we probably do is we do Fury of the Horde, which will buff all our tier one units in our whole army. Oh, Fury of the Horde. It sounds like a World of Warcraft thing. Start the wah. Start the wah. Oh my god. This And this guy is just going to try a shield bash, I think, because he's just like in the pits. Um, so let's see what we can hit first. Oh my god. Wow, this guy just like one-shots this thing. So let's get like around the side so I can fit more units in. Oh, that got rid of my flanking bonus. Damn it, I screwed that up. Oh, I couldn't one-shot it anyways because of that buff. Okay. Go forth, my doggo. Be free. Um, let's get the archer in. Man, these monsters are scary, dude. Sertha's going to have to come and speak At to this guy's manager. A bit. Yeah, they do. Okay. So dogs. Let's get the dogs to go back here and chase that big eldritch monster. Nice. Do we have a war shaman over here? I think we do, right? Can we seduce anything is the question. Uh, mind control. Okay, they all have like some sort of arcane resistance. Although we... Yeah, these are all magical arcane. Oh, this beam. one. We have a 60% chance on that guy. Oh, nice. On the fish? Nice. Yeah, the fish has been the fish has been banished here. All right, so let's just get up and start bashing, doing Norskin things. Um, War Shaman needs to cast a heal probably on these guys to try and salvage that. Nice, there we go. So let's test out Sirtha X Phase Cloak now. So he moves here. Oh, wow, look at that distance he can cover. Oh, and then Barbarian Rage. Oh, dude. The Slanesh Demon. We're going we're gonna to wear it down. Okay, wasn't that much damage. <laughs> oh, that's your... <laughs> I was expecting like half its health bar to disappear, and now. To be fair, it is like some mythic beast of yeah. sorts, right? But yeah, okay. I was I was expecting more myself. Um, all right, man, the monster. I think we just kill the supporting pieces that we have good line of sight on here. Yeah, yeah this is definitely a clear the ads out before you. Yeah, this is the <laughs> monster. Throw the javelins. Okay, Houndmaster. Got to take the best percentage shots we can get. We go right here. Gives us a 70% chance on you. Nice. All right. So that's going to be pretty tough to kill. So let's get some troopers moving in and get some bows moving up. Yep. Let's shoot. And then get you guys moving too. Should be able to lend a little bit of fire support. Uh, that's pretty much it. All right. Let's see what this big beast does now. I'm going to go regular speed so we can see what it does. Okay. Oh, thankfully, it just tried to peel for its watcher back there. Okay, well, it did take the doggo out. Oh, so it looks like it can only use its Forbidden Tomb once. Uh-oh, Sirthak's going to just get blasted, isn't he? Nope, lost a warrior. That was that was honestly not that bad. Um, yeah, you're going to be fine. Let's go ahead and do this. That'll do just AoE damage based on how many Tier 1 units you have. It's quite good. Yeah, I, I anticipated we'd be fine. It's still, like, a little... You never know, like, the spell, the RNG of it. So those guys are stunned. Let's finish him. Down you go, beast. Clear the ads. <laughs> I love that analogy. It's so apt. All right, let's go get you. Let's go back to fast forward. The dog goes to come in and pin that thing. Sirtha Ek... He needs to he needs to continue. So if I taunt this, grants a 90% chance of inflicting taunted, huh? Yeah, let's just clear this thing out. I screwed up actually. What I should have done, I forgot that I had the healing ability. Is um yeah, we got the 50-50 here. We could do that, which will do some friendly fire. So let's just blast you. Warriors, can we shield bash the big monster? It's actually a 28% chance of uh of stunning it. It's not the worst. Okay, it resisted it. No surprises. Down you go. Sunder javelin throws. Can we reach anything with the javelins? Yes, we can. Nice. Let's get it. Uh, so if your hero, if your main hero dies, it goes to your um, it goes to your what's it called? To your crypt and crypt. Or, no, it goes to the void. 
It goes to the void and it auto resurrects after a couple turns. If your secondary heroes dies, they go to your crypt. And if you have the correct buildings, you can resurrect them, um, which is how that works. So, okay, the Slanesh monster is going down. I'm actually really curious what kind of a beast I'm going to get from this potentially. If you get the Slanesh monster, I'm going to be so salty. <laughs> You're going to just <laughs> just be so bummed. Uh, I really want to figure out how to get that it's, thing. And yeah, I'm pretty sure every unit is recruitable somehow. I think so too. Okay, so... Oh, it's trying to Lord Snipe me, dude! It's been watching Total War videos. It's learned. Okay. This is where Sertha needs to just go in for the killing blow here. So let's drop a... A, a fat boulder on this thing's head. And do we have any heals for our character? We do not. So we're just going to start shooting it. We can get the fish to go in. Just like a Norskin monkey to start throwing a rock. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's happening. Yeah, that's right. That's very, it's very fitting, isn't it? All right, bring the beast down. Uh -huh. Bring it down. I feel like Sirthak needs to get the killing blow. The, the chieftain deserves the. Oh, he's stunned. Okay, never mind. He can. Somebody else can get it. The hunter of beasts. Yeah, the hunter of beasts is unfortunately not going to be hunting here. Um, we can chank that thing down. Uh -huh. All right, we could do a fiery thing. Um, come on, come on, finish it. Oh, it's dead. That's that's pretty money. All right, what else do we got? Warrior time. Okay, so we can just go auto combat now. It's just that I one think, thing. But that looks like the coolest tier five unit in the game. The storm. Have you seen the fire giants? Like the huge giants? Oh, they're no, so, not yet. They're pretty rad. All right, the keeper of secrets has fallen. I lost a warrior. It's all good. Oh, fire immunity ring. <laughs> Dude, oh, the Frost Great Axe. Oh, that's so cool. Look nice. At, so that's the kind of gear you want to see. The fire. So my character can become immune to fire. Um, the unit I got was only a tier two, so it wasn't like that good. But um, it's still cool enough to throw into the old army for sure. Oh, all right then. All right, Sertha. What does that auto resolve look like? This is just going to be an auto, don't worry. Um, yeah, we definitely want to. Auto combat that. Come on. There we go. So because of our um, hunting trait, we get like a lot of goodies for, for that fight we just had. All right, so that'll be the beginning of our next army, that character. Um, Sirthak definitely has got some experience. So we got the repeater bolt throwers now. Oh, another tome, hell yeah. Mark of Misfortune, Curse of Misfortune. Yeah, this is just awesome. Tomb of the Glades. Let's like explore. You, you still have a little bit of time on your turn, right? Hmm. The Cruel Weaponry is kind of like, the, I, I really like the idea of that tech, but I found it to be pretty weak. Revelry is quite nice. Um, Blood Fury weapons, the Skjald. But I think we'll go with Tomb of Mayhem. Get like a little demons in our army and stuff. Gremlins? Yeah, dude. Let's get the Gremlins of Doom. The ins the insanity buff is quite good. Yeah. Screw it. Let's go let's give it a try. Let the misfortune flow. Be the fault that seeps into the mind. Okay, curse of misfortune. Gremlin. Mark of misfortune helps our range units only. Makes base. No, it's it's all units, it looks like. Skirmisher, okay, it is just ranged, but that's going to be our Houndmasters and stuff. It's not bad, actually. We have a lot of Houndmasters. All right. Head back. Let's head back. Come on, fish man. Wow, that fish has got some wheels, dude. Look at that thing. Ruler has leveled up. So Sirtha Ek is, is getting some good experience. He's getting pretty sauced. Restores a nice heal. Martial expertise is 10 more. Fighting melee attacks, and this is melee and ranged. So they stack, primal mark, obsidian weaponry. He already has a bleed, so it's a little bit redundant. It's a little bit redundant. So great axe. Could be his great frost axe. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that. That's sweet. That is really cool. Firing immunity, I think, will probably be pretty good. Just in case, you never know. Surth is ready to party. We'll get another hero soon too for our third force. 
I'm saving up to recruit my first, well, first hero. Your, uh, your, your second one? Or your first, second, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't consider the Lord a hero. I yeah, he's, the he's, he's the mighty ruler. All right, so Wayfinder Enchantment, we'll just buff those. I think we're okay. Capital City, we can speed some things along. Let's respond to the heroes, see what we got. Beast Trainer, Chaos Adept, I do like that. Because that'll speed along our tech tree pretty pretty decisively. So let's get her. And we also have some gear that we can give her. Awesome. Okay, so she can become the governor of Night Fort. Okay. Outstanding. So that's going to give us Chaos Affinity. She can be the Lord of Machines. <laughs> the fish who's got some wheels is a great sentence. Yeah, it's certainly a strange descriptor. Um... I want to do the Decaying Spire, guys. I think I might make an attempt on it soon. Probably have to drop the warriors out of the army. Get some of these, like, Chungus Golems in. Okay, we've more, more or less subjugated the north. We got the Great Wharf coming in. Um, Conduit belongs to us. Got a hell of a lot of mana, too. Probably should be maybe summoning something. Get the Gremlin summons with one of our next uh, techs. I can't make it through the world building fast enough where the game just freezes and I can't explain why. That's really strange. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there would be more answers on like the forums and things like that. Um, yeah, but heroes, you get back through your crypts and all that. Yeah, so we have, you see, we have these cat people chilling in the crypt as well that we've uh, we've won battles against. Let's do some itemizing here. We can give you the dwarven hammer. Oh, that's a cool hammer. Might as well do that. Give some resistances. And cool. So she's going to be leading um, the fish army. Release the fish. Yeah, Alex, it's a, it's a really fun game, dude. I'm, I'm having a, a really good time with it. Let's see, the warriors versus the golems. Warriors versus the golems. And I think our Underdark City is still functioning, more or less. Yeah, it's got a golem mine coming in. And uh, you just keep exploring, pass turn. Are you, uh, what are you up to, man? You got some cool fights on the horizon down there, or what? Maybe I'm chasing the Shining Court. Uh, nope. I'm gonna make peace with her. <laughs> you've got, you've gone, yeah, she's annoying, right? It's like playing whack-a-mole down there. Well, yeah, if I go down and it's probably, well, I'll have to think about it. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. Because she's fortified down there with three armies. <laughs> In a siege right outside the entrance. Yeah, sounds about right. So it's probably better to just ignore that. I'll get the restore on her. It's always nice to have a heal on those mage characters. My computer's pretty old though, too. It's like it's like seven years old. It, it runs the game okay. Like I don't have too many issues with it. The decaying spire, man. That triple that triple is uh, pretty nasty. Yeah, the, the faction trait for getting double um, rewards from like infestations and wonder sites is really good. It's it's really strong. Oh, she can actually move over here. So we can just do this and have the armies gather a little bit faster. War Golem. I don't know if I could take that, man. We'll see how high we can get our army strength to be and then maybe we'll, we'll go for it. Like we, we would remove these two tier one units which, yeah, they're strong, but they're not going to be as strong as, like, a war golem or something. I haven't had any game crashes, strangely enough. And my computer is a potato, guys. It's 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 old. It is the old ways. Okay, so barbarian tech. Yeah, we just got to save up some Imperium now. Raising cities and drafts. This is wouldn't be a bad one to just instant recruit a bunch of stuff. A um, couple golems out. Turns until available, yeah. Might be able to get that next turn. Right of the Chosen Warriors. Try and get a Bone Dragon. Um, at our draft, so we have the Corrupted Souls. You can see these Tier 3 fighting characters. They're pretty rad. Um, 90 HP, Hopelessness, so they lower morale. They have Pass Through and they have Shadow, so they hmm, are weak to spirit. Okay, let's get you in there. You in there. We got the big, big Papa Golems coming out. Um, anything else we want to clear out here? Not really. Oh, it looks like there is something down here, so we can 
dispatch this army to go hunt that down. Sirtha might try this. Yeah, he might might give it a good old college try. I think the two Houndmasters, and we replace these with Golems, and I think we have a decent fighting chance. And if we lose it, it's just one hero that we lose, right? So, All right, so how long would it take to hurry you along? Hmm, be kind of a tricksy one. How much is that? How come we can't do that? Turns until... Oh, we don't have enough Chaos Affinity yet for that. Okay. For Chaos Magic. Yeah, Chaos is, chaos is magic for sure. Okay, so they're all cruising. The city is slowly expanding with the Great Wharf. We'll have a bathhouse here to help with the city's leadership in just a moment. Yeah, we're going to give it a try. I'm only going to send one hero in because if I do lose it, I don't want to lose my really cool hero. Granted, I could resurrect it, but it's a lot of drama, so I'm just like, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll pass on that. Corrupted Souls, Tier 3. Probably not a terrible idea to grab some of those. These guys are great, though, man. They are just uh, super tanky. And, uh, yeah, they have, what, 3 and 6 on their defensive stats, whereas these guys are... He's got 7 defense, actually. What does the Golem have? He's got 7 and 2. So, honestly, yeah, the Golem is... I guess it's the fact that those things are, like, champions. Uh, three defense for, against non-flanking attacks. Okay, Siege Breaker is immune to status effects and immune to morale. I feel like the champions aren't bad. Yeah, we'll replace them with the golems, though. See what that looks like. Hmm, I f still need to figure out how to get a good economy going. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, at the end of the stream, if there's any questions, you know, we can we can also just go through and jam. Yeah, the Golem will probably be better against the Undead, although my Tier 1 units do do 20% more damage from Sirtha Ak. Yeah, let's see. Can we see how much damage this guy does? And what does he eventually scale into? Yeah. Artisanal enchantments will give them crit chance. They're very tanky, so it'll be good for buying time for my archers and stuff, whereas the warriors will fold a little bit faster. And they'll fold a little bit quicker. Okay, we could summon some spirits, but I don't think we're going to bother with that. Did you were you able to make peace with your uh, your friend down there? Yeah, she's gonna stay in my basement, I guess. I she's don't know. <laughs> she's gonna pop out when you're when you're battling me and just backstab you. Oh god, yeah, probably. Although she's she's borderline like conflict with me. Um, could trade. There's a whole trading system in this game. I'm just like not. I'm always playing barbarian, so game if it's like yeah the ai spams a ton of cities it's super annoying like having to play whack-a-mole with them is just like the trolliest thing ever well i have her capital so if she ever dies she's <laughs> just out yeah if you get her she's got two bases in the underground i have a scout down there well then that's where she'll stay <laughs> yeah i think there's only one exit well, which one is it um no there's two as there's well there's two underground passages near me but the one right next to my capital drops down uh next right like they built the city right next to the uh entrance that's pretty funny like you do i just passed around by the way all done here we'll see what you got going on huh probably do some hurried recruitment here do i take the second hero in there she's pretty damn strong i i don't think seduce will work on the undead though is the thing that should go through. Oh, it didn't because we, we were at the turn pass. I was wondering why that didn't save. Okay. Let's go down here and do the restore. Yeah, that would give us some good utility in this fight. Um, hmm. We got the two hounds. We got her. There's for sure going to be a bone dragon in here. Tier 5. It has the poison breath. Ugh, that's nasty. Yeah, it's like a big cone hex. Sir Thak also leveled up, so I almost forgot to level him up. Let me know when you're done, brother, and I'll uh, I'll pass turn. I'm just messing around yeah, with I'm a couple things. Okay, you're done. Cool. So let's go ahead and get um, sprint for him. Is pretty nice. Granted, he already has a teleport, so I don't think we care too much about that. So let's just get the um, fighting too. Make him hit a little bit harder and pass turn. Yeah, we could trade some items. I mean, yeah, you, you can do that. That's something I never do. So thank you for the reminder. You can like trade with AI and try and try and see what they got. Um, so they, they don't really have anything that good. Yeah, the murdering is okay. But that AI is certainly not, not gearing out. 
Okay, so you have a spot here. Let's get you in that army. So we're at 873 strength. Um, this Lord is going to go down and she's going to go handle some business. I'm going to do that. We can go ahead and hurry recruitment here on you. Have you go down there. And then we'll do it next turn, guys. There's going to be a big, big fight next turn. Okay, so merchant skill. I'm also going to be moving on uh, Wonder. Yeah? Well, like at least one that I can reach. There aren't many near me, but I do have a Pilgrim's Pass. So we'll be able to see it. That'll be fun. Okay, I'm hyped for that, man. Okay, unit enchantment, mark of misfortune. We'll make all our Houndmasters pretty good. We probably want to recruit some Houndmasters, too, to replace those um, those haggard like arrow units we have. All right, so next turn, man, it's on. I think, do we need this one anymore? We don't need the draft anymore. We pretty much got what we want. Yeah, the Chosen Destroyer, I don't have that trade unlocked yet. You have to play a lot. So I, I know the Spiffing Brit did a video on that, I think. So he probably played a lot more than I did to unlock that, or I don't know if you had someone do it for him or something. But yeah, it's uh, you got to get some serious reps in there for that. Okay, so 932. Oh, this could be bad, man. This could be all bad news bears. So we will get rid of this unit and replace it with uh, Houndmasters. I think we can actually cancel that and get more Houndmasters. All right, my battle is low risk, but... It's up to you. If you want to auto it, you can, but you can fight it. I'm going to auto it to see what it is, like yeah. what happens. If uh, something dies, we'll play it. Which wonder is it? Is it the Father Oak? Pilgrim's Pass. Oh, Pilgrim's Pass. That one's not too bad. I think it's like the Zealot one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm good with this. You're happy with it? Sounds good. Okay, so we got a safe battle here for this character. So let's go ahead and do this. Auto combat. If we lose anything, as long as it's not one of our good units, it's not a huge deal. Okay. Give us the money. Nice. Come down here. Release the hounds. Oh boy, Hadris, this is going to be something. At least I got my Mark of Misfortune thing, so that will enchant all of our range units. So that basically gives your range units a, a range debuff, which is pretty good. All right, guys. It is time. Let's go lose our entire army in the, the dreaded decaying spire. <laughs> oh God, it's going to be so bad, bro. We're gonna have a have a rough time here for sure. Oh, the decaying spire! Look at it; it's so decaying and evil. All right. So we're only down by like two hundred now. So if we use this, uh, and this displaced reality is active, and enter the battle with decaying spire guardians, so enemies. Okay, but if we use that, we lose mana, and it delayed. The displaced reality. Okay, so delays the thing that helps them, I guess. Okay, it's another keeper of secrets, but oh my god, they have magic banes. Oh dear god. So these guys are they they make it so you cannot cast magic in battle. They're brutal. Um, that's not as big of an issue for you, but if you were uh, if I brought my other character, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, let's go die. Gotta gotta have some fun, right? Yeah, my level five ability on the sorcerer, yes. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, this this map is so cool. You see that? I still love that model. Yeah. Great. The Keeper of Secrets is here. It's, it's, it's out for blood. Man, I feel like this is gonna go so bad. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it went well last time. Although that was, you had a full army for that. Didn't well, you? yeah, but the Keeper, this time it has two tier four units with it. The Magic Banes, they're like, they're super jacked also. But I have my my hounds. Nobody expects them, so. The hounds have been killing it. They've been pretty this, good. Uh, game. Yeah, they're they're little troll units. They definitely uh they definitely pack a punch. You believe? I don't know if I do, but I'm glad you do. Yes, move closer. Called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. I could I could totally get in there with Sertha. Oh, dude, look at the big Slanesh monster just up on the high ground. Like, <laughs> Okay, one of my hounds can actually reach it right now, which is cool. 
Um, and it looks like there's no retaliation since it's a caster, so... Hell yeah, I'll take that. Dude, look at that. That dog just getting in there. Free real estate. It is. Oh, man, we can only fit, like, the choke point here is totally screwing with me. Okay, so he's there. Let's go ahead and get the Houndmaster up here. He can go ahead and apply Misfortune 3 as a debuff, which is pretty good. This Golem... Well, they are melee units too, but they can, like, teleport and stuff. Which is the scary part. Um, Sertha could go and do some big ambush of sorts. Ooh, this is going to make me so vulnerable to AoE. Okay, let's, like, park you back for the heals. These hounds can keep flanking about. You want to stay together for moral support. Yeah, I don't have any. I have a little bit of healing. Like, part of me wants to just send Sertha in, but those siphoners are melee units. They actually hit quite hard. So, we're just going to be, like, careful here until we can see where everything kind of commits. Okay. 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 Could be worse. Okay. He's focusing the dog. No, he didn't. Okay. He, he went ah. after my archers, which is smart. Okay. God, these units are so annoying. The, the ones that phase out of existence, it's just the worst. Okay, one unit of doggos is down. Can Sertha get the kill? No, see, this guy's phased out of existence, which is so annoying. Do they all have that trait, or is it just the fish? I don't know. I hope I, it's just the fish. I think it's just the fish. Okay, let's just try and get the maximum number of shots we can get here. Um, yep, try and polish this guy off. We have heals. Um, let's get Sertha to use his phase to get behind this thing so we get the flanking bonus and then he can use the enrage. Oh yeah, it's clobbering time. Let's go. Yeah, that's a tier four monster. So those things are pretty jacked. Um, let's use the dogs to eat the retaliation. And now we just beat them down with the big golem here. And apply heal. Man, where do we want to heal? Probably closer to here. There we go, okay. Oh boy, that Slanesh Demon on the high ground is going to be a nightmare. Oh god, I'm losing things. Oh, Sertha, don't lose half your health in one fight. Oh, golems hold! Okay, Sertha should be able to finish this thing here, and if he kills it, he's going to start healing. Okay, so now he's got regeneration coming. Um, we can almost kill this guy. The problem is that'll expose my, my flank there. So let's see if these two archer units can get the finish on this guy. Okay. Oh, things are going okay. It's going to phase the fish out. Um, Iron Golem could just go defensive stance. It's probably honestly a better idea than eating a retaliation. Oh my god, you see that heal that thing just dropped? Oh. Yeah, that was pretty big. That was like full health on that really annoying unit. Oh my god, and Sertha can't even get anywhere. He's just like standing there like, well, I guess I'm just stuck. Oh, that damn fish thing, dude. So I can use the blink soon. The golem is, is in bad, bad shape. We should probably pull it back. You can club here, but the retaliation's brutal. So I think them just tanking perpetually. I think we're going to lose it, but the thing is it keeps the damage you did. So if I come back with Sertha in a couple turns, I should be able to finish it. That heal that he got, it was pretty nasty. Um, okay, so let's see. We got the tier 3 units. We killed the two tier 4 units. This thing being full health really sucks. So let's get you back here. So Sertha can move into this thing's hitbox, and we can move here. And next turn, we should be able to drop a heal. Um, let's have it face the right direction so it doesn't get flanked. There we go. Archers pull back, I think. We could go... Yeah, do we go over here? This thing's going to be able to chase us wherever it wants to. Would like to keep this Houndmaster alive. Ouch. Man, if they add chariots to this game, you're going to have to play Sertha again. 
Oh man, yeah, of course. Uh, the uh, planet fall had a lot of interesting vehicle mounts. He resisted my taunt curses. Okay. Oh, it says I wait. It says I can. Oh, I killed all the the caster things. Oh, I can cast spells now. Okay. So now I can start bonking things on the head, including this Slanesh guy. Um, fortunately, I don't have any heals or anything. The Berserk trade is cool. Stone skin gives us melee tankiness, which could be kind of a cool idea to use on that guy. Sertha could use it, but I don't think he's going to get hit this turn. Um, I think just rock blasting, like perpetually rock blasting these big guys down is going to be smart. All right. has too much health. Oh, God! Oh, the AoE it just did. Do you see that? Yeah, that was a big... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, am I going to be able to kill this guy here? I hope so. All right. Uh, you're going to have to deal some damage and come back, yeah. But losing the golems, those are expensive. Yeah, they're easy to make. They cost like 100 gold. I have a pretty good economy, thankfully. Um, it's rock blasting... That The problem is this like snake thing will just go into its refuge state. Which means, yeah. Can I if I? Oh man, players can recruit those. If I'm able to kill it, let's have you go tank mode again. Thing is, do I just like charge this guy over here and try and bonk that guy in the head? How much toy can I get caster, him for? Over the caster demon, just on the high ground, new <laughs> dropping spells. He's just like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Oh my god, that fish thing! Look at it. I'm trying to get the kill on this guy. Oh, it's not quite enough. Damn. Okay. Damn, damn, damn. Well, that worked, I guess. Oh my god, Golem. Hold! Can Sirtha turn this into a 1v1 scenario? <laughs> Duel with the greater demon of Slanesh, like her. Sirtha Ek. Oh, the first strike! My morale is low? Come on, Sertha. Like some barbarian warlord, bro. Yeah, you got this. Wait, did he just summon another astral? Did he just summon another one? <laughs> I, I think he did. Wait, that's cheating. Oh my god. Stone skin. Oh, okay, we gotta we gotta reload. I'm out of yeah, I'll reload. Yeah, it's fine. It'll just bring us back there. I don't know if Sertha is going to be able to handle it, because there's still two more of those things. Granted, I do have some healing with the Shaman that's still he there. keeps summoning more of those on, like, a timer. That's uh, <laughs> that's a big problem. Okay. It'll fast forward to back where we were when there's the desync. The robots were good, though. They, they Look at them spinning, dude. you see that? Yeah, I see it. It's just trying to catch up. Mm -hmm. This is a really fun encounter, though. Definitely my army wasn't quite ready to fight, take this, but... I think if I brought my second hero, I could have maybe taken it. Granted, there was no magic allowed, so I don't know how good that would have been. Uh, the mind control, I think, is... Is the mind control counting as a spell, or is it I like think an it, ability? Yeah. Because I think you could do that. If I brought her, but I was worried about her dying, so I was like, I didn't want to deal with that. Okay. Yeah, it does mean it'll kill them, yes. But sometimes there's effects that prevent it. It's weird. Okay. I'm pretty sure he summoned one of those astral things with his, like, forbidden magic. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, my. That was brutal. That AoE that, like, killed two of my units there. Because I was about yeah, to heal them all. <laughs> you spin me right around. Yeah. I'm good, darling. Thank you. Yeah, he did definitely did summon another one. All right, so we have the phasing cloak. Um, we have the heals. So let's do the heals like so. That's going to get Sertha nice and topped off. Berserk is a cool one, but I lose control of him. Um, Song of the Reckless, it makes him like jacked, but it, it unfortunately will um, make me lose control. So I think just honestly stone skin or the bombardment is the way. Man, oh man. I think this is... rock is your friend. Yeah, the rock. the rock, can you smell what it's cooking? Yeah. That's pretty nice. I'm, I'm going to be getting flanked here pretty hard. All right, let's boulder this guy in the head. Dude, Sertha might carry this, dude. I don't know if he can 1v1 the greater demon. Dude, but... you you, uh, you underestimate him. Yeah, I underestimate his power. 
Oh god, oh, my sorcerer over here needs some milk. The morale could be an issue too. Yeah, I have a slight fumble. I have a 20% fumble chance at the moment. Oh, and I just got stunned. That's really not good. All right, so we need to rock blast this thing to get some morale. Can the shaman do anything? You can just go into warning mode. Okay. That will help my morale out. That's going to bring me back to a 10% fumble chance, I think. Okay, regeneration. Nice. Oh, God. Disease. You know what? Sertha might be able to carry this, bro. Because he's going to heal when he kills this thing. Oh, he could taunt it, too. Grants a 90%. Yeah, but if I taunt it, I don't get to hit it. Shaman actually has a heal right now, also. Hmm. So I could, I could go in, taunt it, but then if I fail it, then I'm just, like, losing out hard. All right. Oh, that was a play right there. So if I try and run, the attack of opportunity will probably kill me. We're going to go warding and just try and survive it. Oh, the regen. Oh, he's living. He summoned more. Oh, he's summoning more. He's cheating. He's <laughs> no, and my characters are retreating. No. Well, it's better than dying, I guess. You know what? I think Sertha could have maybe maybe taken that. He's pretty jacked. I If he could heal faster than he was summoning. But look at that. Look at that guy. Oh, man. The fact that he's running is such a bummer. Yeah, that's right. Please. Oh, I'll be back for you. Okay. He's, he's, Sertha is just getting shanked in the back now. Did he just go berserk? He did just go berserk. Oh, he's, he's going to fight. He's back, baby. <laughs> yeah, they triggered his berserk. That's probably annoying because he'll... But if he dies, he's back in a turn anyway, so... Oh, no. Oh, no. It was a good fight. Now, if I come back, though, I'm pretty sure I only have to fight this Slanesh Demon, so... He'll be back in a couple turns. Um, so let me cancel this, and... We can go ahead and get the Wizard's Crypt. Which is, lets me... Uh, one of them reduces the resurrect time, I think. I can't remember which one it is. Actually, I think I need the Wizard's Tower for that. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just recruit a good army in the meantime. Um, the Houndmasters were pretty good. War Golems were awesome also. Let's do that. Hurry recruitment. Excellent. And Sertha will have an army worthy of Mordor soon. Yes, darling, I need you to come carry me. Sertha's in the void now. No, not the void. All right, so let's go ahead and just take the quarry here. Nice. Sertha going hello darkness, my old friend. He'll be back, dude. Everyone laughed at him, but you know, he's 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 going to he's going to return. Do you have any good he's units? Wheels. I know. Let me know when you're done with your turn and I'll pass by the way. I'm almost there. Uh yeah, I'm done. He's coming back. No more chariot blobs. Well, that's until next turn, yes. So Sertha will be back in a couple turns. Oh, somebody wanted something. He should try riding the iron golems, like two of them. That would be make, cool. <laughs> make them chariots. So this is a chaos event. Um I got it. If I don't do it, I get a chaos crisis, which is like a big debuff on all my cities. So it's basically a sixty percent. Oh, this is a hundred percent chance of success, but I lose money. The lair of Sertha, chaos boon. All right, let's just take the hundred percent, so I don't risk like having a leadership crisis because it affects your cities, provinces, and a couple different things like that. The fish is good. I don't know if it's as good as like the war golem though. The war golems are pretty jacked. Mm hmm. She's going to join the quest this time. Sertha's bringing backup. And uh, our hero can... Can we take this army? Okay, looks good. We have our haggard marauder hordes. We're actually very rich right now in terms of our, our income and whatnot. This unit's actually trapped. Um, I'm just going to disband it and avoid paying the upkeep on it. Don't really need it there. And this character can come and join this force, which will be our uh, third hero soon. I was insulted. Who dare insult me, dude? Was it you, Hadris? No, it was probably the paladin. She's, <laughs> she's hiding underground, slinging insults. Oh my god, what a troll. I love it. I'm excited to go back to the Decaying Spire, though, guys. It's going to be fun. 
probably have you hang here. Make sure no funny business happens. There you go. Sertha will be back. He'll be back. Don't you don't you worry. We also have this um, draft ability, which is really nice. It lets us speed recruit an army um, with the rights of the chosen warriors. So um, when the time is right, we'll just pump out a good quality army. All right, done with my turn, brother. No rush. How's everything looking in the Dominions? Yes, the Grand Wharf is about to finish. This Undercity, um, yeah, it's going pretty good. Can't complain. It's kind of a weird spot for a city, but you know, it's kind of cool. This Paladin's been talking smack to both Hadries and I the entire game. I took her capital, and I don't know. That's all. I sent her underground to live there. You sent her back to the shadows from when she came. It's her home now. This is our home. War Shamans are pretty good. I think we definitely want one just for the healing. And then a Golem, and that should be enough. And uh, yes, now we can build something in the main city. So yeah, the Wizard's Tower... Gives you mana. That gives you more Imperium. This lets you recall your ruler to your main city, which is pretty nice, actually, for, like, deep conquest. Food production counts as a forester per adjacent forester. We don't really have any of those, I don't think. So is that even worth it? Don't think so. All right. So mana obelisk. No, nope, don't really need it. Let's get you. All right. My turns will be pretty quick here while I muster the, the hordes of hell. Could send her in. She's got a decent little army here. See her scout trundling on my border there, which is always funny. Um, we could attract the population. I think that's good. So now we grab this Rainbow Clover, so free cities will like us more. Not that there's any to really uh, consider here. I'd say the lines have been drawn. They yeah. have. The die is cast. Sertha, I wish he had a chariot. I mean, he could ride a wolf, but if you're using a big two-handed weapon, you can't use a, use a mount, so... You've been doing great with the big two-handed. Oh, it's really good. It's yeah. especially with him because you can't alpha strike Sertha. Like he always gets to fight back because of that invulnerable thing. So like, even if you like go all in, you kind of have to wear him down. Hell yeah. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the chaos trait of the chosen warriors, which gives us 500 draft, and it just instantly recruited everything we needed here. So. Sertha didn't hear no bell. <laughs> All right, he's he's there. Cool. So let's get you guys. And you can see how we can keep recruiting things. Yes, the hordes of hell are, are gathering. They grow in power. Okay, looking good. Any cast we want to do? I don't think so. All right, we are chilling, my friends. We are chilling. The Chariot Master. Yes, that is him. Our warriors, of course, not terrible. All right, Hadrius, you ready for round two at the Decaying Spire? I wonder if it, it keeps my progress. I genuinely do. I think it does, but... It should, but I actually think after a certain number of turns, it uh, resets, but... <laughs> if it's... I'm just going to die there again, like, oh. <laughs> hey, you know, everybody loves a rerun, right? Yeah, it's 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 good. It'll be fine. It'll work out great, everyone. More management to do. You got a little management? Sure, no problem. I will do some things also. So we got the three. Yeah, we have the hero cap. Is there any cities that are unhappy at this point? No, everyone's pretty jovial. You've gotten your Slanesh Tome, I would imagine, by now, yeah? Yeah, I've gotten Revelry. Sweet. The Skelds are, I think, my favorite thing in that book. The, the AoE. Yeah. yeah, they're so nice. They've got the great AoEs. And I've got a pretty nice force. Good, man. Good. Glad to hear it. Oh, this character is so cool. Yeah, she's rad. 100 HP. She's got healing. She's got seduction. Lots of, uh, lots of strong traits. Wizard's Crypt. All right. Man, I'm now I'm ready. Right on, dude. All right, Hadris. It's time. You ready for the Sertha? The Sertha, Sertha the party? Trees. <laughs> he was pretty good in that fight, to be fair. He he definitely took I some... I love how yeah. the, the Greater Demon was just summoning more things and just cheating and cackling. All right. Do we fight the Greater Demon? I have an easy auto on it. 
I think we need like the ceremonial beatdown, right? The satisfaction. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I demand. Oh, the mage five ability. I forgot it. Damn. 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 It's okay. We're not gonna need it. I don't think. I'm coming for you. The problem is it's gonna start summoning stuff now, and I, I could actually like have a hard fight on my hands. You know. Okay. Let's get you down here. Um. Ah, I keep forgetting the mage five, the mage ability. That really frustrates. Frust frustrating. There's gonna be some like AOE shit going down too. Like you don't want to blob too much, but I definitely want to keep my units like kind of close together. Okay, the Slanesh demon has moved into range. Sirtha is gonna take the ceremonial opening on it. Oh yeah, dude. Let the let the rage flow. So I could give it Infectious Insanity, which has a makes it attack a nearby ally. Kind of interesting. Although, since it's just kind of a crappy thing, I think I'm just going to bonk it on the head with the boulder. Let's go. Sirtha seeks vengeance. Surround it. <laughs> Surround the beast. You need to get in position for some good shots. is actually really nice for it. I know. It's got like all the choke points and it's just like... <laughs> Okay, you wanted to know the chances of seducing this creature. So, it's a 19% chance. That's actually not the worst odds. Yeah. Like, that's pretty respectable. All right. <laughs> and it says one like is one chariot. <laughs> yes, if you drop the stream, they'll, the developers will add a chariot for you at some point. Come on, Sertha. Oh, no. We had the desync. All right, reloading. Reloading. It just it just started to karate chop my whole army. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. Somehow Sirtha has returned, says the Shattered Spire Demon. <laughs> Sirtha is the Palpatine of this game. Okay, here we go. Spin to win mechanics. It's just like the, the Sky Lanterns in Total War. Yep. Okay. Okay, it did a little lightning attack on me there, and I think it's gonna pay the iron price here. So let's just boulder bonk this thing on the head. Oh, it's gonna be some sweet vengeance here, dude. Ah! All right, let's drop some shots. Uh, we can go ahead and do a heal here to make sure I don't lose it. Honestly, though, we might be able to just kill it. Yeah, the character's odds here are pretty good. Down you go, beast. This is a Norskin great hunt. Yeah, it quite literally is. What gear do I get? Do I get any good gear? Okay, wait, there's another free city somewhere? Mm, I haven't seen it. Is uh, maybe underground? Ooh, I got, a, I got another immunity ring, dude. <laughs> Which kind? I'm not, I, I, I don't know, I don't want you to know. <laughs> I hope it's not ice. It's not ice. I will give you that much. It is not ice. Okay, withdraw the Whispering Stone, and we can go to the underground. Just a wild free city that's still undiscovered in the in the deeps, man. Somewhere. Oh, which one is better here? I don't know. I feel like that could probably be a little bit more common. Yeah, it should have been a chariot for Sirtha. That would have been the true gift of the gods. Okay. Let's uh let's see what we can get here, guys. So the rally of lieges is how many turns? Muster. Okay, so that like makes it faster. Sirtha Ek is chilling out. Hmm. How are we doing on income? Pretty good still. Get a couple of you guys. New Empire development skills, nothing that we want to get. All right, so Primal Mark, not that useful for us. Let's shuffle that. Summon Gremlin. Yeah, the Gremlin summons are okay, I guess. Let's kind of keep shuffling and see what we can get. Yeah, so Confusion and Gain Misfortune. Seems a little bit better. All right, outstanding. Did that just, oh, I just got a bunch of knowledge. Okay, so that's why it's letting me just power through these. 
Mm, Siege magic. Yeah, 10%, but it's, again, not that useful, so we'll keep looking and just take the gremlin, I guess. All right, the gremlin's going to be here in a couple turns. And uh, we can give our other character the um, ring of resistance. Can Sertha wear both rings? All right, we need to do your level 5 ability, too. I've been foregoing that. Hmm, yep. Definitely going to be a good one. Okay, so we can annex province. It's a free city down there, huh? Oh, it's one of your free cities. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just kind of cruise. So the Haggard Warriors will uh, prepare. So what do we got there? That looks like it's uh, it's your yield vassal city. I'm sure it's going to want some mortal combat. Oh, just gather up the stacks of haggardness. All right, uh, I think I'm good. I think yeah, I'm... me too. So what does this give them? Mana Imperium. It gives me knowledge per turn. It's pretty good. Can I speed this along anyhow? Okay, two turns until that. Let's uh, go ahead and recruit that. It's going to be awesome. Capped out, capped out. And you are not quite. Have you... Uh, <laughs> I dressed my opponent as Asinine Mortals? Not quite. We definitely need to get more into the Surthak role-playing, I feel. Um, so that's per adjacent quarry, which we actually don't really even have too many quarries in this region. We have something we could place this farm. All right, and then uh, we could do the Force of Stakes, which gives us Draft, Mob Camp, Central Quarry, Mint Monolith. And just kind of prepare these spells. All right. So that's almost there. We can cancel this one because it's a ways off, so we want to keep that money in reserve. And then, let's see here. Hmm. All right. I'm down to do it. A little bit of that. And, uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll happily take that. I wonder how it, like, chooses which armies it's going to take in battle and stuff. I've always wondered how that works. I think it probably just takes the highest, like, strength value of the armies that you have. That would be my guess. You took the Tome of Mayhem, right? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's got some decent buffs. It just has, like, stacking debuffs. Um, I don't know if I'm, like, it's my favorite, but... Yeah, Shrine of the Shrine of the Blood God. Corn demands it, yes. Um, cannot already boost it. You gain boost when the next rally starts. Okay, yeah. So next rally will be here in a couple turns, which will be very fun. And we see all the cities across the realm. A piece has fallen over. What's the paladin lady up to? Stewing in the basement. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. She's she's got quite a uh, quite an undercity. At least it'd be easier to root her out, right? Because you could just move down there and yeah, we do need Italian Spartacus to have the true Surthak experience. That was probably my one of my favorite moments, like in all of Total War that I've ever had. Did you see that one, Hadris? Was that an ever chosen? No, it was um, it was a head to head campaign where he played he played as uh, oh yeah, he played as Throg, and I got to control Surthak like twenty stack of Marauder horsemen and uh, and chariots against him and with the AI, and it was just like the most. It ended up killing him actually, but it was it was hilarious. Yeah, those are some wild times. Do we have enough in these stacks here? Yeah, we got one more there. Okay. Hadri's scheming in the shadows, I'm sure. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We've got the fish man here. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, where is Doug? Uh -huh. There's it, it gets a it gets a little bit more there's more going on as you as you progress, that's for sure. Okay, so this guy can go over here and just Kind of defend the realm. Okay, turn is passed. We have you. Make a toast and sip. Oh my god, no, I'm I'm good. That that one injures your hero like super badly. It's pretty troll. 
All right, so the next rally will be armies are being recruited one. Okay, so that'll be next turn. And we just come and chill out in this direction, I think. Save up some Imperium so we can actually do something. Paladin Lady lives in the salt deposit. She is. She's pretty salty. She's very salty for sure. Okay. Don't know how long that's going to take, but all good. Oh, we get a new tome. It's your three tome. Okay. The Pandemonium one's really cool. Um, it gives you, like, it makes all your units, like, just debuff. But this is, the, in my opinion, the coolest one. It's the Tomb of Devastation. Oh, it's so good. So you get um, special weapon upgrade. You get a war breed, which is like basically just like a hulking brute monster thing. You get a cool siege ability where like you get attack hounds when you siege somebody's city. It's this is like this is like hands down one of the best. Yeah, we get that upgrade. So do you think we're ready to gather for a confrontation? Yeah, we can if you want. Yeah. So do you want to you want to play it like the honorable way, mm, where we just gather sure. armies I'm and fight? Yeah. Well, I'm down for that. Is, I could go on a hunt myself, but if you have nothing else to do, besides no, attack my vassals. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely. I'm waiting for one thing, like one fun thing to finish, um, which will be coming soon. But yeah, I'm. I'm kind of to the point where I would be attacking you in the next like five turns, like just coming at you at your cities. Yeah. Okay. Then we can start gathering. Yeah. So we can do the honorable thing. Uh, but normally, what you would, like you could do if you were. You wanted to be really like cagey. Let's say you were doing like a super sweaty PvP, which we're not. We're just having fun here. Is um, you would like send raiders like all over the lands with the barbarians and just be like raiding all these provinces and stuff. It's like that's definitely the troll way of doing it. Um, ah, but that's so much to manage. It is trolling. It is. So yeah, I'll be ready in a couple turns. We could start gathering. I'll gather north of um, Relic, yeah, of your uh, of your city there. Yeah, sounds good, man. Awesome, awesome. It's going to be a couple turns. I'm just waiting for a few cool units to finish. And you can gather as well. I'm, I'm just bringing three armies, so. Let, let them feast. The work camp. I literally just closed my game for the first time since it came out. Dude, that's so relatable. Anna and I, the past couple days, have been like... Yeah, you just like where'd the time go? It's uh it's brutal. It's a brutal one for sure. Hey, do you know if weapon enchantments stack or do they, they stack? I'm pretty sure they time? stack, yeah. So if you like look at your um your magic, you can see active enchantments, I think. Active, yeah, and they do stack. Yeah. So you can get all the all the big scaries going. The barbarian hordes gather at your gates, my lord. My army quality isn't like amazing, I suppose. Yeah, I'm basically done. I'll just be like speed recruiting and just just doing our things. Since we're just having a gentleman's agreement to fight of sorts. Um, all right, so let's get you. I will send some haggard barbarian hordes to like go harass the AI though. <laughs> Because I have so I have so many units. That's kind of the thing. All right. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, dude. Yes. That's gonna be so fun. Oh man, Hadrius is gonna be quite a quite a, a fun duel here. You were. I was falsely denounced. Oh my god, this paladin lady wants to fight, dude. She's like, <laughs> she's coming at me. Okay, so the Norskin raiders will descend on the, the vassal there at some point. <laughs> oh, that's a really good item, this one. Oh man, that's really good. That's a really good one, but I think I'm, I'm going to save up for some more chaos stuff. You're in for a treat with some cool units, Adris, I gotta say. Nice. Hope you're excited. Hmm. So it begins. So much mana, too. I've been just sitting on mana like this entire game. Oh, same. 
Yeah, the barbarian spells are like decent, but it's not like, you know, it's not that insane. Yeah, I like them well enough. Yeah, they, they're fun. All right, I passed her. Uh huh. Okay, the rally's got the units coming. <laughs> Bold words for somebody who's in Chaos Chariot distance. Yeah. Hopefully he'll be in Chaos Chariot distance soon. That's the that's the game plan here. Honestly, this might just be the way to go at this point. With one of our other characters. She could probably use that. Sertha has to wear his cape to teleport around. It also gives magic resist to him, which is pretty useful. Okay, we see the AI moving about. Uh huh. So we're just gonna bring three armies each, yeah. Or yeah, I've got. Well, I'm. I've got more armies too. But so we could just keep. We could just keep armies. fighting. We could just keep fighting until all our units are gone. If you want to play it like that too, like to. If you want to go wider, we can. If we don't want to do the long siege, but yeah, three armies is the max that can participate in yeah. a big, big battle. Then the other armies will pile in afterwards and fight though. So it's like if there's a dread horde, you know. Um, okay, so you are about ready. Cool. So you guys next turn is going to be pretty fun. Uh -huh. All right. So you're in for a treat with one of my units. No, industry is really good. You just spam quarries early on and building stuff and you just like your cities just grow fat. It's, um, it's very strong. I think it's very strong. Do the boosted blacksmith here, boosted obelith, sure, why not? Oh man. It is time. <laughs> the beast comes for you, Adris. <laughs> the beast of burden. Okay. Dude, the Norskin hordes, man. No, uh, industry is really good. Honestly, the hardest one I've played with is dark. Like dark seems like it's the it's the it's the toughest. Yeah, yeah. You could totally do a Valhalla build, like a Thor build, like go like lightning barbarians. Yeah, totally. It's it it could work just fine because you have the lightning enchantments. So all your weapons would hit with lightning damage, and there would be uh there would be some cool synergies that you could uh, you could pull off there. Okay. Hmm. So we're about to have a big duel for all of you guys. Give the breastplate of the champion and give that to this character. I'm sure she would appreciate that. She's got Holy Retribution. That's an interesting trait for her. All right. Sertha will begin moving um, next. This is my last, like, I'm just going to grab the units that recruit next turn, and then I'm just going to move down. Oh, yeah. You guys see this? I've never been able to use such a unit. Oh, because he's got not enough space. Okay, so two. Yeah, he needs two spots. Okay, let's move you into this army. Oh, hell yeah, dude. So you want to meet at the north of uh, Relic, your city there? Yeah, we'll meet somewhere there. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, is there anything I want to do with that? Not really. Immediately summon a spirit wolf and guardian and resurgence of the city. You know, we've got some of the nature stuff going as well. Gain a plus one siege project. It begins the invasion of Sirtha Ek. Let's get the town boosted there. So this is the secret weapon right here, the secret sauce. Oh, that's so cool. That's so rad. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, and if you want to defend a siege, too, you totally, we can do it normal. Ooh, if, you if you got a bone dragon. I do. I got a bone daddy. Yeah, he's, he's pretty we'll excited. See. Might play it a little smart. Back yeah. off and see if my vassal wants to... Uh, but, yeah, whatever you feel like doing, man. Thank you. Whatever you feel like doing. The, the Wolfheart Vassal has uh, a small army over there of sorts, but it's something. It's certainly not insignificant. Let's get that going. So it's ready for the next couple turns. Yeah, we need to get this. 
There's one that for the rating. Yeah, where's that? That's uh, yeah, that one. That one makes like raiding more effective. It's really nice, and it heals your armies and like enemy provinces and stuff. All right. The Lair of Sirtha. The Bandit Army is okay. It's, it's the best thing that the Bandit Army does is it um, in like a defensive pinch, it it helps you out. So like, if if you know, like your city's undefended, you're just like bandits rise, defend your <laughs> defend your lord. All right. Oh, the mighty chieftain, dude. Look at how big and badass he is. Okay. Send the miners. Okay. And get a materium boon. Materium crisis. Okay, so I don't really mind that. That's fine. All right, so checking this out. I can declare justified war, Hadris. And we you have more vassal cities than me though. It is official. We are now at war. So it begins. It does. It begins the greatest battle of our time. Okay, so you got you got some provinces here and whatnot. Sirtha Ek will descend from the hills and uh start rampaging, hopefully. Okay. Let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, let's see how far does that extend there. Okay, that's pretty good. Yes. Uh -huh. Go forth, minions. Go! Prepare to fight. We'll see if Hadrius wants to pop out. Some of these to cast, Wayfinder enchantments, Earthkin, we've already done that, so it doesn't really matter too much. Cities, we can uh, we can start setting up. I don't know, man, the Seed of Chaos thing. What does that do? Chaos Affinity, required for a magic victory. I don't know if it's worth the resources at this point. Uh, yeah, we just kind of keep working on the old economy here. Uh, Ally Trek says, just played with your Avity, Smeagol, and Super Oxide. It was really fun. Yeah, oh my god, I can imagine four-player games being really fun. Like super wild. So Hadrius has got two bases plus vassals. Um, I can see more or less where his armies are lurking off the map. It's like a, yeah, you can see he's he's gathering here. <laughs> he's gathering to do battle with Sirtha's hordes. The mighty bone dragon of Norska. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's get you going down here. Shame it's not a frost worm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cool though. It still it still sends a message. All right, so those guys can maybe do a little something something here. Wonder if my vassal like I wonder if you can tell your vassals to help you. I don't think you can. I've looked for it, but I haven't seen or found it yet. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't think you can. The bandit army, yeah, the bandit army. It can if I need it, it'll pop out. That's kind of kind of the school of thought I have here. <laughs> I see all the exclamation points. I can like see you just out of my vision, but I can't see your army. I'm like, hmm. The exclamation points mean they're excited. Yeah, they're just they're just happy to be there. Yeah, that's great. All right, I'm ready. Sounds good, my friend. Are you ready for me to summon some gremlins on you, dude? Not gremlins. <laughs> You don't fear the gremlins, huh? I haven't seen them yet. They're okay. They 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 can like teleport and and do some other like trolley things. Yeah, they're they're fun units. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, I can see you have your. Oh, you're rocking berserkers. Yeah. See, you you might have just have better unit quality than me because I've been spamming tier one. Well, I don't have uh, bone dragons, but. I've got some stuff. Yeah, you got some goodies. You're certainly not hurting. Mm hmm. That is yeah. So berserkers are cool. They have the um, the I can't die ability, which is really useful. So we probably want to just chill for that. This is the underground passage that leads to the. Uh, Leads to the lady, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
Let's trade pawns. <laughs> well, those are oh, those are your oh, those are your hound masters too. That's cool. So you're rocking the old hound hounds as well. Oh, your pawns beat the hell out of my pawns. <laughs> they certainly gave him the business, my friend. Pawns go first. Okay. Do a little bit of this. And we can rekindle that spell, which is fine. And yeah, that could take a second. It could take a second. Better watch out, though. I could get another big bone giant. <laughs> it takes a while to recruit them, but they, they do come eventually. Mm. So we got the bone daddies. Okay, getting a little bit of damage there. I know the city. Do I have the siege tech? I think I do. Yeah, this would summon a resurgence. What is that? Oh, okay, that's cool. Your throne city is the capital, losing it. Okay, yeah. understood. Okay. Let's move over here. Uh -huh. How far can he reach? Go forth, my golems and creatures. Let's explore the rest of his realm. I wish I could have another hero, too. Sad times. All right, so Beacon of Valor. What is that to Fortification health. Okay, that's kind of neat. And aside from that, we can just get some of you guys down here. Should take a couple turns, but that's going to be good. One of them is the Tome of Penguins. <laughs> oh, really? There's a mod for that? That's really good. That's really good. All right, I'm done for the turn, I think. I am done for the turn, my dude. I see your glorious vassal. He's he's eyeing me like a piece of meat over here. Let's see what that battle looks like. I can take yeah. I don't know. It says the autos. Yeah, they have the corpse eating trait. So yeah, that's right. Your guys have a lot of healing too. That's gonna be really really nice. You're going to get the fat heals. Okay. Let's uh, do a little bit of that. Huh? And we don't, we don't even have like the basic... Uh, what is that to you? Special provinces grant five gold. It's actually pretty reasonable. Um, that will summon a bandit army. Do this. Go see what's going on there. Should probably wait for that. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to wait for this before I get real aggressive on you here. Uh -huh. Empire development is underway. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cause a little bit of havoc there. Yes. Raid, my minions. Raid. Okay, so now we probably want to muster out just the haggard legions. Select new research. Let's go ahead and shuffle it once. Oh, wow. What does that do? Oh, it's only for the support units. All right, we'll do the war breed. Tier four units. Those guys are super jacked. Uh huh. Okay, any spells I want to cast? I don't think so. All right. Slanash is up to no good in the neighborhood. How's it going, Steve? Welcome to the stream. Oh, there's going to be, I'm sure, a lot of mods for this game. Like, a lot. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get pretty wild, I would wager. You can put even more Warhammer things into this game. That's exactly it. Yeah, that's exactly it. I ready. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good, my friend. Two turns until that's ready. All right, let's go. Kind of see what's going on out here. The Norskin Raiders are are having a having a little fun here. Oh my God, my my gremlin! <laughs> hey, get back here! You, <laughs> you see it scary away? Yeah, that was great. <laughs> The little rat just, just trundling away from you. 
Are we just going to have a battle of our rat armies? Oh, that's pretty great. It's uh, all about the escalation. Yeah, it is. It's good. Okay, looking good. What else can we build here? Warlord's Hall, Tier 4. That sounds pretty awesome, although I don't know if it even really gives us any other good units, but I suppose it's probably going to unlock some buildings that are useful for us. Hmm. Don't forget the Norskin role-playing. Yeah, I know. We're, we're not, we're not going to forget it. We're staying in character. 100%. Hadrius is sending his goblin armies over to like try and fight me here. Yeah, he's got a pretty big army, amount of armies too. Got like some, what are these, Sunderers? Yeah, he's, he's playing like a Slanesh cult. So it's a very, very fun flavor. Um, maybe we do this. I think we do this. All right. Aha! <laughs> it's a scout. You got him. Yeah, the scout was. The scout was. I, I I didn't know if what it was what it was doing. It was just looking looking a little bit suspicious. Now, Steve, I'll still be doing AOE four, but just you know, this is this is a lot of fun. And Total Wars had a new patch out as well, so that's kind of the focus for now. Um, let's go ahead and do this. You can actually. Take a new territory here, and uh, up here we could do something, but I don't know if there's any point to that. My AI not helping so much. All right, I'm ready. Sounds good, my dude. Yeah, my AI, you know, they're a little... Well, I'm attacking them too, so it's like, it's making it a little bit more... Yeah. More uh, opportune for you there. I see your your little army sitting there. I don't know if you're trying to bait me with it. The one that's sitting in the underground passage kind of looks like a trap. No, totally does. All right, so what do we got here? Can you fit in that army? Yes. And then what do we have here? We have this. We got this. Hmm. The bandits grow. Go forth, minions. Do a little bit of pillaging here. The pillaging thing is so good. The, I don't know if you're using that. Um, I guess you're not. Oh, I'm not attacking. Yeah, I, I don't know if you've been using it against other players, but it, it makes it. Yeah, um, it makes it a one-turn thing. It's just like it's so it's so good. Hmm. It's a trap. Okay. Northern Barbarians. That's what we are. We're staying in character. We've got war breeds coming out. Just some cool big big fight guys. Um, I think we save up for like the top tier Barbarian stuff at now at this point. I think that's the game plan. Oh god. Hadri's bringing his full might to bear against my my rebel rebel force here. It would seem that they may be in trouble. Although we might be able to do a little okay. bit. Do we want to fight this or auto? Uh, which one on the other side? Does, does it both? Does it work the same way? Uh, does it work the same way between players as it does in AI? Like if I auto and lose, I don't AI? know if you get a retry, so you should probably just fight it. Honestly, just to be safer. All right, yeah, I'll fight it. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, you got my my gremlin army there, my my small stacks. So this is my uh, my harassing army versus the, his dreaded main horde. What was the the power the this power balance? Half uh, 2,000 versus 14. Okay, so no, it's not the worst thing in the world. You got a pretty nice little army here. We'll see if we can put a dent in it. <laughs> Rebel scum Palpatine laughed. Yes. Yes. Hey. I, I was one turn away from a big buff, too. I'm so sad you, stopped, you fought this before that went off. Shell life taker. Oh, is it my turn? Oh, it is. Okay, I was just sitting here like looking. I was like, why is this not going? 
Uh, let's put it on the fast speed. Good call. Go, my level one minions. Die for Sirtha Ek. Sirtha Ek will will happily uh, happily endure this. He'll remember you. He will. Oh, I have a Berserker in this army? What the hell? Oh, it's my Mercenary army. I was like, I haven't built any Berserkers this game. All right. I tried Berserkers out in my They're solo good. camp. They're yeah. good. They're solid. They hit hard. <laughs> Sirtha. This isn't Sirtha's army. No, I wish it was. Although Sirtha is saving up. It is Asha, the Rebel Queen. Her fire evocation. Hmm. Oh, she's got a bow. That's cool. You got like a like a bow character there. It's the only item I found. She started with a staff. Yeah, bows are good though. Is it like a tier two or tier three bow or? Yeah, it's a tier two bow. Yeah. Okay. So pretty respectable. The javelin throws. Oh, you have overwhelm tactics too. Okay. So you have the skaven tactics. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very slanashy. Kind of like this. Yeah. I like the cult of halflings. Yeah, so his army's all halflings, by the way. Like all these guys, it's, it's pretty pretty great. What weapons? How deep can you zoom in on units? By you the get, way? not too far. Yeah, you can get somewhat close. Yeah, you can, you can try. We're gonna have to cast some spells here. I didn't realize it was my turn. No, no, I didn't. It's my bad. <laughs> Dude, just watch the tier one warrior horde just get to you, huh? Why are my warriors so much more jacked than yours in terms of their defense? Like, I have 11 on my warriors and two magic went... Oh, I don't know. It's probably you some went... tech. Yeah, you went industrial, right? Doesn't that come No, I'm, some... I'm barbarian oh. culture, man. Oh, I mean material tomes. Yeah, yes. I did, I did get the earth upgrade as well, yes. Yeah, so maybe it was that. Yeah. Also, these... I don't know. You might have more... Uh... Hmm. We'll yeah, I don't know. We'll never know, brother. We'll never know. Oh, wait, no. You have shield wall active. That's why I, my units haven't activated shield wall yet. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, two and two. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, wow, that's such a, such a big discrepancy. Hadri's so just about... Looks like he's moved most of his units here. I'm just going to throw all my haggard units into him. I find this game to be more fun and smaller. This map is small. Yeah, this map's pretty small. I, I think small maps are the best for PvP games. It's like, it's... Because they still take four or five hours to, like, finish. You know, and uh, a lot of people lose interest in, like, consistent sessions, you know? By the way, if you end your turn, um, it just automatically puts everybody in. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you knew that there. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Infectious it, insanity. Do you do you fear it? It just makes her like do some random shit next turn. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's gonna do, but let's Probably, see. She, she's just gonna bonk one of your other units for sure. Uh -huh. Warriors, come out and play. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Like, just get absolutely wrecked by your superior army. <laughs> Oh, the retaliation is brutal. Jeez. Okay, can we can we get a little bit of that? It's only sixty six percent chance. Oh man. Go forth, my gremlins. Swarm them. Uh huh. So that looks like it is a nymph over there. Yeah, I decided to get some seduction into my army. It's a good call. The seduce units are very strong. So this is a target sustains damage and turns. Okay, so I'm almost done. My turns will be pretty fast since it's just like a bunch of jank units. I'm just kind of like throwing them at you. <laughs> All right, uh, cool. I, for I think I forgot to attack you over there, but it's okay. I kind of the retaliation. I wasn't looking forward to it. Oh, so what? What did the insanity end up doing? 
I think she cast Frost Evocation on uh, something, and it also made the Skjald go insane, and she ran forward. Yeah, so th the Infectious Insanity, um, it spreads. It has a chance of spreading. That's really good. Yeah, that's a good spell. <laughs> Especially if like your hero just like attacks and just kills one of your squishy units. It's like, it really adds up. Oh! That's a, that spell's great. It's a, it's a really good one. It's a, it's a good screen. There should be game volume. You guys not hearing it? Let me check. No, nope, there's definitely game volume. All right. Just got to turn it up on your end. Hadri summoning a bunch of vines all over the place. Yeah, that bandit army thing is pretty cool too. Okay, so some of my guys are distracted. If we can just put a dent in this army, enough of a dent, then we can probably just steamroll his other two bases with the um, our main force, which is three fully erect armies with the Bone Dragon. No, there's, there shouldn't be a sound bug. Oh, I have been mind controlled. The dreaded nymph, dude. I hate those things. Oh, they're the worst. Just the absolute worst, Hadris. It's your bird lady just flapping her wings all ferociously. By the way, does that infectious insanity, how long does it last? Uh, one turn, I think. Okay. I'm just gonna, I can keep casting it though, but it, it eats, oh. no, actually I can't. It costs 40, 40 of my combat points, okay. So yeah, my guy is like a dog shit caster, so. Yeah, in, uh, what was it? How, Song of... Uh, Songs of Conquest. Uh, Songs of Conquest, I think you could just keep casting things. Yeah. As long as you have the mana. Yeah, yeah, this is a little different. Well, some cat, like, with big casters, you can get a lot. You can get up to, like, 100 plus casting points. So you, I could cast it, like, three or four times in a battle, but not with this army. It's, uh, it's very, very not magic focused. We have another spell to cast here. Oh, I've been hit by your Sunderers. The Javelin Throwers of Doom. Okay, Hadrius has got his hounds coming up. Dude, I love the Warhounds. They're so cool. Such a great low-tier unit. Like, you can get the Houndmasters, like, right away in the game, and they just, like, yeah, they give you a lot of utility. Uh, Franz is in the next one. That's on Thursday with Professor Pwn. Pwn is playing the Undead, and I'm going to be playing um, the Empire, basically. Yeah. The Sons of Sigmar. Hadrius and I are doing a Halfling Slanesh Cult versus um, Tirtha Act tonight. Which is, uh, which is the role-playing for that. Oh my god, it's getting real crazy over there. Are you just like some Slanesh Frenzy or what? No, that was just my regular attack. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Skeld buffs, I think. Maybe it was the War Shaman, I'm not sure. Big Javelin shots in the face. Hmm. Yes, and we have the Vine Prison being cast down here, which is super annoying. So he's just going through his turn. Back and forth. Somebody in chat saying, I've been enjoying this game, but it's uh, different for parts. I didn't play the third one, actually. I'm not I'm not sure how that is. Is that Spirit Wolf a summon? I don't think so, right? I think I got him from a right. The yeah. nature thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nature, the nature tree. My poor golems. Dude, what if the infectious insanity just, like, keeps going? <laughs> yeah, that would be... <laughs> A troublesome thing. <laughs> Your lord is just on my side now, like, yes. Did you just one-shot my imps there? No, nah, they teleport when they get hit. Oh, that's right. I was like, I looked and they were gone. I was like, what the hell is this? That's really funny. I was like, I thought you just one-shot them, dude. Hadri's going through doing All his right. thing. I think that's everything. Sounds good, dude. Hey, a little bit of berserk action. All right. So I don't have enough for that. Um, we can go ahead and do this because that'll buff all tier one units. So we're going to do that. Talk about a cost-effective buff to say the least. 
Um, we can go ahead and just ignore you. Probably gonna have to kill that. All right. Berserker man is stunned from the dreaded skulls. Imp can tail whip here. We just gotta see what kind of damage we can actually do, which probably won't be much, but. Is your other lady still insane? Yeah, so she, I think the insanity will stay on your scald for like a turn, but aside from that, yeah, I think you're fine. Okay, the retaliation definitely hurts. Just try a shield bash here. Okay, he resisted it, that's not good. Do the dreaded flank. Yes, big damage coming in. Throne of Vines is pretty nasty. Yeah, so I think this character is free of the vines. It's probably gonna be like the only thing we kill this game is your 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 vine nest. Okay, so let's do the daylight spears attacking the skjald. Fortunately, we are trapped here. We have a chance of getting away, but the vines oh, can grab you, but yeah. Okay. yeah the Skald moving forward from insanity is unfortunate. They're like a unit you want to hang back. Yeah, yeah, could be worse though. You, you're still definitely. Yeah, I can take the loss. Yeah, you you could you can re-recruit them pretty quick, I bet. And I have extras in like other armies. You're wait, you're just waiting I'm in the shadows. Dogs. I'm my dogs. The beasts have fallen. I'm gonna go John Wick on you now. I know. Killed my dog, man. Uh, let's go here. A little bit of this. Ah, he goes deep. Yeah, he, he got he managed to get in there. The Vine Prison spell is really good, though. Pwned used that against me to pretty good effect the other night. Oh, we resisted it, thankfully. Okay, Gremlin. Um, you have your Tail Whip ability. I don't know exactly how that works. Could also just go here. <laughs> Another faction I've been really wanting to make is Bretonia. Yeah. I saw Gnome gives you Hawk Riders, which are... Like going to be Griffin riders. Yeah, yeah, the Pegasus Knights. Yeah, you, I think you could do, get something done. And man, I know you want to do a God Emperor. Oh game, yeah, but that, those are all like tier five tomes. You got to figure out a way. You know, it would have to be a multi-session thing for sure. Yeah, which is doable. And hey, multi-sessions can be fun because there's more politicking involved. Oh yes, yeah. This game has a lot of potential for that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's always fun. Go my warriors! Damn, those like those like hybrid units are actually pretty fighty. Uh yeah. I've got a lot of uh, bonuses stacked up on them. Yeah. They're they got the spawn kin and You guys aren't hearing the game sound? Huh. Are they really are they hearing us but they're hearing us talking. Yeah. Huh. Let me let me know if, uh, who's hearing game sound and who's not. We'll see if it's maybe like a press a random key on your keyboard to turn off game sound like in Warhammer. I know, that's like the most annoying thing in Warhammer. Hey, maybe it's here too. I don't know. Okay. Let's see what we can do, man. You just got a Hawk Rider? Yeah, you could do So, Bretonia, I mean, there's a whole feudal culture, which is like perfect for Bretonia, like some feudal lord. You know, it's like, uh, you could definitely do a lot. So, yeah, you hear game sound good. Okay. You guys hear it? Outstanding, outstanding. Oh, the big buffs from Hadris. The He did the same thing I did, buffing all his tier 1 units, the dreaded barbarian tactics. It's quiet? Okay. Sounds good, sounds good. I wish I could just make your lord insane again, but alas, it's not going to happen. What does this thing even do? Star purge? Oh my god. Oh, the dreaded, the dreaded vines again. Oh no. More vines, more. We were able to kind of escape it earlier, but you know, it was, it's not easy. Yeah, he's, this, is, this is a lot of stuff. This is the main army, man. We need Sirtha Ek, the Lord of the Varg, to come in and... <laughs> What's your character's name? Sophia? Uh, no, Asha. Asha, Asha. okay. Queen. yeah. Got Asha, it. the Rebel Queen. Sounds good, Lich 109. Sounds good. Yeah, thank you for the, for the pro tips there. So he just cast the Vine Prison, which you saw. It's a really, really good spell. It's incredibly good. And he's got some nymphs back here. He shoots some laser beams. So that was your Lord shooting, right? Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, her, her magic damage. I wish I had gotten a ring that made me immune to lightning. That would have been funny. Okay, a little bit of damage there. We killed the Skjald, so it's not a complete failure. How's morale looking on the troops? It's okay so far. Although I think the Golem is immune to morale, so we gotta look at other units. Yeah, definitely more units dying. He's got like a huge concave of units up here. The rock upgrade looks pretty funny on the Barbarian guys. If you see, they just have like boulders growing out of their necks. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty fun. All right, so what else does Hadrius have? Cast a spell. You have a lot. You do have a lot. You got a lot of archery units to shoot over there. Just start doming whatever you feel like, basically. Uh -huh. I'm looking around for the javelin shots. I'm excited for the final duel, too. I, I just want to use that bone dragon so bad. That's going to be so fun. And I just want to win one game before it, I could die to it. Win, <laughs> win one battle before I die <laughs> yeah. to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got this one in the bag for sure. Let's see. All right. The nymphs are flanking. Doing some nature magic. Those frost wolves are really cool. The spirit wolf. Those units are great. You want to do win one before you die to the dragon is what you said? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You gotta get there. <laughs> okay, warrior's still mind controlled. Very Slanesh. He's got like Slanesh nymphs in his army, sort of. Seducing my units. Oh. Did you ever play the Age of Wonders, like the previous titles, like 2 and 3? Yeah, I played 3 and Planetfall. Hmm, okay. 3 was pretty good, but Planetfall I really liked. The weird sci-fi setting and all those options. I think you'd really like it. Yes. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. When did it come out? I don't remember. It's a long time ago, right? It's not a super old game. Okay. Oh my god, those things hurt. Those Sunders, man. I mean, it, yeah, it was just a tier one unit, but even still, they did a lot of damage. Yeah, 16 plus 6 plus 3. They also have the poison. There's these guys, I think, just do some crit damage. Your army definitely seems to hit hard, although you have your lord here too. So it's buffing him, I'm sure, in some way. It's my shithouse bandit army, just like trapped in vines on the bottom. Yeah, I'm kind of using it to hold up a flank. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, it's great. It's good. So the the haggard forces on the top have been folded. Now I basically just have the the barbarians down here. Uh, yeah, we can look at the volume after it. Planetfall came out three to four years ago. Yeah, I I would have played it when it came out if I had known it was like this. So we killed the skull. That's pretty much it. That's all I think we're gonna get. So I think that's all we're gonna get. Heals going down. The nymphs also have healing, so he's got some nice healing in his force. He's got some really, really good healing. What are these guys actually weak to? So they're weak to lightning damage, but they're strong to pretty much everything else. Resistance against all. Yeah, that's about it, right? Yeah. Well, I remember because when Pone and I played, uh, I had a lightning caster that was just like, just doing a lot of damage. It's all about Odd World. Oh my god, that's an old school game. Yeah, I think my whole army is just going to route here, dude. Oh, to leadership? Yeah, well, the Golem is the only thing that's like leadership is holding because it's unbreakable. So on my turn, I'll probably just put it on an auto fight. All right, shield wall going down. He's got some schemers in the back. Yeah, the elementals are a really good tech too. Like going early magic and just getting all the summons and tacking them up with the uh, the growth. Yeah, that's a popular thing to do. Yeah, it's, it seems very very powerful because they, right. they have tons of AOE. Yeah, so a couple of my units are still fighting, which is cool. Uh, they're gonna flee most likely, but we might be able to do some damage here before we go. Thinking on it. Say what? They're thinking on it. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're mostly just trapped in vines and shit. So they're surrounded by vines. I mean, Slanesh Tentacles. Yeah, right? it's, it's, it's all in the family. Oh my god, this character is just straight up. My one good wizard I have in my bandit army. 
Uh, so these are like some fairy units. Oh, you, you can't get past the vines, I see. Yeah, it's like she's trapped in the pits. Wants to get in there. I don't know if we'd even do much damage against it. do something cool to clear the vines. I have a big nuke on my lord. Oh, I don't have them, so you're fine. It's 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 not the direction I went. Uh huh. Let's go bonk the lord if we can get away. It seems like that entangle gets resisted a bit, but okay, it ended up getting me there. So can that, then I then take a swing? Did I just accidentally shield bash that? I think I did. Oh god. Come on, get out of the vines. Yes, read them. Go berserkers. Daylight spear. Escape. Dude, the dreaded cavalry, cavalry slayer is coming for you. Okay. Um, this mage just... I find it funny that I got a bird mount this time. I mean, eagle. In my When I was playing this solo, I got a unicorn for her. That was awesome. Yeah, there's just some... had a demonette riding a unicorn backed up by chaos eaters. It's pretty flavorful. Yeah, you could probably just put this on auto think that it would just steamroll me. I don't think I can do anything to you with this vanguard here. All my units are like one kill away from routing, like full on. Oh my god, the damage. Yeah, your weapon upgrades, your units seem to hit very hard. You have a lot of, it seems that you have many active. Let's yeah, that's where a lot of my magic upkeep ended up going. Yeah, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. How much more damage do critical strikes do in this game compared to uh, like regular attacks? Is it just double? Do you guys, anybody in chat know? No, I'd be, I'd be curious about that. Yeah, and if you want, um, if you the auto battle, in case you don't know where it is, is top right. It's just the the two cross swords. Uh oh, okay. Is that uh, your hold on? You'll just steamroll. Let's, let's see what happens with it. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about here. I actually didn't know what to, uh, how to yeah, activate that. Yeah, it's useful. It's useful when you're at this point in battles and you just don't want to click every unit. Mm -hmm. So it just, it, it'll heal and, you know, it, it basically just does what the AI would do. It's really nice that it, yeah, it, that it heals for you because in like a lesser, a lesser uh, version of this, it would just be attack, attack, attack. And yeah, yeah. Look, they even, uh, I think they're even eating the corpses. <laughs> but that's the only thing is that's temporary healing. So it doesn't like, uh, Carry on yeah. to the world map, but oh, okay. I still have a unit, I guess. Okay, they're all fleeing now. So let me click auto for myself. There is a, a dread army of the of the, the ice queen here. Oh no! That insanity did give you a scald kill. Yeah, which isn't bad. Yeah, I'll take it. Just for by three stacks of, of barbarian units. I was hoping to. Uh, raid your AI partner there, but yeah, he's he's uh, he's been well defended. Can't get my goodies. I know. We we did a little bit of pillaging, but not too much. Oh. <laughs> All right, where are we at here? So for you guys, so I have the spell. I have the spell next turn. So we should probably do this. And you come here. Let's take the freebie. So you're all the way over there. <laughs> oh, I actually took some damage there, damn. That's pretty funny. Yeah, dude, you, you bonked me pretty good. Okay. The hero leveled up. Oh, I even got an experience from that, that's nice. So let's go ahead and take, Distant Evocation gives us range. This will give us some sort of a freeze. Mark a misfortune. We fortune magic plus one range. Yeah, some of those AOE spells might not be bad. Let's do that. I actually, think champions. Yeah, you've got a champion, right? Yeah, I have a champion hero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they level a bit faster. They might. I'm actually not sure, to be honest. Yeah, not sure how that all goes down. Uh huh. All right. So you cruise back. Do your thing. Look here, um, probably can cancel that. And then we want to just get some things. No, we don't need this. Uh, what else do we want? Yeah, we can just grab that. 
And uh, probably that. Oh no, my scout! Has it been defeated once and for all? I have a she lob. <laughs> you, have a you have a she lob just lurking in the trees. Oh, I love it. That's pretty great. All right. Well, here's Hadri's uh, his armies. He's got all three of those. He's got a level six hero. You have a hero higher than uh, your main one, actually. One of them is higher level. It looks yeah, like. Yeah, I, I do think that they level. Well, no, I hired her at five. But yeah, I don't know how it works. She just she just surpassed her uh, her her mentor there. Hmm. So can I move anything else? There's also this haggard uh, NPC marauder army. Actually, it's not even haggard. It has 700 strength. No, that's uh, that's from the infestation, which hasn't been dealt with. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and that was the one that might have gone to deal with, but we got to fight. Yeah, well, and if you had gone, I I was coming to your base too, so it would have been yeah, would have been a little scary. All right, I'm ready. Sounds good, my friend. Mm hmm Yes. Oh, that enchantment's awesome. I just got a cool looking enchantment on my guys. The flame burst enchantment of doom. Ooh, that's a nice one. It is, it's pretty yeah. sweet. His opponents are moving. Okay, there you go. There's the next day. Ah, yes, kindred spirits. Why not? Alright, so he's got a little army at the city. We could attack it. Could do a little bit more raiding until he decides he wants to pop out and fight. Let's uh, do this. Summon you. Did that not go down already? Should go down. There we go. Okay. That was weird. Okay. So now it should officially be on. Yeah. It looks like it did go down. So sieging the city is going to take some time, unfortunately. But it's a super cool, epic thing. Uh-huh. Let's uh, do this. Get you here. Get you here. And now we can add siege projects. Okay, so we'll do that. And what else can we do? Wizard's Bombardment. What does that do? Do you know what Wizard's Bombardment does? Sounds like something awesome. <laughs> yeah, it certainly sounds cool. All right. So Hadrian's will come lift his siege, I'm sure. Yeah, the Caltrops increases your fortifications, yeah. He's, he, Hadrian's looks like he's going for my uh, my vassal there. Or some someone or other. My vassal's got some okay army. He certainly couldn't stand up to, to his wrath. Oh, these are just my uh, poor my poor soldiers. Oh, just raiders and shit. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. thought you might be coming with more, but you're just going to be doing some raiding, which is good. Some counter raiding. Yeah, I was going to say, like, losing your main city would be ru pretty rough. Uh, yes. Oh, this is my vassal. Is your vassal helping you? Uh, no, they left. <laughs> They've just abandoned you into the shadows, yeah. Okay. Looking good. Gremlin summon will take a couple turns, interestingly enough. The wizard's bomb destroys, for it said, uh, quite a bit better than the other. All right, cool. We'll give it a try. Screw it, man. There we go. Oh, wow. And that changes it to one. Okay, that's pretty pretty sweet, actually. Um, we need to do that. And uh, cool. So that'll finish in a couple turns, too. We probably want to get it's it's pretty cool to have like buildings be relevant that normally wouldn't be against like the AI. Um, let's go ahead and pop that back here. It's a mob camp. It's a farm. We should do that. All right, I think I'm ready when you are, dog. Yeah, I think I got. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> it is done once and for all. Those barbarians are cool. I know. I'm really glad I picked like playing barbarians first. Attack! 
Oh yeah, dude. Did you siege it down in one turn? Yeah, I have I have uh I have some barbarian tech that makes me siege super quick and I uh I have the the tome of whatever and it gives me yeah, anyways, it it, it basically makes me siege super fast. Oh, dude. All right. So, we're going to show you guys the bolt throwers here. Oh, cuz this is will be good good information for Hadrius to know about. So there's these like bolt thrower things that I can make when I'm sieging and they just are the punishers. You'll see these blisters out here in a second. <laughs> Did you just do that or is this AI? Holy shit. What are you doing? Is that you flanking out here? No, that's the AI. Wait, you're not defending your own city? This is a vassal. It's the... Oh, I thought this was your city the whole time. I was like... No. I was like, oh, you my... Thought, did you think this was my capital? I know. I forgot that you were in the corner. Oh, no. Oh, you haven't even seen the party tent. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, so let's get the bolt throwers to start shooting. They're pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely a little bit nervous about the party tent, as you've dubbed it. All right, so let's move up here. Hey, did he freeze your dragon? I, he might have. I don't know. I was so excited to use the dragon, too, and now it's just this. It's like in the pits of hell. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Sprint. Hey the bonk. The bonk of doom. Bolt repeater. All right, let's see where we can shoot. Here we go. Is <laughs> that cool? All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, and it destroys it destroys uh, terrain too, so you can use it for that. Oh, they froze, they did freeze my dragon. That's so that's lame. Oh my god, I love it. And he froze Sir Thak. What fro a hero! I know, froze them all. Okay, so let's summon you. Okay, so let's. Uh, wow, and this character is like super hard to hit for some reason. This <laughs> is like you're just gonna solo. Maybe. Maybe the AI, unlike the Total War AI, is just super good at making heroes and characters. I know. Like it just it just knows all the tech. That dude, I I was like, I was surprised. I was like, I don't charging that hero out, but it got like a double freeze on my dragon and my other character. Like, what? Why is it so like low percent chance to hit too? God, man. I'm telling you, man, the AI knows something we don't. I know. It's cheating. All right, so what does this do? Um, crushing Anguish. Okay, or I could just get in here and hit it. Ah, oh, man, you got one of the fish. I hate the fish. I do have only one fish, yeah. God, the walls are obviously pretty, make them pretty resilient here. Um, yeah, let's just come back this way. Just kill the hero, he's free. No, it's, uh, dude, I, my chances to hit it are like super low with everything. Uh, it's like literally like, yeah, 25%, 5%. You know, pretty meme. Okay, so you just missed it again. It's like, all right. Uh, is there anyone else? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I can hit it here. We'll see. Nope. Missed Good again. Good job, my vassal. Be annoying for as long as possible. Yeah. I mean, once the dragon's free, it shouldn't be a problem. But oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my god! These units are so jacked. You see them just one-shotting shit. Dude, your vassal's a monster. Yeah. Okay, N enough games, dude. It's That's serious. It's Sirtha time. Those barbarians up front are going to be a nightmare, though, for sure. Um, Berserkers, yeah, they'll get some nice charges off, but I think I don't think you'll lose anything. No, I lost an archer already, and uh, and it uh, ended up top. So yeah, I just need to like tie them down with like golems. We got a critical hit. It's, it's happening. Go, my doggos. Get them. Kill them. All right, so this guy's like an explosive phasing, so let's do that. Oh, he's. I thought he teleported. Oh, I guess not. So 44% chance to mind control. Let's not like lose my sorceress to your those barbarians. <laughs> that would be pretty awful. Okay, so the dragon would take a little bit of damage, but we actually have, oh man, the Cross of Breath is what, one action? Tail Swipe is like a cone in front of him, so he can go here, which is gonna be 
Let's move him here first. I really want to see what the dragon does. Well, he's got a corrosive breath and a tail whip. I'm going to try the corrosive breath thing. Okay, so it applies a poison. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything we want to heal? Not particularly, so we can just shoot at the barbarians. It's like this... It seems as if this player's faction has, like, all these missile resist things that are pretty strong. Bonk it on the head. Let's run you away. <laughs> Man, this hound can cover some serious distance. And you come up here. So you can get the kill shot. Hey, lucky. 30%. Alright, so Shaman Man. Yeah, those those barbarian guys might actually uh, be able to pound the dragon a little, so we should probably just top it off to be safe. Your bone dragon. That would be I would be so bummed about that. That's like so I'm so tragic. excited for it. Oh my god, I just can't hit these things, dude. They all have like like 20 40% chance shots to hit them. Oh my god, I just missed hit my own wolf. Okay, we can get an 80% chance here. That's good. Um, get an 80% here. Okay, so we got the steadfast proc on him. And then we have another Tormented Soul back here. A little bit of magic, Infectious Insanity. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to just pop on this guy. So he just bonks his, his nearest friend. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so they're just going after the Doggos, which is expendable. I feel as if the auto would have had me losing quite a bit here, actually. I think so, yeah. It probably gives a lot of bonuses to defender's advantage. Yeah. These are my poor rat shaman. You just have a random rat shaman? Yeah, I don't know where he came from. He's just... He just showed up. He he joined earlier because I get units when I like kill things, so I think he just uh, decided to show up earlier. I like the look of you. Yeah, he did. Okay. So I need low morale units. We can finish these guys off now. Those damn barbarians, man. They're, uh, they're those tier three units, man. They're pretty good. I did notice that the recruitable tier three units are about as good as the tier four units that you get from like evolving things and summoning. Yeah, it depends on the faction, but for sure. Like some... Oh, that's true. The barbarian ones are really good. They do, they do seem to be quite good. Okay, Sertha can go here, um, and then he can run. Pop Rat goes Rage. He's going to phase. And then he's going to bonk. All right. The old phase and bonk. That's pretty good. So 60%. Start working on these guys. Miss everything. <laughs> what a hero. Dude, the evasion. I don't know what it is. They, they must have a... Uh, oh, you know what? The faction trait... For this, uh, this, they must have the the, the ranged mischance thing. I have that. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is my race. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's it's definitely ill tidings for uh for our battles to come. <laughs> if I'm just missing everything. All right, sure. Let's try and seduce that thing. Why not? It's already steadfast, so screw it. Yeah, because they're all like halflings. Steal Earth is kill. And now Sertha has to kill that hero. I know. The betrayal. I know, that's what that's the true Norskin experience. I think everything else here has steadfast. Yeah, so I just straight can't kill it. So we'll just auto combat this. Okay, we triggered the steadfast on that. So I'm just in auto combat now, so they'll attack. Okay, he's fumbling. Alright, Sertha. Finish them. Kill them. Okay, is that it? Is it over? All right, so we lost the Houndmaster and my Flow Serpent. That's the one that they bonked and just one-shotted, dude. Okay, let's move there before things get too crazy. Raising it to the ground. Um, okay, so we need to go look at this. Do that. And let's do this. 
Ah, uh, that was one of your people. Okay, so we have some summons coming in. He uses Raiden Milans. He's causing some trouble, all right. He's causing some serious trouble. Hmm, let's see what this looks like here. High risk battle, huh? Maybe my vassals will come save me. We'll find out. Okay, so Man, the vassals, uh, they, they just mind their own business. They send armies. It actually gives you like a notification, but they do give you a lot of money too. So it's definitely, definitely worth it. Yeah, um, the money's good. They could be a little... A uh... little more helpful. Yeah, De I think so. They definitely could. Uh-huh. Armies are pretty tattered now after that little fight. Certainly a little bit nervous about the uh, ensuing conflicts. Oh. I'm not as strong as I once was. Eh, you've still got the Bone Dragon. I think you're fine against the Bone Dragon. Time to pounce. I could straight up just die here, dude. Well, at least my armies would get ambushed, but... Some progress was made. Granted, in this game, even when you die, you can still come back. It's not, like, uh, impossible. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, I'm just checking the remains of some of these guys to see if they have any loot, any sweet loot. Uh, let's go. Oh, yeah, I haven't checked that in a while. Okay, let's make some dough. Do a little bit of itemizing on your boy Sirtha. Let's give him that. Um, we have... It's not bad. Hmm... Ring of the Inspired Killer, Ring of Resistance. Probably go with that. Could give Sir Thek a heavy crossbow. Lightning sword. Oh, that's a cool one. Okay, so itemize you. You have a good item here already. Got all the goodness. And this character, she's already got a tier 3 orb, which I think is superior to other options. So we could put her on a pony. Okay. I think that's about fine, yeah. Oh no, they grow. Yeah, I see the party tent in the corner. I see your your true uh your true face. <laughs> I just have this this shell up in the forest, I love it. Okay. Well, uh, let's get ready to rumble, man. I'm uh, I'm ready when you are, I think. Oh no, my my raiders. Shellab still lurked there. I didn't see her. She, yep. She went for a snack. She's back. Okay. All right, let's get ready for the Royal Rumble. Oh, the AI wants some. Oh my god. Uh, well, I'll auto this, and if it's bad, I just will. Just... Yeah, you... Well, hey, you know what? They're an extension of me. Yeah, exactly. So... Uh-huh. Okay, what did I lose? Honestly, I think it was more or less fine. I took some damage, but it wasn't too bad, I suppose. Uh-huh. I don't know why it didn't... Um... Flee the city. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Screw that shit, dude. Did I not absorb it? It said it would take one turn. Huh. No, it's mine. Sure is, dude. Well, we certainly got some experience on the upside of things. You dare flee? Well, I need to get a summon off because I lost a lot. Um. Okay. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. And flame burst weapons. Okay, let's try that. It looks badass. Oh wait, the bone dragon died in the auto resolve. Oh, I didn't see that. No. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Guys, I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to trying to get away. All right, let's recruit you. Potato. Oh, that's pretty bad. It's okay. The dragon. It, it did its last piece. Yes. 
It will forever be remembered for its uh, for its glorious deeds. Ah, looks like we have a battle here. We can fight it if you want, or we can auto, whatever you prefer. You see it. It's, it's our two chaff armies. I guess we could fight it. Screw it. It'll be a fun fight. Oh, I didn't get the option to. Okay, well, I fought it anyway, so you're going to get to get to fight. Okay. I saw... I, oh, it, yeah. your weapons are on fire. Yes, I have the flame burst weapons now. It is uh, your turn to move, though. Okay, yeah, it's not very clear on whose turn it is first. I noticed that. You'll have to restart C in four hours. Oh, I don't know, the dragon. It's okay, we'll have another dragon soon. They will, they will keep joining us. The dragons will keep rising from the ashes. Just like a phoenix. Uh, the last battle was basically just our... These are our two chaff armies fighting here. So he's he's kind of lurking by my base, and uh, yeah, and we're just we're just doing our thing. Oh, we can put it on fast forward too, by the way. Yeah, yeah I've got it on fast forward. I know, I just forgot myself. I was just like, was that kind of damage that to eleven? But we have a good crit chance. All right. Yeah. So somebody in chat says defending armies always go first. That's the nature of the beast. Dude, Sirtha X in big danger now, dude. He's just straight up having to flee. Stand and fight, coward. We, we did wipe out one of your vassals, which is sign or at least his armies, but yeah, it's going to come back. His armies, but I took him back and hey, he killed your bone dragon for me. He what did. a good vassal. The bone dragon honestly didn't seem that impactful. Like It did that much damage, but I guess it's still like a, a high tier monster. I remember someone saying that the bone dragons are not that kind good. Of the, weak, the weakest of the dragons. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, you, is your character uh, your character is a Witch King, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Shield wall. Hey, how's it going, Hussein? Hope you're doing well, man. We're playing some uh, some old uh, some old Duelin. Sirtha Ek is old caught. You go with. He's caught in a bit of a bad situation. We see the the nest of vines. The Hadri's the Hadri's favorite here. More vines, more. I know. How much uh, spell casting power do you have? I have 55. You probably have like 100 or something, right? Uh, 70, actually. Mm, that's not too much more, but still a couple extra spells. The bone da dragon is a bit of a distraction, yeah. It certainly is. Okay. Barbarian javelins of doom. Popping one of my units in the face. Do you have any good units in this army? Let's see. You got the young cost. Uh, more or less pure trash. Yeah, it's just a Jenkinstein army, huh? <laughs> my armies. I got some okay units. The golems are not bad. The golems seem good. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're not bad. They're tanky. They have they have a uh, high defense and stuff. Pretty good at just fighting up close. I'm surprised the AI came in so hard for this fight, that fight. But I guess they're, it's either that or their city. I, I had the city being migrated to me, and it said one turn, but I guess it didn't go off or something. It was weird. Maybe I, maybe there's like another condition that needs to be met. Go, go, creatures. All right. Hadri's probably just about done. Didn't have too much else going on here. And it is finished. Yes. All right, so spells. This one certainly costs a whole lot, but I think it's probably going to be fine. We could just do this. And, uh, and yeah, maybe it'll spread. Who knows? Infectious insanity. I like the Metallica song or something. Infectious insanity. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get you up here. And uh, as far as other units go, we still have this thing back here, which is kind of trolling a little. So let's pop that. Critical hit. That vine never stood a chance. This, that spell is really good, though. It's definitely very disruptive. 
Yeah, for a tier one spell, it's usually that kind of thing would be like 90% chance to entangle and root, but no, it just summons a bunch of tier one vines. Yeah, it's which is strong. Really good. Okay. Golems definitely do not hit that hard. So like just one. I feel that's pretty good because if they were as if they were as uh, hurdy as they were tanky, oh man, that'd be that'd be real dangerous. It would. Got the hound masters. I love your flaming axes, though. I know. I don't know if it's actually good. I think it is. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks so corn that it's good. It is good. It's very motion flavor, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's go bonking here. The golems. I mean, I, I got it. Uh, poison for the Slaneshi flavor. Yeah, the poisons. It seems to. Your guys hit harder than mine for sure, from what I've observed. The basic. Yeah. It's. Shield wall. Go, doggo. Is there anyone else I'm forgetting? Ah, uh, yeah, some of the golems could attack, I think. I think these guys all did their thing. You fought up here. Yeah, let's see how the insanity does. Okay, is it going to attack something? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, it made your guy insane, but then it just helped you. It just like it was like, I'm just going to attack the enemy. Well, <laughs> all right, Fury of the Horde. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to cast that next to The big enchantment. Hey, Holly from Brazil. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. It's a blast. Okay. What do we got here? Yeah, your army quality just might all your enchantment stacking might just be better than mine. It's my stuff. I'm I'm curious to see. Uh, I think that's how you do tier one. Like yeah. the tier one spam strategy, you need to be really aggressive with how much you buff them. Yeah, no, it makes sense for sure. I like those javelin units. You know, I didn't like them at first, the Sunders, but they seem to have decent utility. They're very squishy, but they, um, you know, can work in the front line, the back line. Yeah, no, I thought the same thing. I thought they were kind of weak with their regular javelin throw, but no, they, they can get in there, especially with the uh, six blight. Yeah, that's very true. Look at these guys, flame burst weapons. I have a couple enchantments, mostly for critical strike. I don't know how effective that's been. We'll have to keep tabs on it. So far, I think like the the mage character felt very strong in PvP because you can corner camp and just spam spells and force your opponent to like come to you, which is um, I think very very powerful. Oh my Damn. god! What the hell's going on there, dude? Just anarchy. Just critical hits. Yeah, just all across the board. Okay, a little bow shot, not bad. The iron golems with the beat sticks trying. Yeah, but magic, um, I don't know if you watched the Crocus Pocus stream, but the magic spam seemed very strong for sure. Just like, I saw, yeah. Just like chain lightning on the, because most people are have their armies like very heavily stacked like this. So you could just get so much damage. Okay. The golem's bonking back a little bit, but those javelin units, quite nasty. Okay, what else does he have to fight? Uh-huh. And there it is. All right, so let's see what we can do here with spells. Um, probably going to do, yeah, probably Fury of the Horde, because we do have a fair amount of tier 1 units. So that's probably going to be important there. It's also really, like, one of the reasons the uh, dog summoners are so nice is because they uh, summon the tier 1 units and you can just buff them. Yeah. They they do get that. I think that's, like, the whole synergy why they're in that tome. Alright. You got a trade. Whoa, did it? Oh, that's what that does. Look, you got a kill with the flame burst weapon? And it, and it blows and them up, yeah. Big AoE. That's great. It's really cool. Uh-huh. Can we get you in there? Yes. Let's go bonk him and see if it explodes. Yeah, see, it does a little bit. It does like 20 damage or something. It's not terrible. Go, my hounds. Flank. Feast. 
I wonder if it works on the range units. I don't know if it does. Let's find out. Nope, doesn't seem so. Nah, it's, uh, ranged upgrades are separate. Yeah. Some, there are some things that affect both. Okay, let's bonk these ladies. This doesn't seem to go off every time. Okay, let's get away from the dreaded vines. Put some shots downtown. My doggos charge forth. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you, Holly. Yeah, the Berserkers might be better than the Golems for sure. The Golems give you some resiliency though. Um, I don't know, yeah, it's, it's fun to kind of experiment with those. We did def definitely did a lot of damage that turn. I, I, I need to win this one. Caserta X probably on a doomed crusade now. So he's got to just do a damage he can and then regroup. And, uh, you know, see what we can do from there. He is a... He is, he's going to try. The Iron Golem. Okay, more javelins. Yeah, the golems survive very well, though. I mean, their their defense is really like bring them down, bring it down. They're quite, it's quite good, yeah. My morale's good, so it looks like I've, I think the balance power is maybe a little in my favor based on the morale, but I could be wrong. Yeah, see, he's using the corpse eating ability, so it, it's oh my god, that did so much damage! Holy shit! Do you have the the flanking thing? Yeah, flanking and uh, overwhelming uh, the the critical strike thing. Yeah. Yeah critical strikes and they are pretty strong in this game yeah one of those games where crit builds are legit yeah i have super high crit in my guys but not quite the flat damage oh the dogs who let the dogs out apparently you did it was me turin all along the dogs out <laughs> You're about my age, right? I think, yeah. You see, probably yeah. you, you remember hearing that song on the radio. Yeah. That was a pretty hype song for sure. Yeah, the magic's making a difference here. I don't really have good magic. Sirtha, no magic. Nature has some nice synergies. Nature's really good. Nature magic is very strong. Feast, my dogs. Feast. Those dogs are so good. Yeah, they're really, really solid units. Okay, so let's uh, get the bonkin. If anything, we could get like better shots against. Nothing here is really that great. Eh, we'll try here. Okay, we we hit it at least. Hmm, little flanking action here. See if the big hammer guys can finish him. Not quite. It's unfortunate, but pretty close. Oh yeah, I bet dwarves are insane in this game. They're good. Dwarves, with halberds, magic, golems, like they and everything. Warhammer dwarves aren't. Yeah, everything they have <laughs> fantasies about having. Yeah. Hey, flame burst weapons doing some work. Yeah, I think that buff is worth it for it's, sure. It's a good one. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, it's it's been strong for me. Pop them. Finish it, dog. <laughs> dogs. Okay, you're probably gonna have some morale issues here in a minute. Yeah, the golem, the golems, and seem like a good screen. I don't know. I the staying power of them is very nice. The berserkers tend to die, die pretty quick. Yeah, I don't know. Oh man, that flank on your guys is nasty. Yeah, you're 25 percent extra damage. Yeah. Okay. And the corpse, the corpse eating thing is pretty, pretty great. <laughs> do your heroes have it too? They probably do, right? They do. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I just did it for flavor, but yeah, it worked. Too. Yeah, I mean, heals are one of the strongest things in this game for sure. Okay. There's a game mode in this which is pretty cool called, um, called uh, like ta like mega cities where each player can only have one city and it just it just grows fat. It's it's pretty pretty rad. Okay, let's get the surround here. Do I have any magic I can use? I don't think so. I don't think anything's that cheap. And together. But yeah, the tier one barbarian units 
I like I like them a lot. Yeah, it's a fun culture. You haven't tried too many of the other ones, have you? No, I just got the game today. This is my first. Yeah, there. It's definitely definitely a, a good one. They're also I'm fun. Really, I really looking forward to making a high culture. Uh, yeah, Imperium. Obviously, making Bretonia. Bretonia will be awesome. Hmm, can we reach you? Yes, we can. Bonk him. I'm yep. so impressed with the character customization, though. Not just like, uh, I mean, the character creator. You can make some pretty impressive things. You can. You can. It's really fun. I I had the AI spawn. Um, I'm just gonna put it on auto now. I had the AI spawn a a, a vampire halfling against me in one of my games. It was like a halfling with like blood all over its face and like pale skin. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Aha! We've driven back the uh, usurpers here. Who raids the raiders? I know. Yeah. Definitely like you guys, I think. Let's get some of you. And then you guys need to be producing also. I can make a warship? A ballista ship? Oh yeah, there's a whole naval uh, game in this too. You just have to make it happen. Oh man, your armies are so much stronger than mine. So I have 600, 600, 500, and you have like six, six. Oh yeah, your armies are way stronger. Better not run from me, bro. I might have to. Coming for you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trapped in your territory with no healing, so. I'm like, oh God. Uh, oh yeah, you still got some movement, okay. Hadri's raiding my lands. A little bit, no. We both lost our chaff armies this game. Okay. So how's this looking here? We got that army still hanging. Yes. Oh, hold up. Hmm, that's actually a funny idea. You ready for the meme? I was born ready. Yeah, okay, we'll see. We will see. Okay, so that's a couple turns away. This we can cancel. Then we do this. <laughs> oh man, if that, that, let's see. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit, but that's a really funny idea actually. All right, man, I think I'm ready when you are. Let's get the mace men there. Yeah, we got this, we captured something. Okay, what do you what do you got here? Inspects. She's actually got some good gear. Oh yeah, we definitely um Ah. Uh, yeah, so who's that belongs to one of your heroes. Okay, so we'll do that. Just the casual casual finish there. Amulet of Vitality. Yeah, that's a good item. On our boy Sertha and Helm of the Warrior too. He needed some of that gear. Uh oh, you might catch that army. I got uh, something. Yeah, but <laughs> can you get your reinforcements there? Does it let you? Yeah, I got two armies versus two of yours. So it's, yeah, two of mine uh, got two can... of yours. <laughs> Sirtha, Sirtha's just gonna go raid and pillage and just let his minions take the fall. It's perfect. It's very lore friendly. I don't have any heroes, I don't think, because they're all with Sirtha. No, uh, you have. I do have one. Okay. There. What, what? This is two armies against two armies. Yours is just way more beat up. Oh, my army is beat to hell. You're definitely going to just karate chop here. I'm in your territory, dog. You got the home field. I got to I gotta renegotiate these terms. You dug too greedily. I did. I delved really deeply. Oh, all right. That's dangerous against Slanesh. It is. It really is, dude. Uh-huh. So let's get you over here. Do a little bit of this. All right, we can heal. You got yeah. some some regen going on. This map has like traps and things like that. It's got like all these uh, these like little like mushrooms that you can like set off if you're not careful. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if I had gotten a uh, a tech, 
uh, spell, I could do, take advantage of this by turning the flowers into enemies that I control. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, you got a sauced army over there, dude. <laughs> I didn't see very flashy. Yeah, so, yeah. You don't want to go too nature. Another thing I love about this game is how you... You never, you don't feel bad role playing. No, it's fun. It's super fun. Yeah, you, you like commit to your uh, play style. The worst build I ever had was probably the leadership build with the dark. The one I did with the Witch King, it was so terrible. Like I just, I gotta, I gotta, yeah. I gotta try out some darkness. See, see uh, if we can make it work. Cause... I think the best, most success I've had with it is spamming tier one units. So I was like mass um, archers with a million ranged upgrades, like extra range, ice, fire sh shots, and it was just like, and call the weak. So you do twenty percent more damage against weakened targets. So it was just like this huge sniping build. That was. Um... I'm just turning on the heater. Well, I mean, this the campaign could become a two session one if you're down to. Uh, let's see if Sirtha can escape me. Oh, he for sure he will. Can... He for sure will. Uh, yeah. See. Yeah, he'll 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 be able to make some distance. Um, I don't know why pillaging is instinctively evil. Yeah, yeah, it's just you know, fantasy tropes and all that. What do you got over there? You got your your lord. You got your big wolf. You have uh, an archer character. What was the value on these two armies? Because I I didn't get to see it. Uh, I don't remember. Yours has got to be better. It was. Yeah, it's got to be. Got to be. It's a actually little... a safe auto resolve, but I figure since we're playing it, you know. Yeah, it's more fun. Auto could have killed a lot of your stuff that might not otherwise die too. That too. Yeah. It is the spirit wolf. Okay. Save one turn before you finish the campaign, and then end it. Load, save, and repeat, and you'll keep getting Pantheon experience. That's a good. That's a good tip. It's definitely a good tip right there. How hard does that wolf hit? It's pretty hard. The life taker. Hmm. Lauren's got her bow. Got the big spirit wolf on the way up. Sunders, of course, hit pretty hard. Got your skilled in the back. Doggos on the flanks. I just gotta buy time while my heels go off. <laughs> while they regenerate. Oh, you're gonna kite me? No, I mean, I'm at the edge of the map, so. I, I just like, I have nowhere to go. This is basically it. Okay. The Hound Master. Skeld is back there. Got yield nymphs looking to get some of that sweet mind control action, which will probably be pretty good. Uh oh, what's that? Regen. Oh, oh, that's a skeld. Okay, preemptively doing that. I don't even know what haste does. I hope it makes me faster. Yeah, I assume it gives you extra movement. Uh, no idea. Oh, I have some Sunders too. I have some Sunder rats. Yeah, that's neat. We get there. Yeah, Art, that's that's a good pro tip for unlocking all those cool traits for sure. Is there a way to individually retreat units? Yeah, there is a retreat thing. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Um, yeah. I think it's you just... In uh, Planetfall, it was you get to a specific uh, point in the map and then you could retreat the units from the encounter. Hmm. But I don't know how that will work here. Okay, who do you make insane? The dogs. Oh my god, your your warhounds just literally take no damage from me. Okay, so this oh, is... They're in, uh, they might be in foliage. They, they, can, uh, um, they have cover. Ah, they, they, they await in the shadows, huh? Alright, so... Got dogs coming here. We have his lord chilling nearby. You can ignore my lord. Target sustains. Okay. Killing unit causes explode. Flame burst weapons. Misfortune. So. Uh, the thing is, you're so. I think you're so far ahead of me in terms of tech and economy. Like, if I lose once, I think I'm out. You can rebuild. Oh, I can. I already have a full stack of the base for sure. Um. 
Yeah, no, I don't mind rebuilding. It's the risk I take of coming into your lands, you know, it's like it forces me to overextend, so this is the this is the, the punishment that I take. Okay. Just kill what units we can. Oh, you have fire on your arrows now too. Is that a different I, it might just be something else. Hmm. Okay, throw some javelins. Hey, it hit. Look at that. Curious how good the, uh, what's it called, is going to be. The uh, insanity over there. I hope it does nothing. I mean, it, it, it very well could do nothing. <laughs> Come on, insanity. Very well could. It's my hero, who I forgot all about. She's still going. The Houndmaster with a couple shots here could rip it. 5% um, to hit you. Decent there. Graze on five. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll take it. Take okay, a couple of you guys chilling in the back. Let's see what the wolf does. Ah! <laughs> Killed my dog again. Yeah, well, that's a good target because at least yeah, it, that just, is it just, good for me. yeah, it just, you know, went after a pretty insignificant unit. So, yeah. Oh no! What did you just kill? Even the imps? Oh, they tell uh, no. they teleport. Yeah, they teleport. <laughs> that's pretty funny, dude. The demon, I, and the cool part is if we do make this into a longer thing, we get um the higher level tomes eventually. Yeah. I'm pretty close uh, to my fourth. I do not like my chances if we take this longer, but yeah. I'm pretty close to the tier four one myself. Yeah, I'm pretty close to it. Aha, uh -huh, Furies. Yeah, race, it's all enchantments. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, how are we looking here? Javelin's chilling. How many cities do you have? You have two? Uh, two and two vassals. Yeah, it's about the same as me. I have a vassal underground, one on the earth. Oh, the elemental summons here, guys. It's serious business. The wolves had to show the dog who the real alpha is, I know. Is there a way to, like, look at status effects on units? Let's see. I think you just hover over them for long enough. Yeah, I'm, like, trying to... Because I can see the debuffs... But it doesn't like tell me what they do or how long it lasts. Let me just like hover over this and see. Yeah, doesn't quite say. Hmm. Warriors. All right, are you ready for this? Yeah. What do you got? Is this the vines? Okay, that did a little damage. Kind of underwhelming, actually. What was that? Uh, big AOE. I was expecting some huge damage. Well, yeah. then I'll do this. Okay, that was that was nice. Are they frozen? Slowed, I think. Slowed, yeah, it looks like they're slowed. Yeah. Koji's making a mole empire. Click into the unit's uh, info panel. Okay. Okay, there, there you go. So you can see it here. Okay, thank you. So you can see the duration it lasts, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, all that sort of good stuff. Nice. Hmm, mind controlled. You mind controlled my corrupt souls, eh? Well, they did a little bit of damage. I guess I'll just have to kill them, sadly. So Houndmasters only get one shot, whereas the archers get more. Okay. That's good to know. Where's all your witchcraft? The dragons will come in this campaign. They will. Yeah, I'll have I'll have one in a couple turns. So it won't be with my main army, but it'll it'll be somewhere nearby. Okay, a little immolate. A blaze of the horde. Oh, how many spells did you cast? Two or three this time? I guess there are abilities on your heroes. That's right. So yeah, my heroes are casters as much as uh, the rest. Yeah, it's rad. 
You got some cool stuff, dude. You got some cool stuff. I don't even have a lot of tier one units here. It's a buff. You did end up going with the Skaven tactics. That's true. Spawnkin. Yeah. Ah, oh, it missed. The trees have served me well. So what are those houndmasters back there? You got some nymphs. Some shamans coming from the north. Ouch. It removed my regen. Oh, that's cool. Some nastiness there. Hey, Drew's in the trees. Yeah, I, I'm excited to use some of the, like... I've never really had games go long enough to uh, use a lot of the bigger tomes. I mean, I, I played a couple on my own where it's been decent, but... Um, all right, so what do we want to do here? So Fury of the Horde would buff a handful of units. It's not even that good, though. So maybe just a Rock Blast is going to be more prudent here. I almost want to just finish these raids off, too. So what do we got? We got a War Shaman. Worth. What was that? The wraiths are more trouble than they're worth, huh? Yeah, well, being mind control is just like, you know, they're just kind of dead weight there. Okay, what do we got? The dogs are here to be let out. Okay, so unfortunately he's going to have to run over this thing. Yes. Okay, let's drop a little bit of this, maybe. I'll we'll finish the job. And we got all this obstruction in the trees and shit. And even still, yeah, you have the 30% chance, less chance to hit, right? With most of your, uh, those type of units. Yeah, ranged is uh, harder to make work in this uh, environment. Yeah. All right, well, I guess you won't be able to mind control for a couple turns, hopefully. Move you down here. Let's get you down here, lady. At least we killed something. Um, and bonk the dog. Well, those doggos, they certainly hit hard. A little bit of misfortune, and uh, yeah, did we go for the Wraith? I mean, we have nothing else to shoot. Might as well try and take that offline here. Hey, look at that. The fire damage is starting uh, to burn the forest. Yeah, it does. It like uh, it affects the battlefield a little bit, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. Warding. Yeah, feels bad shooting that thing, but it's better than you attacking me with it. Yeah. I like how I get morale for that. It's like... You killed your own unit. Congratulations. Yeah, it was a creepy unit. They don't feel bad. Yeah, no, it was definitely pretty creepy. All right, let's go defensive. Yeah, YouTube's pretty bad with notifications in general, um, with giving out like stream notifications. Okay, regen going down, not bad. This army's definitely not big enough to build, defeat his, but we can we can take some things with us, hopefully. I think we got one one or two units so far. I say we damage. Yeah, I thought that was one of your spells, but it's from your hero, right? No, that was that yeah. was that was not one of your heroes, was it? Maybe it was. No, that was a spell. Yeah, was a, that was an actual spell. Yeah. Yeah, they said there are isn't there some information on the DLCs already for this game as well? There is. They've confirmed dragon people are coming up first. That's pretty cool. That'll be really fun. Oh, what's this? Over channel. It's the uh, wizard gets to cast twice. Yeah, for uh, yeah, you get your spells twice. Yeah. I almost feel like the insanity thing might not have been worth it. Probably if you have like a lot of extra mana, it could be. Why did did your guy fumble there? Why is he fumbling so much? Why is he debuffed? I don't know. Oh, he got, you have a Misfortune placed on him. Oh, yeah, that's right. My guys, when they hit you, they do Misfortune. It's like one of the, the techs I have. <laughs> oh, Doyle rules. 
No, no. Beast has fallen. The rest of the army moves in from the north side. I turtle in the corner, preparing to try and cast heals. My army's beleaguered from raiding, raiding his vassal's lands. Oh, that, that did some damage, right? Yeah, killed one. What was that? Wait, what ability was that? Uh, Pyromancy. Or from my Blaze of the Horde. Horde. Yeah, Blaze of the Horde, yeah. Blaze of the Horde's definitely a good one. Uh, so I'm playing a Barbarian Civ. We're both playing Barbarian Civ, so his is a little bit different. Mine's more... Um, I have like a melee-focused character. He has a caster, so it's it's pretty fun. Little nuances between the two factions. All right, a little regeneration. Nice, nice. Yeah, the water elementals are so cool. Is that, that's a lightning one, right? Yeah, it's lightning elemental. Ooh, the Sunder is just hiding in the trees. Okay, so he's got the wolf. I don't really have any tricks. Got to get my Lord Bonk in here. Another miss, nice. These are hound masters, right? Yeah. Your damage dealers are all casters? Oh, yeah. A mind control build for sure, O'Doyle, could be strong. I've, uh, like, you, you would go with Nymphs, and uh, I, I don't know what else has... I know there's some spells, like, a seduction trait you can get, where you can get the mind control. Yeah, there's there's definitely some neat stuff. Yeah, he has a whole second hero here, too. I don't even know what this thing does. Yeah, Elemental Summon. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. This poor hero, I never got the chance to level past level 5 before being dragged into a bad fight. I tried your first take, take on Chaos Dwarves? Yeah. There's definitely some fun stuff you could do with that. Ah, oh, it's my turn, eh? Let's see what... Can we do some Lord Cheesing? That would be pretty funny. Alright, that's not a bad idea. So the wolf unit is definitely a decent quality one. We have the dreaded, like, low chance to hit anything with our archers. Yeah, this forest, I did not think the uh, ranged penalties would be as severe as they are. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's definitely pretty good. I have a, I have a fair amount of range units. I mean, the army's pretty balanced in, in that. Yeah, we both have uh, kind of a mix. Yeah, indeed. All right, so let's move up here. Um, you're definitely going to die there. Oh, that's disappointing. The one shot. So just hit. Hey, we hit something else, and I'll take it. I'll take the scraps. Hmm. Put some misfortune on them too. That's a pretty good buff. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. All right, so let's go get you up here. Just gotta soften it up. You're gonna drop a rock on it. <laughs> Whoa! Drop a hammer. My other character. That's impressive. Yeah, it's not bad. That's that's just my side my side hero. She's she's uh she's got some stuff, I guess, but. Um. Okay, so that's a decent tiered unit. Let's go here and attack this. Go forth, my rat sunders. What do I still have? My war shaman rat. Let's see. Let's go here. Use warding. Uh, magic is always really strong in these games, but so far I think that it depends. Like buff, buff magic uh, on like uh, your infantry units is just as good as the. Uh, oh yeah. You know, uh, AOE uh, casters. Hundred percent, dude. There's there's a lot of a lot of great stuff you could do. It's very fun. Uh, there's like so many possibilities with all these tomes. Do you, and do you guys think they'll be adding for any of you guys in chat? Do you think they'll be adding more tomes eventually, and like uh, more of those different kind of schools? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so she's she's ready to party. Let's see what Hadrius has got. He's probably got some magic left. Okay, so he pops those guys down. 
That's some good bow fire on that character. That was solid. Must be some sort of like a relic bow, huh? Yeah, it's a pretty good bow. Surprised my morale isn't bad. I don't I don't really have a whole lot. Yeah, we're playing PvP. Mm -hmm. We have been for the past uh, several hours. Okay, morale is low. <laughs> Sir, the, we basically sacrificed this army to let Sirthak escape. Oh, she's distracted. Yeah, the seduce is harder to do on characters. I think it's like, what, like, what were your chances there, 20%? 30. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, in getting somebody's character would just be, like, brutal, right? Especially, like, Yeah, exactly. A, apparently, uh, a combat, yeah, character, a combat character. Um, yeah, so they're going to be adding new tomes. We'll be getting a new ruler with the dragon expansion, too. That's, that's really fun. That's going to be so fun. Okay, well, how's it going over here? Warhounds hanging in there. What a trooper. Tar pitting all those uh, range units. Uh-huh. Might be able to bonk a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to be trying on Thursday when we do a stream. I'll be trying a paladin base build in PvP. It'll be uh, myself and Pwn. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Like a vassal kind of spam. That sort of thing. Okay, we killed a couple of things. Not too many. Handful of units. Uh-oh. The big bonks. Oh, look at that. Hammer time. <laughs> Your minions do quite a bit of damage. And you have another archer character back there too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you could... I'm just going to put it on auto combat now. You probably do the same thing. I don't, I don't have too many, too much to do. I think we could just fast forward through this. Good night, sweet princess. We've delved too greedily and too deeply in his lands. Nature has rose up against us. You're about to see my yeah. my war breed characters coming out, dude. Are you ready for those? I'm not ready for those. Uh, oh, re oh my god, is it gonna make us fast? We can fast. It'll fast forward through it pretty quickly, hopefully. Okay, let's let's hope. Because yeah, I just set it on auto too. Yeah, maybe that's what triggered it. Ah, it just seems kind of random to be honest. It's, yeah. it's it's weird. Okay, so fast forward. Oh wait, did it just reload us right where we were? Kind of looks like it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, my units are doing the autopilot. Look at the the big damage, dude. Okay, so now it's your turn. You got it on auto autopilot too, right? Yeah. Okay. Get some heals. I would imagine the archers are going to get nuked here. Okay. Seems it likes to do a lot of buffs there. Okay. I feel like they could have just killed them. It seems like the AI prioritized getting regen buffs up. Which is smart, for sure. Yeah. Yes, minions. Oh, we killed stuff from your other army, huh? Okay. <laughs> You're probably just like one movement away, aren't you? <laughs> uh, here's the thing. You can kind of reach it. With that army, you can? Oh, okay. Just no, not, not with this army, but do you know who I can? Who? Shh. Shelob? <laughs> Shelob. Shelob waits in the trees. Uh, do you want to... I could just auto this. Yeah, we Probably. could just... We could uh, just... Well, let's see. We can have a fight. It'll be fun to... Because we haven't seen Sirtha fighting. It's going to be bad, but... Yeah, okay. Let's see what Sirtha can do. Yeah, the war breeds are coming. Sirtha will be back in a couple turns after he gets wrecked here. Don't worry. Okay. Let's, uh, and let's... I don't get, and I don't get any of your gear for killing you, do I? No, you'll get the gear from my side character though, just not Sirtha. Yeah, I guess it'd be kind of troll if you could steal gear from. Uh... Yeah, from the emperors. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll see that, and then cast a little bit of this. Uh, is there anyone that could use healing? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, and pass. So glad I had Shelob in reserve. She she loved. She was the hunter in the night. Those storm scale serpents look really strong. Oh yeah, I've been producing them. I got one of those uh, generals that lets you recruit random animals in your uh... random beasts and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it has lightning, poison, and strike damage. Yeah, it's a tier two unit. Yeah, I've seen them. There, you can get them from uh, one of the sacred sites or whatever. 
Yeah, one of the uh, relic sites. That's what it was. Oh, it's just, I didn't pass turn yet, did I? Okay, I'm a potato. Um, okay, pass turn. Mm, did we do it? Yeah, we did. Okay. I think I forgot to put him in defense mode, but it's fine. Yeah, no, no dragon would stop this, that's for sure. It would not be good enough. Here's Sheila, the Hunter Matriarch Spider, just a wild tier 4 unit. Well, you know where I'm at. You just move, rapidly click everything down my direction. They come in the night. Oh, I actually have a little bit of extra magic in this army. That's cool. Dude, what if Sirthak just carries this and just kills everything? Oh god, Shellab's coming, guys! <laughs> this death by Snoo Snoo from the Warbreed. I love it. Hmm, let's see here. Here they come. He's got the Hounds of War on the bottom. Big snake. Extra big angry snake. Look how tiny my berserkers are. I know, it's like, I, I think they're like shitty chaff units when I look at them and I'm like, oh wait, those are actually his like endgame units. The old Skjald on the way down. What's the range on this? The Skjald buff, it's so good! Look at the Warhounds. The Warhounds are the best boys, dude. The, the archer guys themselves don't do that much damage compared to regular archers, though, the huntsman guys. I think that's kind of the compromise. Yeah, because they come with a really good unit. Yeah, they got like a one one crossbow shot. Alright. Got some random warriors up top. We don't really have much besides our heroes and uh, the hound master is lurking. Alright, let's see what we can do. We can definitely... I, expect, I expect Sirtha to go down swinging. He will. Definitely. Oh, I don't have enough mana on the map? Holy shit, really? Since when did I run out of mana? Have you been summoning things no. extremely aggressively? No, I haven't. That's the weird part. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Hmm. All right, it is what it is. Um, is. Let's get you. Sirtha can go and definitely do some work here or here. Taking a little bit more time to enjoy the heals also isn't a terrible idea. I was really, I'm really surprised how uh, well the tier one units like hang in there. Oh, they can scale well. They're not even the stats Wonders? aren't even that much worse. That was not the case. I remember in uh, Age of Wonders three and a little bit. It was a little bit better in Planetfall, but in Age of Wonders three, the tier one units, they you could barely use them at the start of the game. Honestly. Really? They're okay. So it was, they would definitely not it, it scale as well. It was tech up or don't even bother. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe the dwarves. Now the dwarf tier one units were stocky, but they couldn't really kill anything. Hmm. Do I want to bonk anything? Phase and bonk. I got a little bit of bonking action, but I don't know if it's worth. I'm so low on mana, actually. Dog, don't, don't bonk my dog. No, <laughs> I couldn't even reach him. He was like too far in the trees. Yeah, the insane. I thought I had like five or six hundred mana, but I guess I didn't have as much. He's just charging with the big fiends. The dogs of war cometh. They need to close the distance. I'm just like buying time for my heals. At least Earth is full health now. What does this thing do? The rock lobster. Okay. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh my god, there's so many units coming. Oh, they're definitely going to be adding some Tomb of Tier 3 and above. Also, there's Society Traits available through Meta Progression that... Yeah, yeah. I've seen a couple of those, Matthias. I've seen some, for sure. I've seen some of those indeed. Okay, Spirit Wolves are coming. Sirtha with 11 Magic Resist. Pretty fat. Oh, man. The Javelins are coming for me. 
Not bad damage. Adrius has got those sweet weapon enchantments. What are these in the trees? Those are your own warhounds. You got your berserkers. <laughs> You're just gonna put on the auto. <laughs> just watch that. That would be if I put on the auto. That's really. You would lose a lot more, but you'd still win, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would. It would. Putting it, on the auto would be pretty noob. <laughs> oh no! Don't do that. Oh no! My dog goes. So did the dog? There. My dog kill your dog. Does the dog count towards morale losses? No, it doesn't. Okay, so summon units dying doesn't count towards morale, which is kind of cool. It's nice about it, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely good. I hear all your serpents roaring and shit. Age of Wonders had one had a scary unit, losing a warlord to a nymph or lady. This king oh okay, so in auto resolves you could you could get sniped is what you're saying. Yeah. As if they needed more regeneration. These guys are just all the goodies going. Okay, it looks like it does stack too. Yeah. I think he moved everyone up in the north. Let's see what else he's got here to move. Somebody in chat says, My favorite thing to do in Age of Wonders 3 is make my ruler com completely immune to damage. Takes a bit of time, but if it's possible. That's pretty fun. Oh my god, you dropping some foul magic on me? You don't have your main lord in this army, do you? Just like your supporting king? No, so I can't double cast and do... Yeah. Like, the Wizard King, at first, you think like the the stuff it gets isn't that good. No, it but, seems good. Oh, the Wizard King seems, yeah. Seems very good, yeah. Definitely seems good. Oh no, the Berserkers. Bonking my poor uh, corrupt soul. I'm excited to try a Paladin army in this game, too. I'm definitely excited. Okay, perfect. Hey, hey. Corrupt souls are down for the count. Are these spiders to summon? The hatchlings? Uh, no, they were... I got this random thing where if I expand on a territory in mm -hmm. my cities, I get a random thing. Okay, that's cool. Just, it can be anything, like, uh... Yeah, it's one of your traits. It's, it's nice. It's very nice. He's coming for it. Oh, no, War Shaman. Oh, the serpents are so cool. Yeah. Okay, he's pushing. Yeah, the cavalry are really cool with the feudal. I, I got the chance to play them when I was just messing around against the AI. Oh man, the battle's really coming to old Sertha down here, isn't it? Alright, spider's almost there. Oh, look at that leap! <laughs> Some scary stuff, man. Leaping spiders. So I'm, I'm afraid of it. How much damage does this guy do? 32, and then the spider does... 25 plus poison, which is pretty good. Yeah, blight damage is pretty strong, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Some, some like, against, like, Undead, I think it doesn't do anything. There's, like, some factions that just don't care about it. Getting the fat heals in the back as well. The prophesized turn is upon us. Now Sirtha will smash. We'll try to. I mean, he might kill, like, a spider or something, you know? It's not going to be, like, amazing. Uh-huh. So let's soften this guy up. See what we can control here, perhaps. So that's a pretty low chance. Pretty decent chance. Oh, since I had fortune on, you don't give me misfortune. You just remove a stack of fortune. It all bounces out, huh? Yeah, the buff, buff game is good. Oh, damn. This lady hits hard. Okay, so we should probably just try this then. Okay, so you did your part. Quake will do that. Why can we not do this? Can't use the ability for one turn. Okay, so that will do some respectable damage for sure. Oh, dude, those elementals are so good for like a, a tier whatever unit, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Definitely seems really strong. Um, We could do this if we want to. Sertha can't quite bonk that thing. So can we... you not teleport without mana? Oh, he can teleport. Yeah, he can. 
Doesn't quite get the kill though. All right, so lady, you will finish this thing. And then we can pull you back. Although the other serpent is still wow, going to- she does do a lot of damage. Yeah, she's got oh, a good- does she, have that, does she have that tier three uh, orb? Yeah, she has the orb of doom, which you're going to inherit, I'm sure. It's a really good orb. Oh man, that would be really nice on my lord. Yeah, see, it's all coming together for you, man. Um, How do we want to do this? If I can find a way to fight your war breeds with tier one units, you you will you will. You're not you you act like you're behind economically, but you're, I don't think you really oh, are. I, I, no, I think I am. Not by much. I every time I I'm clearing some some tree lines there. Okay. Now the hordes of hell descend on us. Late night stream. Yeah, we're we're approaching the end. We'll we'll fight this. Then it'd probably, we probably have to finish We might on. have to pick this up another time. Yeah, yeah. so next time Hadrius and I have some time, we'll, we'll continue and we'll get a longer one. It'll be good. We'll get some endgame units and I have a, my Haggard raiding party going after his uh, his vassal right now. I got to wear down his vassals. Got to gotta, gotta try and do that. Because diving into his lands is risky. You can see how that ended up. It's just like you get surrounded and there's just so many reinforcements coming in. You got to really make sure you can finish him when you do that. Hmm. Garak the Sorcerer. We got the Warhounds there. It's 8 in the morning? Yeah, I suppose it's all subjective. Depends on where you are. Dude, you have so much stuff. Holy shit, your army's big. Sirtha's leadership's holding firm, though. He's pretty heavily debuffed at the moment. Yeah, he's got a lot of debuffs on him. Let's see. Yeah, he's got a handful. Okay, big wolfo coming in. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you could probably just auto. I don't know if there's much I can do. Other than maybe kill, like, a spider hatchling in the corner. <laughs> That's going to be it. You got so much stuff. Oh, no, my sorceress lady. She was she, she had a good run. She at least killed the serpent. Now it is mighty yeah. Sirtha. It says you have first strike. If I try to attack you, he's just gonna kill it. No. Uh... Yeah. So you just want to throw a crappy unit in to do that, like your spider hatchlings, for example, <laughs> and then swarm with everything else, right? Well, I want everything else to close the distance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just just pass, yeah. Or just shoot him with things. I mean, he's he's. Yeah, that's that's how you deal with, that's how you deal with a raging barbarian. Uh, <laughs> That's going to kill you if you get too close. Haven't you seen Gladiator? You know? Although the big boar barbarian chieftain in that movie gets killed with a bunch of spears, remember? He's like on the tree stump waving his axe and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, that scene was so epic. Oh my god. You know they're doing a sequel to that. It's like coming out in the next few years. Is like a sequel sequel or one of those... No, it's, it's legit a sequel. Thing. I think it's a sequel. Like straight up. Yeah, which is nuts. All right. Oh, Sirtha rampaging? Okay, he just like randomly attacked that spider. Okay, well. Yeah, you set him on. Whoa. I just bouldered it, you know. To get rid of it, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Oh, he just. You see him just bonk that thing when it came in? That was. Amazing. Oh, that was badass. What a way to go. <sighs> just kill the units. Okay, he. that's a true barbarian's way out. Death by yeah. Death by snooze too. Is that somebody said? That's so funny. All right, what do we got? So we've got the raiding party. Sirtha took some guys with him. He he did, certainly did better than the other armies did. Oh man, we have we definitely have good income. So he'll be back in two turns, and he'll be with his new army. Um, That's a nice thing about losing armies. Suddenly your income <laughs> skyrockets. It's the upside, yeah, certainly. Okay, so what do we got here? This is a pretty respectable little army. Which Shirtha can take. So he's already got a new army waiting for him. <laughs> what do we produce here? Let's cancel this. And then we can just make you guys. And you guys. And uh, that should be enough. All right, so remains. Oh, okay. Shirtha Ek in the Void. Always a good time. Let's see what heroes we got. 
It's crazy. There's just like some higher level heroes who are just straight up like better than uh, than the yeah. than the ones I had. You know, like oh, that's a that's great. I keep thinking it's because it's the AI. You know, they're making them right. Yeah, yeah. So they're uh, they've got good builds. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, did I just accidentally sell my other sorcerer? Oh, let's see. I don't think I did. I think that was my uh, my other lady, which is she wasn't terribly upgraded. So, all right. I finally got a level on from five. You did. You're you're in the the big yeah. leagues now, huh? Recruit. Oh, we have like a like a barbarian archer character, which is kind of cool. But yes, I have your corruption orb. You do. Yeah, it looks so cool on my character. It it is. Against heroes? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So maybe we take you just because you're level 7, which is nuts, and you actually have a good item already. Uh, experience leader. All right, so we have a dreaded halfling leader now. Warbreeds will be out in a couple turns. Man is low as hell. Okay. So mob camp. I'd say mana is probably the only thing I have you beat on. Oh, dude, my mana is in the pits of hell. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what even happened to it. Maybe maybe there was like a mana drain or something. <laughs> what sorcery is... Oh, there's like a giant squid army out at the sea. Dude, that infestation is growing fat, too. It's like growing up behind your vassal's base. Yeah, they keep sending a, like a raiding party in there, but that's fine. Yeah, you'd be fine. Ain't no thing. I mean, uh, you want to call a truce? <laughs> <laughs> truce? Oh, no, we keep fighting. I mean, we'll keep fighting, of course. There's nothing else to do, you know? Yeah. No, no, so we can. I we actually got uh, some things I can do from the Rally of Lieges. Yes, dude. Let's just call them out. Let's the rallies begin. Morning, Ward. How you doing? We're having a nice little war of attrition. Certainly took a bit of damage there trying to retreat through his lands. <laughs> but you know, we keep it keep it moving and a grooving. I love I love the Shelob intercept. Shelob, I think I you might have caught me either way. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, well, that's pretty good. Reign of destruction. Yeah, I think we gotta save up for that. Jeez. Okay, what does this do? And then resurgence. Revived units are brought back with fifty percent. When a unit dies in combat, is revived at the end of combat if its owner is victorious. And then we get a wolf, right? And a resurgence at your throne city. Spirit wolf with guardian spirit. Huh, that's kind of nice. I think we got to save up for the big stuff, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm done when you are. Uh, governor set. The night fort. Let's get you in there. Some creepy halfling with a mask. Okay. So you got the mace. Let's give you a crown. And uh, chest plate of vitality for sure. Outstanding. That's a pretty damn good character. A level 7? It's like, damn. Almost almost a, a favor being done, getting rid of the other crappy one. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, my income is uh, 178. Granted, well, you, I didn't lose. Yeah, anything. you have your armies and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to have oh. more right now. But yeah, I won't soon when I am start to... Recruit. Which uh, I'm hurriedly recruiting in case you counterattack. But uh, yeah, we could do another like three or four turns and then we can uh we can Yeah, we can we can posture up and I'll reclaim my vassal and we'll see. You don't have your vassal? Is that town still like in shambles? Well relic uh well we're only one turn out, but next turn it'll become my vassal again. Mm, okay. I was kind of hoping I there would be a liberate function. Where it would just go back to normal, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Trixie, Trixie. All right, I went ready. Sounds good. Yeah, they're back. Yeah, I see them uh, back properly. Oh God, and she's look at her army she spawned with. God, that's such a good quality what army. <laughs> see, you lamented having your vassal there, but now I'm now you're probably happy about it. You're just like. Oh no! I was happy that it was the vassal taking the brunt of your. Yeah, initial. I was like, I thought for in my head, I was like, "That's his city. I got to kill it." I mean, it <laughs> technically is your city in a way, but you know, 
Okay, let's recruit that to the throne city. Looks good. Um, what do we want to do here? Armory boosted, sure. That sounds good. We will just chill out here. Our vassals will do nothing as usual. I guess vassals are only good for... Whoa, you weren't kidding. I just saw she spawned in with five berserkers and a level seven. Yeah, well, that's what I that's what I killed. And when I fought her with an auto resolve, it, it killed a lot of my army. And then I had to run. Yeah, it was, it was, it was not good. It was not good. It's probably for the best that the uh, vassals aren't hyper aggressive because if they were, yeah, it would it would probably be a little dangerous and unbalanced. I think there's some ways to make them more aggressive. Like I think there's like a modifier for free cities where they're like way more hostile and everything. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so Eck returns. Let's uh, hurry the recruitment on this. Somehow, Sirthak has returned. He's Palpatine, again. dude. He he died to the decaying spire earlier, and now he's now he's finding other ways to spend his time. Hmm. What else do we have on the map that we could possibly go for? Oh, I think there's actually. Yeah, we already have this. What's your knowledge per turn? Out of curiosity. Oh, it's really bad. Yeah, it's like ninety-two. That's not terrible, but yeah, it's certainly lower. I didn't get to raid, like I've only raided one wonder this game because none of them spawned near me. Like what I should do, I should probably go for the father oak right now instead of like just go. go you could, Ronnie. you could. Yeah, I need to do a little that. Cause you know, it's actually kind of nice if uh, when you push in, I have uh it's the uh, Soviet strategy of having my satellite states. Uh, yeah, use dude. The of the force. I know it's like it's a pain in the butt. I gotta, I gotta deal with them. Yeah, they're they're quite troll indeed. Okay, so what do we got? Looks okay. It's all coming together. Hopefully, we'll get the dreaded war breed soon. Uh, is there anything to do up here? I mean, there's a couple little fisheries. You want to do a little bit of trading, buddy? It's actually not a bad trade. And uh, do I have the other vassal underground to see my vassal yet? He's getting close. Oh, we forgot about the paladin lady. She's still in this game. No, she's not. Not in. <laughs> I mean, if she just if she randomly decides to attack you from below instead of me, that'd be great. But. She's she's not a participant. And <laughs> She'll be back, dude. You laugh at her. She'll emerge from the pits. You know what? You're right, because we're letting the AI just do whatever it wants in the underground. <laughs> it's festering. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Nurgle could, plague. Could be dangerous. Except, you know, paladin, so a holy Yeah, a holy plague. Yeah. Yeah, your your little NPC army lady is just jacked. The good thing is she keeps giving me gear. Probably if I kill her just repeatedly, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a farm. Hey, late night check in, but hope you're having, yeah, we're having a great time. This game's a lot of fun. This game is really good. Yeah. I'm excited for some Total War tomorrow too, though. A good solid Total War tournament. I'm going to, as soon as uh, I jump off here, I'm going to probably set it up. And uh, what's your favorite, what format have you been enjoying? Do you like, do you like single factions or do you like the pick four we've been doing where you like play four different uh... ones? Well, single factions are nice because they're like simple. You don't need to think too much about you know picks and whatnot. But what I've really been liking is the uh, pick uh, three matrix style. Mm -hmm. It feels like uh, it, they actually posted a thing, a little guide on the site about. Yeah, that. we put so it up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So that style has been uh, pretty good because it just feels like you're not. Uh, no matter how it goes, you're not. Um, you don't feel like you're being railroaded into a matchup that you didn't agree to. Yeah, which makes sense. And that it works both ways. It's uh, both players end up feeling that way. So okay, yeah, I really like the pick three matrix style. All right, it's good to know. It's good to know. Yeah, I haven't tried that hosting that one yet, so maybe it'll be something I'll have to add to the old repertoire. Um, I'm past. Sir, that comes next turn. He'll be back. He will be back in greater numbers. More Sirtha X. 
Yeah, he's he's had a few a few run-ins with death in this this old uh, this old campaign here. But the chaos gods won't let him go. Yeah, he just keeps coming back. He should just pledge allegiance to Slanesh. I know. Here he goes. Hey, what is this? Sirthak gains one population. Instantly finishes that. It's pretty nice. You gain a war shaman of the Varg tribe. The ooh, a student of the lore is pretty fun. Yeah, let's let's take that and then use it to research some cool stuff. Devastator spheres. Oh, that's cool. That sounds pleasant. It's gonna be awesome, dude. <laughs> Let me show you my devastator spheres. Well, now it's time for the real cool stuff. The war breeds. So I finally got the unit I've been like building towards. Oh yeah. Look at these guys. They're tier a tier four shock unit. Oh. Ho, ho. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Devastator spear. Okay. That sounds like such a Skaven weapon. It does. Devastator it's... spear. It does really sound like a Skaven weapon. Um. All right. Let's grab you. Sirtha's going to go over here. Have a little bit of fun. Well, you grab your units. Hmm, new development. And I think we're just saving up for the old big chaos finale stuff. Sirtha <laughs> just keeps charging into the enemy uh, enemy lines and just getting the business. Yeah, it's his favorite thing to do. He definitely loves it. Okay. Um, pavilion, what does that give us? Golden income, it allows us to expand. That is really expensive though. Two mana per turn. Wizard's Tower here gives us more Imperium. Buildings up here. You can get a Blacksmith here. Probably not a bad idea. Ancestral Seer Hall is really good, though. We definitely want to do that. And uh, nothing we can really afford here. I guess we could get a Central Quarry. Um, Golem Mine, Mine, and a Hut. Let's just replace the Hut. Is that infest infestation still going in the, the bottom corner? Yeah, I haven't had time to clean it up yet. Yeah, it's been it's been causing some havoc, huh? All right, Sirtha. What do we got? Summon irregulars. All done here, man. All done here. I'm just recruiting more storm scale snakes, or at least adding them in the queue. Sounds good. Devastator Spheres. At the start of battle, I get two Siegecraft unit that can detonate only... Okay, so that just seems like it just happens all the time. I just get those, which is really cool. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one, man. This is going to be a, a good game. I'm excited to play this one through. Finally get some late game going. Hmm. Definitely not. I really want to get these guys... That's really good. This one is really, really good here. And then your throne. Your throne city loses one population, but immediately summons a Baylor with power from slaughter. Oh, that's so cool. Baylors are like your um your late game unit. Yeah, I've played around with them. Yeah, they're they're pretty rad. Okay, I can't do anything there, sadly. Oh, I am ready. The AI just like never replenished its stuff. Okay. Guess who's back? <laughs> Sirtha's back. He's returned. Uh, so that will increase it by six, which is going to help us. Mm -hmm. Do the academy. Let's keep ecoing up. I think that's how we get this game is we got to eco well. And we can do this up in the top corner. I think is not a bad idea. Outstanding. And then we can go to our under. Already underside. lurking with another bone dragon. I do have a bone dragon, yes. He's back. He has returned. Um, everybody's happy here. Mob camp. Horse of stakes. Eh, nothing's really worth it. Archer battlements. Nah, I don't need to do that. I'm just excited for the war breed units to come out. Those guys are gonna be fun. They're so cool. Mm -hmm. So cancel those. Let's get you guys in queue. 
It's going to take some turns. Uh, the final development of the nature tree is um, acquiring new population requires... It just lets you expand like super quickly. <clears throat> That's basically it. Yeah, nature seems... There's like different victory types and nature seems uh, good for... I mean, on the world map, it seems good for the expansion type victory, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like expansion victory, if you see... I don't know. I, my best odds, of like aside from domination, would be maybe either a score victory, which after 150 turns, it just calculates scores and whoever has the highest wins, um, or magic. I think you were, were like considering your research and how many wonders you've got. Yeah, so I'm currently rank yeah. one. I'm rank one on the score at the moment. Yeah, you'll get a tech victory, I think. Or magic. So there will come a point where, like, you know, I can decide to make Hadris come to my lands where I could have maybe an advantage um, instead of going deep into his, which is what I want to do. You know, Sirtha, Sirtha's not a, you know, he's an aggressive dude. You heard it here first, folks. Turn wants to go deep. Here we do. Ready when you are, boss. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've got research finished. The Bone Dragon. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Hadri's his dreaded army here with the nymphs and the... He's probably going to, like, mind control my bone dragon somehow. <laughs> Just, like, uh... Find a way. Yeah. do bone dragon. That would be really funny. Yes, the nymph look gives right, it a right, longing yeah. look. Oh, wait. Are we, uh, stuck? No. Nope. Okay, we just had to think. We're all good. All right, so... Okay, let's get you down there. Got the old war breeds on the way out. Research is coming along nicely. Um, Seafarer's Guild. Oh, that's cool. Wow, the Seafarer's Guild gives you like main stats for each fishery you have. That's really good. Okay, so that's going to finish in one turn regardless. Sarah will give us some of that. Um, do we want mana? The final tier is also an option. The Bone Zone Dragon is here. Yeah, but Hadrius is... I'm watching his border very carefully. Yeah, we already did that one. Reaper's hollow. I wish my vassal would move out of his base. Oh, he just sits there, just all smug. All right, Sirtha. Oh, dude. So check these guys out. This is a, a tier four unit. Man, that thing is badass. Oh, yeah, dude. So that's the war breed, the big man. Um, we could hurry construction here. I don't think it's worth it. Food expansion and is... And breeds look so... They're corn units. Yeah, they're so cool looking. Yeah, let's speed that one along. 120 health. How am I even going to kill that? Um, I mean, my golems have like 110, so it's not that big of a difference. Well, that's true. Mm, trying to the War God. Grants War God Spirit to every friendly unit. That's pretty cool. What does that actually do? Oh, 10 morale. Okay. It's kind of like a defensive buff building. So if I come to you and there's a siege, you get, uh, yeah, buffs. Yeah, seems pretty good. You have the border standoff until we can build up the armies we want. That's basically where we're at now, right? Yeah, I think, um, like two more turns of sure maintenance and we could probably... Sound, night. Sounds good, my dude. Okay, so he's coming along. Big man over here. Got the monolith. Oh, I can't wait to get another tomb. Okay, so this is at the start of the battle, gain six warhounds on the attacker side. What is this? A siege project. Okay. And then we got siege magic, which grants enchanted units, but it's only those guys. So let's see what else we can get. Yeah, nothing like terribly useful. We'll shuffle one more time. And yeah, just take the siege magic. It is what it is. Yeah, we're going on, man. We're we're like a lot of folks have, have asked me to go like into the late game here, so we're, that's what we're doing. A lot of these have just been short, so you're only seeing like low tier units. Uh, mob camp gives food and draft. That gives this. Not too useful there. All right, I'm going to try a risky battle against a horned god. It's okay. You you can have your character die just like mine did earlier. Yeah. Okay, only six units. So. Oh, it's 
two horned gods. Yeah, it's two horned gods. So, Hadrius is thinking about taking like a super hard fight right now. Is it the tree, the guardian tree, or the yeah tree? The, oh, the uh, oak. You know what? I'll roll it. Let's see what I can do. You only get your one squad though, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just a be, single squad. Just be aware if it dies. You know, Surth is nearby. <laughs> He's eagerly awaiting the outcome of this situation. <laughs> I'll take the risk. Hell yeah, dude. That's the, that's Mostly the... because I need to yeah, get some wonders and experience. Yeah, you need to... I think what level is your hero right now? I'm I'm eight on Sertha. Yeah, my hero is six. Yeah, so... so the the second hero is seven, so she's like growing faster. Yeah, she's she's pretty beast mode. Do we get to watch it? No. I j I auto to see if it would it just Okay. Hey. It, it works. Yeah, it's great. It just worked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the your characters probably carry a lot of weight. I would imagine so. You probably... Yeah, I got Shelob in there. Oh, you had Shelob. You're level four, huh? Shelob's yeah, that's the thing with uh, these um, uh, these fights. You just get all your best stuff into one blob. Yeah. You get your heroes and your you know tier four characters. You just failed a 90% affinity checks. That sucks, man. Sorry to hear that. Wizard's Tower level 2. So that's going to give us um, even more Imperium. How much Imperium are you getting? I'm getting 56. Yeah, I'm getting 52. We're about yeah, the so same on that, 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 just, that's the same, yeah. It's just the knowledge uh, game that I haven't been getting as many wonders in my land. So I haven't yeah. been able to take advantage. Makes sense. But now I got the Father Oak. How does Devastator Spheres work? Do I just get those? Or no, it's a siege project. Okay. Pretty sure it's a siege project. Yeah. Tactical. So these are during battle. These are active right now. Sirtha lurks on the borders. He waits. Does this game have the secret... Final until you can get a building every possible... Uh, does this game have the secret final unit you can get after building? I have no idea. I've never played this late. Like, I've ended all my games against AI by, like, turn 60, 50, just rushing them. Because I'm trying to get the Imperium points, but... Yeah. I got, uh, in my, like, one solo play game, I got really late into Demon Summoning. Hmm. So I just had a lot of Baylors, but... Um, That's awesome. I actually found a neat trick with uh, Demon Summoning where... Instead of sacrificing population, you just keep fusing demons until you get a Baylor. You can so do you that with one. undead too, with like skeletons and the bone golems yeah. and like all that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty rad. I see his berserkers rolling back into the lands. Dude, look at your your NPC guy just valiantly standing on the border there. It'll tell you when an NPC army like mobilizes against you too, though. It'll usually say like, "Oh, so and so's army is is coming for you." Fasten them seatbelts. Yeah, how many armies are you looking at? I'm pretty much stacked up again. Um, let me check here. Can't make it. I've got five on my count. Yeah, I have like two and a half, give or take. But I can. They're pretty good quality units. Like tier four stuff. I've got the horde. Yeah. Come on in if you want to attack. I literally have two armies at the moment, but you would be in my lands. Get a little bit scary. Oh, I got... Oh, I finally... I'm catching up on tomes, finally. Yeah, you're fine, dude. See? You weren't as behind as you thought. Mm. Packed a vassalage of Celestial Haven. Oh, yes. This is what I need. Oh man, we're gonna get beat there, aren't we? Let's see if we could get that. That would be nice. Okay, grabbing that. Uh, I don't think so, Jedi. I think it's a different person. I, I don't think he plays World of Warcraft. No, we haven't been able to find any chariots. That's the that's the real reason we're in danger. Sertha needs his his blessed chariots to to win. Okay, so big war daddy's coming over there. 
wonder what this lady's up to in the pits. Oh yeah, check the underground. See if she's making any moves. Yeah, she's she's not. She's just kind of... What is this thing? Huh, that's kind of a cool one. What is that to? Oh. That's a cool one. She's got some gear. I mean, she's definitely weak. Um, apparently she has a pretty good military. Actually has like some solid armies. So, you know, there's, there's that going for you. You see Hadri's gathering at the gates. Is this the final battle? Does he does he move or do we save it for another stream? Find out. Uh, I mean, I did the Father Oak, so I think we're. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think uh, we should maybe wrap it up. Sounds Is good. Is there though. anything you want to get done? Like no, you can get no. I'm just or... I'm just kind of attacking right now, building up some elite armies and. Waiting for the inevitable duel here. Um, once I get three good armies, I'd probably head south again. Um, so I'm pretty close to that. Sirtha will come with his Haggard Bone Dragon. Oh, we could probably recruit that too. Yeah, we don't have quite enough. Reinforce my vassal. So if we... So if you're good, are you good here? Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, just want to thank you guys for joining. I know it was a long stream. Uh, we're going to continue this. So this will technically be part one. And uh, it will definitely finish it on the next episode, though. Definitely. Um, part one. I'm just going to add that to the title before I forget. And uh, yeah, we'll finish it. So you'll see some endgame units. You're going to be seeing, like, uh, you know, the war breeds. And then I'll probably get a tier five tome relatively soon, also, which is pretty exciting. Um, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I've almost set the tier five tomes. I've had knowledge for a long time, so. Yeah, but Hadri's might attack, you know, come all in. I'm going to have to defend, which, you know, in my lands, it'll be easier than having to go get owned by his Shelob and his forest there, which was, which was not fun. I mean, there is a saving grace. Your uh, capital is pretty close to my borders. So. Yeah, you can get to, if you I, have, I need to get a lucky shot in to yeah. knock you out. Yeah, if you just if you just come in, so it'll be good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed I really it. Like that about this game. Yeah, and Hadri's and I have pretty cool schedules, so this probably won't take too long. I would say sometime in the next week we'll do it, and uh, we'll finish yeah, this we one. Can schedule it, no problem. Yeah, Hadri's and I we're we're gamer homies. We we usually are able to make it work. So GG's man, it was fun. You you excited for the next episode? We'll slan GGs, we'll, yeah. sl we'll slanesh conquer. Oh, dude, look at your. Server. I can meet your. I'll uh, try to meet your war breeds with chaos eaters. Oh, the chaos eaters are really cool. Yeah, they eat they eat buffs and like do damage based on that. It's uh, it's pretty rad. Yeah, it's fun. Anyways, brother, GG's man. Um, I think if we just exit right now, it'll just save. So if we just exit, yeah, it just that's it just saves it as your session. So now if you go to online multiplayer and go to active sessions, you're gonna see um, our session on turn sixty right there, which is just ready to go, which is so cool. And we could both just rejoin it super easily. So. All right. Yeah. Get some rest, man. I know it's late for you. GG's. All right, guys. So thanks to Hadrius for playing some good back and forth. I think we're head economically, but he certainly got better armies. You know, we, we took a big risk taking out his free city. Um, and we spent a lot of our resources doing that. And then he was able to swarm us. It was, it was a really good, really good back and forth. Um, we got some good pillaging in. Got our bone dragon for the next episode, so stay tuned for that. It'll be sometime next week. Yeah, we'll we'll finish this Slanesh versus uh versus uh old uh I was about to say something else, but Sir the Eck. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So thank you guys for joining. Appreciate you all. Um tomorrow we'll have Total War. So for any of you guys who are thirsting for Total War, I know your Europeans are waking up now, so there will be a Total War stream uh, later tonight for you. Take care, see you next time. That's it. Big thanks to Hadrius for playing for so long. What a trooper. And that's gonna be it for tonight. Cheers.